but never you fear. For we are here. Eldris, welcome in. Hello. Everyone come in. We're loading in now. How goes? We'll give it a little bit for everyone to filter in. In, in, in terms of my, I'll say, late starts, this was like the least late of most of my late starts for a while. Which means there's actually probably going to be people that are caught unaware. Huh? He, he actually started not 10 minutes late? What the hell is going on with the world? Has hell frozen over? I know. I know. How is everyone going? Hopefully, you've all had a fantastic start to the new year. That is not what is supposed to be in front of me. Turn that off. This is what's supposed to be in front of me. There we go. Now I can see. I loaded up. I have two different things that look at chat. And I loaded up the other one, Eodek. And in the other one, your name is not gray, but pitch black. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I was looking at the nothingness talking to me. All right, we have people sparring. We have people training. We already have someone. Eonek, thank you for following. Was it because of the ghost? Are you here to tell you that you ain't afraid of no ghosts? Thank you so much. Wait, hold on. All the bars are gone. Didn't we have anything here last time? Whatever. We got the dwarves going. We made excellent progress. Oh, wrong button. We made excellent progress last time. And I suspect that we should be able to make, continue to make excellent progress this time. If nothing else, we will have the outer wall done to a half, maybe three quarters. Rounding issues aside. And I don't think we'll be able to get the floor done. We should be able to get the floor done today, particularly if we stream late enough. We should be able to get the floor done today. But what I'm most excited about is hopefully we can get the ceiling done. The ceiling I'm more worried about than the floor. Because the ceiling, we can move things to and have that be the outside. Like if we get the ceiling done, we can start just working up. I can finally start having the central castle so I can move the military. And once the military's centralized to the castle, then we can start worrying about actually moving dwarves out and such. Because right now the military training room is over here. It's connected to the front door, but it's, it's on this. We want to make sure that we have them responding over here. Which does mean, real quick, how much do we have looking out in the sandstone area? We have quite a few, so we can get an early start on that. Secondary thing that we really got to get done that I think we can, which should be good, is that we cover all bits of exposed floor with the ceiling. That way we can treat the inner area of this base as safety. Once, you know, we'll have weaknesses here and there as we tear down the walls and re-expand. But if I can get like the, the central basics of this done, so that we can treat this area as just a safe area, I can just start having people hide in here and not have to worry. Like, I'm pretty soon going to get rid of a lot of this area of hiding here and tell everyone to hide out here instead. Because we're getting to the point where this is just the more defensible option. It, it just is. What we kind of need to do, as weird as it sounds, I need to build a floor out because of the fact of doors being able to, or not doors, but enemies climbing stuff. If you have a wall and have this, they can go from here to there, which is obnoxious. I think you need two. Once we've done that, we'll be good. The only real question is if it, can they go from this to that, if that's a floor, you know? That's the big worry. We might have to go up another Z level with the wall, then lip over, and we'd probably be perfectly fine there from the ground-based things during the freezing months. Good morning, Devil's Dandruff, pure black, just like my soul. I sold it for a box of chocolate. Mint. Mint chocolate. I sold my soul for mint chocolate. The most evil of all chocolates, of course. I think that's true across, like, 90% of all religions. It, 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 it's up there. Evil chocolate being just, you know, one of those horrible sins that you have to avoid despite how good it tastes. That's right. I like mint chocolate, chat. Add that to the list of weird foods I like that chat will disagree with me on. I know I know there's a organization faction. I know there's a faction of you out there who who still harbor resentment that I actually like Hawaiian pizza. And, and, and think that I'm going to go burn in some weird Italian hell for daring to like Italian, uh, not Italian, uh, Hawaiian pizza because it has the dreaded 
pineapple. I actually had a slightly, uh, I, I had a disagreement with someone about that just yesterday. Where they were claiming that I'm a horrible person who have dishonored all Italians because I quote unquote put pineapple on pizza. But I don't. I don't put pineapple on pizza. I put pineapple on meat. The meat's on the pizza. Pineapple on pizza by itself would be nasty. I don't think anyone's ever argued that. But Hawaiian pizza, the pineapple juices modify the meat. That's what makes it really good. You gotta have... You gotta have that good meat. Or a donut like in The Simpsons. Oh, mint donut? Hello, John Doom. <laughs> We're going to have to create some giant super faction on Twitch. That way we will fight off everyone. No, like I said, it's, it's a weird argument though, isn't it? Because the argument is never, do you like Hawaiian? You know, that's always left out, kind of muddying the waters. And they ask people, would you put pineapple on peace? Well, no, obviously not. But if you have like ham or something, the pineapple juices, technically the pineapple's not even really required for it. You could, you could pre-make a Hawaiian pizza by taking the ham ahead of time and like fermenting, soaking, I don't know what the term would be. Uh, when you do the juices, like you, you, you put something in barbecue sauce. Well, not barbecue, but you know what I'm saying? It's like a day or two before you cook it, marinade. If you just marinate the ham and stuff, in Hawaiian juices, it'd be the same thing. Like, I'd be fine with that. If that was some happy middle ground we could take, I would take it. All right. We still got coal being brought up. There's one last Coke that wasn't brought up. There we go. You had to refresh it sometimes. I don't know why. The jet blocks, you guys should be updating anyways. Shouldn't you? We have bins. This is why we gotta clear a lot of this other crap out of the way. The dwarves are getting confused. They don't they don't know up from down, left from right, who from where. The merchants are needing to leave again and they've gotten stuck. I've gotta move the depot up here now. I've, I've got to. The merchants are too dumb. They can't handle this ramp for some reason. If we just had the depot up here for a bit, then we'd be good. We wouldn't have an issue. So working on the idea that we would not have the issue if the depot was just up here somewhere. I'm just gonna put the depot up here and get it out from down below. We're gonna make the depot out of platinum bars because, well, I want the enemy to know that uh, we are richer than they are. Oh, they're not stuck. They're still getting rid of items. Okay, I'll wait. I thought they were stuck. It's just that really slow thing they do where they try to get rid of items one at a time for some weird reason. A goblin scholar is visiting. I don't trust you. I hope you know this, Mr. Goblin Scholar. Ham would marinate pretty fast pineapple because, yo, yeah, that's my point. Like, like, cause well, also the, the, the whole thing to it, right? Is that the pineapple has the, as, not acids, but like something. It has something that eats at meat. Hyper Hopper, thank you so much for following. That's one of the reasons why pineapple tastes the way it does. You're not tasting, like no one's tasted what a pineapple tasted like. You taste the pineapple, but you also feel your tongue dissolving. Like you feel the pineapple digesting the proteins in your tongue. That's part of the flavor of it. And so that's why meat is required. So it wouldn't take that long to marinate it because the instant it's really there, you're good. So maybe an hour, just marinate some ham slices in some pineapple Mr. juice Man for an here. hour and you'll be it good. It's time for Puyu Woosh. Puyu Woosh. Puyu Woosh, how it goes? All right, we have a weasel fighting. Not really my concern. Now, you said you were getting thrown away earlier, and now you're not thrown away. Why is this Coke not getting thrown away? Care to do me the favor of throwing the Coke away? All right, now this is set to no bins. So get rid of the bins. I don't want this bin here. Like, I would dump the bin almost just to make sure there's no bin. No, I'm going to forbid the bin. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forbid and unforbid. Now they'll get the bin. The whole thing's just buggy. Who is stricken by melancholy? 
Damn it. One of our dwarves is melancholic and I don't know why. Will we see him in a job of being melancholic? Smooth sailing's in jail? Why is smooth sailing in jail? Is that why he is? Huh? Why? Why is smooth sailing in jail? Was he the one that's melancholic? Is he melancholic because he's in jail? Um, I always forget where to look for this. Sort by name. Look to the bottom. Smooth sailing. He has no sentence pending. Is this a case that just got closed? He got convicted of a production order. He didn't make the right things. Well, let him the hell out of jail, please. He does not need to be there. There is no need for him there. Yes, get that bin out of here, finally. All right, now I don't have to be paranoid about bins anymore. I think the rest of this can go smoothly. They're still throwing charcoal down. I don't know where we're getting the extra charcoal from because it's not here, but okay. Next thing I need to do. All right, what? We're gonna go to stocks and we're gonna check the charcoal list to see if any other charcoal is being told to be dumped. If it is, you're a little loud today. If it is, we are going to tell it to not be dumped and see if it sorts itself out. So bar. Bar of Coke. There is a couple still. Okay, so weird thing, right? Follow me game, follow me. Here's what we're going to do. Forgot you could hold shift. I'm gonna dump, undump, forbid, unforbid all Coke. There you go, figure it out. No more Coke should be getting dumped. Well, some of it was already ordered to be dumped, so they were just gonna finish that job no matter what. But now if they just bring it here and into there, we should be good. People are still dumping because they were in the middle of dumping, that's fine. Oh my God, how many of you had charcoal laying around? Where was this a minute ago when nothing was getting done? Because what I need to do is I need to move the dump over and start working on steel next. What's gonna happen is at some point we're going to have removed enough clutter from the stockpile that the rest of the stuff will just be able to easily transfer over. But right now I can't do it as easily because, oh, look, it's it's one bin. You know, if we, if we were to move a stockpile over here and say bin and lead, they wouldn't take it out of the bin. Like, I don't even really care about the bins right now. I just want them to be good on this. Why does some of them have shadows? It's weird. All right, steel is next. Are we done throwing things away? No, we're not. How are we still throwing things? How many of you could possibly, did you just throw something else away? Are you doing this to mess with me? All right, this stockpile, custom. I wish there was a way I could say this. Was just, this is why I'm having issues. You're the wrong finished goods pile again. I'm gonna leave you alone for now. I'm gonna create a new stockpile up here. About the same size, except this stockpile will have finished goods of all material. Should have just said all over here and then worked individually, but whatever, I like doing things hard. And you are going to have amulets, bracelets, crowns, earrings, figurines, rings, scepters. I'll leave the toys out for now. So amulet one one four seven two 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 one four seven two 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 two. Go down here, custom one four seven two 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 one four seven two 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 two. Most importantly, this stockpile will stop having artifacts. No artifacts. I'll deal with them later. Figure out how to sort that yourselves, game. Stop bringing artifacts to the trade depot. 
I'm getting tired of trying to not trade them. 434 animals in my fortress that no one leaves the tavern. Why do they not leave the tavern? That, that almost seems like a bug that should be fixed or something. Um, They're bringing things over without them being in bins. I'm guessing, are they, they are grabbing them from here. Hey, if it works, it works. Why won't they split that up like over here? When I tell this to split up like that, they don't take them out of the bin. Hold on, am I crazy? Am I the crazy one? Right now, they should be bringing all bars over. I'm gonna say to ban everything, except steel, and coke. This is going to be told to ban steel. Because they, they, I don't believe they do. We've been through this before. That's not how this works. But they did it with the finished goods, no problem. They brought a bin over, an empty bin, because this thing reset itself because I edited it. Great. No bin. Forbid, unforbid. Someone take this bin out of here. What are you guys doing? Are you grabbing steel? Thank you. Seriously, what are you doing? Store item and pile. Are you moving bins around? Are you sorting out the metals? They're grabbing boxes. They're doing something, which I'm finding really weird. It keeps picking up a box and moving it somewhere. Why are you picking up a box and moving it somewhere? The floofy bat is here to give the floofy floof time. I don't understand. I feel like whenever somebody goes down the route of caring about the specifics of bins, it's just gonna be a road of sorrow. The f well, no, the problem is, is, okay, it's not caring about the specifics of bin. At the end of the day, as weird as it sounds, I don't care about the bins. I really don't. The problem is, is when you create a stockpile and the stockpile has a bin in it, the stockpile has a setting of saying how many bins it can have in it. So if you're trying to quantum something in a bin, the stockpile will say it can only have one bin. And they'll go, oh, I'm so sorry. I appear to have put in excess bins. Let me, if they can, they'll try to take it back out. They'll be like, let me remove the, this extra bin that you have there. So... Let's go with this. Let's go with this as maybe this is an issue, right? I'll say 132 will allow bins over here again because that made them start sorting things. If I allow a bin and they put a bin over here, were they going to sort out the metal bars and take the steel out and put steel in bins over there? Because if nothing else, that means all the steel will be together and I can then later work on sorting it out of the bin so it can be in a quantum. We'll see. We'll see if that works. I guess it's better for a bin to only have one type of item in it. How many items can be stored now? So as far as I'm aware, bins, barrels, and such haven't changed the amount of items they can store. How many items can be stored in them? I don't think they've changed that much. Namely, don't use barrels. Use large pots. They tend to weigh less and they can store more. There's only a few things that absolutely require barrels. So if you can swing it, do large pots, not barrels. Pots are good. Barrels, no good. Um... The bins, it's not that I want there to only be one item in the bin or it could cause, or one type of item in the bin. It's that I'm trying to get everything sorted so I can see it visually up here, what's where. So that should just be steel bars. Why is one of them a weird steel bar? Coated with water, that's why. It's like this charcoal is going to get dumped at some point. But the stockpile above, it's not going to let the bin. So they take the bin back. That's the issue I'm talking about. If I allow it to have one, like, this won't really fix the issue. That is the problem I have. Even if I allow it to have one, the next time they bring a, a bin over, it'll now just be at two. So take it back out and then try to reset it and then take it back out and try to reset it. So if I let one go in... 
See, they just keep moving the same two items back and forth. The issue is not what type of items are in the bin. It's what type of bins are in the stockpile or how many bins are in the stockpile. Because that's a weird thing that you can't overwrite. Like you can edit it, but you can't make it have, you can't overwrite its maximum short of modding the game. Yes. Yep, this is nail cost problems. Okay, forbid, unforbid. Forbid, unforbid. You are not allowed to have bins. See, now they're gonna get confused. They won't have anywhere to bring these damn bins. You need to be removed from your bin. The easiest way to do that is just to dump everything in it. Problem is, at some point I made way too much charcoal and we've had to dump like a thousand charcoal. So I am gonna have to go through and sort out bins of steel. Now, if I grab the stockpile, not the stockpile, if I grab the hauling route for steel, right? And I say it doesn't grab anything, then the steel can be brought over still. I just wouldn't want there to be bins of charcoal. The steel can still be brought over. It just won't get stored anywhere. At least it should. They sorted out one, but they don't appear to want to sort out the others, which I find odd. Yeah, because it says 168 again anyways. So we're going to let them dump the charcoal out. Hopefully we don't get a charcoal of bin here. I don't want that causing problems. If they just start sorting out the steel and bring the steel over, even if it is in bins, at least they'll be sorted and easier to handle later. What are you doing? See, this man just grabbed a bin of Coke to drag back out. I don't know where he put it. He, he, he put all of it in this bin. Mm. <sighs> Question. There's no more bins in here, are there? I have a forbidden Coke, but I can worry about that later. So yeah, no more dump all this again because somehow someone put one bin in it and then it was like, nah, that doesn't go in there and took the Coke back out. It's like the one weakness to this style of trying to quantum is that bins are your enemy. Bins are never to be trusted. There we go. I want to make sure I wasn't skipping one. No, you don't need charcoal. I need every bit of my 1,000 charcoal. What What are you going to do with it? Melt things? <laughs> Weirdo. Second thing, I don't need this bin. I don't need the stockpile to be anywhere near this large. It's never really come up yet. So I can just take all of that away, not have that in there. Now up here, this looks like it is finally getting mixed together of items I could trade. Some I don't think were brought up yet, but this should start limiting the amount of clothing that is up there. If I want to bring up clothing, I'll do that. I forgot totems. If I want to bring up clothing, I'll do that individually. Uh, totem at the very end. Yep, I did forget totems. Whoopsie. Not you, you, totem. There you go, bring the totems up too. Like I said, as soon as we can start getting this crap sorted and out of the way, I can really free up space to get things done. Why about earrings? Why are we worried about earrings? Oh, you're talking about Paragon, I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, if you have a dude, so you're you're kind of stuck, right? You're going to have this weird, odd thing. There's a solution, though. Uh, I, I agree with what Mr. Man team is saying, but that is balancing like the lesser of two evils, and there is a third way that can remove you having to deal with it to begin with. One, you have a mayor, a baron, or a duke that really loves earrings or whatever. 
you can either make crafts randomly and thus make earrings. Meaning, if they request the making of earrings, you'll con because if they ban something exporting, they usually also request you make it. Meaning, if you don't ever, if you just make things randomly, you'll be making it. So if you get lucky, he asks for them to be made, you'll make them, everything's good. But then you have to worry about him banning it. If he's the sort of person who bans things, you'll have to, when you click goods, bring goods here, there's an option lit up to, you unlight it, and it says don't show items that have banned things in them. So you won't even bring the bin over. This does mean that you're excluding a lot of things regularly to be exported. You, the second solution is to do as Mr. Mantium has suggested, and that is specifically order other items to be made. Therefore, you're never accidentally exporting the item because you're never making it. But now you have to pay attention more to what his ban request is because he's going to occasionally request that you do make them. So it's a little bit of a, do you deal with watching out for his banning or do you watch or do you keep an eye out for his mandating? You could, third option, you could create a stockpile somewhere else that only explicitly allows earrings and then had the stockpile by the trade depot not allow earrings. Then when you're sorting by distance, even if you exclude the earrings, they're like all the items are already pre-sorted. And then if you get lucky and you have a trade group come in during a time when he's not banned ex export, then you sell off all the earrings in one go. This is kind of still a bit of a little micro e because at the end you'll need to see whether or not he has a current ban active. But it will allow you to at least preemptively prevent the inability of selling items due to him banning it. And yeah, if you're talking about just killing the mayor, then I mean, I guess you could, but you're, you're going to have a mayor no matter what. He's, you're going to have a dwarf being a pain in your ass. All right. Are we going to pretend that this is all the coal this time? All right. Let us pretend that this is all the coal and build this floor back. We're going to build a sandstone block and then I'm going to remove the one to its left. And then we're going to start banning steel to get steel in the right place. Now, over here, we have tons of sandstone. So I'm working on blocks. We don't have jet. We do still buy too many coal and limestone. I'm not in need of limestone yet, but I do need yet more jet. And I do need sandstone. Where was the last location we were digging for this? I was thinking of walling this off so it could fill up because that's coming in too much. Walling that off probably too. And I don't know if I just need to smooth this to handle this. This was walled off. That was handled down below, down below. Somewhere I was mining a bunch and I was like, I'm not even dealing with water anymore. And I don't remember what level that was. It wasn't that level, I tell you that much. Um, well, best solution is to check up top and go from there. Yeah, all this is dry, though it's not the sort of stone we need. This is magnetite and limonite. It's just a bunch of steel. I'm literally chunking in the steel. But we have sandstone and stuff down here as well. This water doesn't look like it was too bad of an aquifer. And over here, it looks like it dries mostly. So what if we just order that to be dug and deal with the consequences? That's just a hunter fighting. I'm not worried about the hunter. We need someone at some point cleaning. We got plenty of drinks. We are out of fish. That's because this never really got taken care of. Though I do believe I've sorted it out this time. We'll have to see after the next freeze if I'm right or if I'm just completely crazy. The problem is, is if I am right, I still don't have a good solution for it because I believe the waterfall drop onto the artificial wall. Like if it has a thing above it, it would still count as artificial and thus no fish. So even if I am right, it's not, it's not the answer we wanted. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I double checked the math. I was completely wrong. Great. Look at these stupid pigs. Look at these stupid pigs. Get out of here. They're just here to mess with my day. Construction, wall, keep doing this. We're going to finish up bringing this corner around because, well, the pigs are coming. The pigs are coming. We don't want them coming in ruining our day. So let us preemptively exclude them from our happy lives. Why deal with neighbors if the neighbors don't want to be nice? Makes no sense. And then I'll have to do this one like that. 
But on the bright side, like I said, we've we've kind of like when this is connected, we've we've done over a half. We're we're going on to like three quarters. Reclusiarch. Um, it should be. If you type, if you do the dwarf command again, and it doesn't tell you something, it means your dwarf is still alive. But yeah, there you are. You're an administrator. You're good. The only issue we're having right now is the 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 glitch of dwarven kills resetting names. The mega disc platform looks about half done. Yes. Well, that's just the upper floor, but the upper floor is still like something we can work with. No, not yet, Mr. Man. We haven't gotten to that time yet. We haven't we haven't gotten to the pushing phase. <laughs> Hello, Vanelica. How goes? What is that symbol? Vanelica, you, you, you have a special symbol. What does that mean? Ah, you went to TwitchCon San Diego. Hopefully you had fun. Because <laughs> see, here's the thing. I think we're not even saving anymore. Right click. Right click. Nope, we are still saving. Now right click. No, now we're, we're still saving. It has been a whole year since I've been in your streams. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen you since last year. Oh, shit. Salford Cell. I got the, uh, the alarm was quiet. Welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome to the end of Stream Vesta. We will be having the... 2002 send-off party, everyone. Welcome in. Salford, how are you doing? Oh, hold on, I screwed this up. Thank you so much. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of you first-timers. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy Stream Festers. Happy! Welcome in. We are doing a massive project. We are doing a massive, unnecessarily large project. If any of you guys love suffering, Thank you. Why is the game keep trying to like overpower me? The game hears me talking. The game's like, no, none shall hear you talk. I will save the universe from the sounds of your wails of gratitude. <laughs> Everyone come in, come in, sit down, gather around as we finally toast off the end of 2022. We are doing Dwarf Fortress. Yes, no, there's not many dwarves. So normally, to be clear, under normal conditions, guys, I would dwarf you. I have like a half Twitch integration built in onto my channel for dwarfing dwarves, but we ain't got dwarves. Every single one of them has been claimed over the last couple of days. So as much as I would love to get you guys in right now, I I, I, we, I literally don't. You know, like like the, 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 the tickets are all sold out. I'm so terribly sorry. If you stick around at some point, maybe you can be one of the first ones in after Weak Brigand dies. Why did Weak Brigand die? Well, <laughs> I feel like a slot has opened up. We just need to see who migrates in to replace him. Said he died of dehydration. Did he fail a mood and I not notice? Weak Brigand dies so others may live. Yes, actually, hold on. As part of this, we can, I know what's causing some of this. It's because way back when I created a hard lock at 100, we're starting to get to the point where I got to explain the base. First of all, everyone, give, give me a bit on that, but I will up this right now to 130 and 140. Couple, 130, there we go. Couple that with the dwarf that just died and we, we should have new slots for people coming in soon. Welcome in. I think you have to explain everything. I do. I have a lot of things to explain. Um, so, everyone. Also, no. First, Salford. Thank you for raiding. Uh, did someone shout you out, Salford? What What were you doing? I'm going to... You, you tell us. I don't have a custom one for you, Sal. Sal, I need a sound bite from you. I don't know if I've told you this before, Sal, but I, I try to do um, custom, custom shout out commands, not to be rude and shout someone else out after you've raided, but for instance, 
That's one he recorded and Kleinodev did. Kleinodev is one human person not us and the artificial intelligence. His is a little hard to understand. To the <laughs> but you, 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 you got to send me a little audio bite so I can have a custom shout out for you. Uh, you were doing Tinker Town. I knew it. I was like, I can't remember. There's too many other ones. I can't remember what they're called. Thank you, Salford. So yes, for everyone, big explanation. What the hell is going on here? We're going to get to this project, but first I need to address what you'll see a lot of over here. On the right side, we do have a base. For the most part, ignore this base. Think of this as a temporary housing solution for our workers as they work on the main structure. We're using this right now to mine out the stone that we are needing to build the walls and floor and ceiling of the base. We are on a map with 30 plus Z levels of aquifer in differing locations. And also on that very same map, for some reason we've hit a cavern layer that's over 64 Z levels deep. It just keeps going. So we do occasionally hear and see things about forgotten beasts and the like, even though it says that, we're not really in the caverns. I've not bothered to go all the way down to the bottom. We just like clip the top of it. Also, some of the cavern also has aquifer because of course it does. It's a big thing we're dealing with. That's our working zone. If you ever see me in the dirt doing things, I'm probably just freeing up space for a dwarf or just trying to get more stone for the actual main project, just to get that out of there. We are on a map that freezes half of one month out of the year just to annoy me. That being said, what we are doing is, is we have decided that the only fortress capable of housing a dwarf is a fortress made purely out of industry. I am mining out the majority of the map in a giant square. I even interrupted the river that we had here. I interrupted the river and replaced it with my own. We created two Thank you for following. We created two drains of the river. We drained them off the edge of the map. We interrupted the river and we started building our own. What we have done is we have built a giant castle to be flying in the sky. Everything other than this patch of land right now is a construction. Thank you so this much. patch of land was so we could have above ground, below ground farm and maybe uh, some internal ranching. That's about it. The inner circle, the living area, is a radius of 102. Radius, sorry, a diameter of 102. The outer circle is a diameter of 110. So we did this so that we could have the, the river coming all the way through and for it to create a moat. Later on, we're gonna have little wizard towers in the corners. The moat will be drained off in the corners to create mist generators, farm plots, well sources, so on and so forth. What this has meant, unfortunately though, which is why it's taking so long to create this structure, is the inner radius of 102 diameter, the inner diameter of 102 means I had a volume of about 8,140 blocks. Problem is for two primary floors, it means I need to do that twice. So we have a requirement of 16,280 blocks. Luckily, we split it up between sandstone and jet. Unluckily for me, I forgot jet was the stone that comes in uh, the ovals. It's not a vein stone. It's not a layer stone. It's the stone that comes in patches. So we have to keep digging out mad swaths of land underground to find more jet. And also because we need sandstone. Now, sandstone is in high supply, but sandstone is a semi-porous rock, meaning that the sandstone's where our aquifer is coming from. So we've got tons of sandstone, but every time we have to go through and get the sandstone, I got to spend an inordinate amount of time paying attention to how we're mining it because I don't want to risk flooding out the mining layers. And the walls we are doing is out of limestone because some of the layers we've been dealing with do have limestone. We got plenty of limestone laying around. We've also got tons of hematite, magnetite, and limonite. I think we have limonite. We got at least two, but I believe three out of the three iron types. So once this is all going, we can, we can, we've started kind of, but we can readily make steel. The other sorts of stones that we have on the map is, uh, bituminous coal and lignite. So we got plenty of fuel. As a matter of fact, right now down below, I'm trying to sort out the blocks 
to their own individual stockpiles so I can keep track of visually of what we do have. And right now between either charcoal or coal I've made off of lignite and bituminous coal, we have over 1000 fuel units next to this metal smith. And at some point I am gonna get that guy kicked in gear. Right now though, due to our semi-limited room, I'm trying to split up all the items into their own little sorted quantums and stuff like that. So I can keep an idea visually of what we have as we go around. And also to free up space, we can cram more of the, the base and the dirt into the base and the sky. Cause the sooner we get the doors over here, the better it will be. All right, now to chat, because I look like I missed a bit of this. Um, she's been rocking as always. I shall give you a summit. Thank you. Um, I'm ignoring this base. Aquifers and caverns. <laughs> 21 streams and he still hasn't finished the first floor of the base because RNG hard failed. Yes. In my head, I was like, 108. That's plenty of room to do activity to do activities in. We could do karate. And then after I started, I, I finished the circle and I was like, time to fill it in. And I was like, I got 400 stones. That's a bunch. And I ran out and I went, huh. I forgot an important part of the math of this. So I, I will say I wanted it to be big, but I didn't realize how big I was making it till after I'd already done, you know, measure twice, cut once. I Trunk cut first. A door flat on I decided to cut before I did anything. Hand. So that's now what we're dealing with. Name for it is quite fat. Once this has kind of been done, I, particularly if I stop growing trees in the middle, we can channel down because I want to get the stone from here. We can channel this further and further down. But the problem is this is going through that 30 Z levels of aquifer. So right now we're stuck in the dirt below the castle because it's constantly leaking water. And as I said, our map freezes about a half to three quarters of a season in the year. So... I can't really easily mine down there during the fall to winter cycle because I'm worried if any dwarf is in the water, it'll just instantly die. So that's caused a big hamper on us mining down through this because I can only do it in cycles. Does jet generate an inulator or is there a Z limit? Um, I... <sighs> There's a Z limit, but it's not like, say, Minecraft or something like that, where it's like, okay, it's only ever between Z levels 20 and 30 or whatever. The game, when it generates a world map, it does so geographically. It actually says, okay, here's the ground, here's the mountain forces, here's the rain shadows, here's the rivers, so on and so forth. So jet will form between certain layers, but those layers are in relation to the ground above them and what sorts of materials the world generation said was in that biome. If your map is split between two different biomes, you're gonna have two different sets of metals. If you ever did Lazy New Pack in Dwarf Fortress before, or I'm not entirely sure Vanilla had it as a search option, but you could search for, hey, I want a metal here or I want metals, plural. If you were sorting by metals, plural, there's a good chance that the base I found was going to be on the edge of a biome. Because that's the easiest way to generate multiple types of metals is because one biome is likely to generate a separate type of metal than another. So jet can be on multiple Z levels. I don't think they're ever going to be deep though. Jet is jet essentially it's a form of coal, if you didn't know that. There are, there's a lot more to it, but there's kind of an IRL in real life. There's kind of five types of coal, starting with the lowest quality coal. And I'm not talking about peat moss, peat bogs, things like that. I'm talking about actual, what people would mine and consider this is a coal. Um, if you were to classify it, the, the weakest type of coal is lignite, which is represented in Dwarf Fortress. Lignite has about 30% carbon. So in Dwarf Fortress, that correlates to you get out about two coal for every one coal you put in to cook it. You actually get three, but you spent one, so net gain of two. Above lignite is sub bituminous coal. It's like 30 to 60, give or take, or 30 to 50. I forget what the exact number is. That's not in Dwarf Fortress right now. Above sub bituminous is bituminous. That's like a really high sort of dense coal. It's like up to 75% carbon or something like that. That's what uh, you really want for, you want different coals for different things. That's the thing that you want like a hotter fire. Um, 
That is Bite Minis Coal that's represented in the Dwarf Fortress by you getting out eight fuel every time you build, you burn one. So a net gain of seven. Above Bite Minis Coal is Anthracite or something like that, which Dwarf Fortress has in here, but as a stone, I think it's Anthracite. Arthracite, it's something like that. There is a type of fuel above bituminous and then technically kind of there is a coal that is so coal it is pointless and that is jet jet is just it's just charcoal jet is coal but it's been gemified that's what jet is so if you think of it that way that it's needing a source of carbon to be making the jet then you're not going to see it necessarily too too deep because you're needing, like, it, you need things to have died. Like, there had to have been a river or something there in the past. Now, how well Dwarf Fortress is duplicating this, I'm not sure. And how deep it can go, considering I think there are areas where you can get, like, deep diamonds. Enough pressure will turn carbon into it. I'm not sure the specifics on that. But I do believe Jet is mostly done shallow due to the fact that Jet is basically just fancy coal. So by the way, that is what our base is made out of so far. We have limestone walls, sandstone blocks on the ceiling, and then the bottom is just a very fancy uh, charcoal. That's what it is. You can burn gems to get steel. That's the thing, you would think. I'm not sure the actual difference between burning like what's considered coal and what's considered gym the jet i'm not entirely sure what the difference is but i do know they're the same thing it's kind of like how a lot of jewels are really just emeralds like they get named different things because of colors but they're it's really just the same thing in composition it's just the same thing i don't know what the difference is between what the american fuel uh what is it called the the, the it's like the the north american something association of coal like the actual people who run power plants and stuff how they break down coal i don't know what the difference is between their coal levels and jet but i do know that below it it's the same thing yeah like i said i don't know um i do know like, I can tell you where some of the things are. You can look it up on their sites to figure out even more. But I do know, for instance, Texas is a big producer of the coal in America. Like, Texas is known for having tons of coal in it. But Texas is mostly lignite. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mumble, for following. Texas is mostly lignite which in terms of coal density is the lowest category of coal, but Texas got a lot of it. But if you go up into the Northeast and mid, like the North, Midwest, Northeast, that area, the coal that they get from there, that's when you start getting into sub bituminous, bituminous coal. Now it froze. Um, I don't know if we use anthracite, cause like I said, different coals are used for different things. They're like you want either you want things that burn longer or burn hotter. The amount of carbon changes the qualities of what you're using it for. You wouldn't just if you had something designed to work off of lignite, you would not just replace it with bituminous coal. It wouldn't make any sense. Um, so in that regard, if you have something designed to work off of one of those, I don't think you would just immediately replace that shit with jet. I do know that there is a thing in is it Tennessee? Somewhere semi New England, but more in the mid, but still northeast direction. I want to say it's like Tennessee or something that they take a bunch of coal and they convert it to natural gas and then they pipe the natural gas over to New England. And that's how they have the natural gas energy production. But really, it's coal like you've converted coal to natural gas. Just, just could have just done it with coal, but no, it's it's a natural gas plant. They just had to get it piped in from a plant that converted coal to natural gas. Sounds like a bunch of extra steps for no reason. Isn't the classification for burning plants? I'm guessing like, is is it flammable or not? Well, again, yes and no. Like they can use it. I'm not saying they couldn't use it, but. 
you know, when people go to work and there's less electricity being used, they have to cut back on the plants, right? You can't just generate, you can't overproduce on electricity. Like you have to know what you're producing. You have to control the temperatures. You have to control the timing. You like, there's a lot of math that goes into it other than <laughs> hot rock make water go boil. Like they're, you, they, they're very precise in how they do that. So if they're set up, for one of the coal types that burns at a less heat, but probably burns a bit longer, then that's a different amount of material than getting rated again. Hello, everyone. Can't see TV or is it cancel TV? I can never remember if that's an I or an L. Welcome in, everyone. We are building a giant monster base for no reason, discussing the different types of coal and carbon relations in the North American energy production uh, power grids. <laughs> Welcome in. Yeah. So Tennessee is nowhere near New England. Pennsylvania, yes. The, the Kentucky Fried Chicken, that area. It's called coal cl classification. The amount of jet you need is below that huge ass cavern level. Is it? No, I mean the jet we got, we're getting right now. It's above. Hey y'all, how goes the floating fortress is going? Well, cancel. Can, is it or is it Cancy? Please, please phonetically tell me your name. I can never remember if it's an L or an I. What have been if it's a coal gasification? Oh, gasification, not classification. Is that it can take advantage of mines that are tapped out for other uses. You can take trace amounts of coal ore, gasify it, and use it, and use lower quality coal to make gas in the coal that we burn in the power plants. Boom! Someone to help me with this. Thank you, Imgrin. Yes. So we have we have natural gas plants, but it's just the backup of coal. Like I suppose we're, we're 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 like doubling down on the plants so that we can get out of it, but it's all it's all the same thing. I think natural gas is the way to go. Sure, burn everything. But to what I was saying earlier, for the actual coal thing, they have to control the temperatures. You, you don't just throw an endless amount of coal on in the morning and be like, ah, it's good enough. So you need to know. Oh, hold on, you need to know what you're throwing in and how it's burning. Not just necessarily that it is hot and burning. It's it is an L when you say it and can't can't see I TV. Okay, so it's supposed to be cancel, but it is can't see I. Okay, cancel TV. No problem. The power is low. It's low. Time to get shoveling. No, I believe the conveyors have to be timed. Yeah, th that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, I believe we're in agreement to the thing earlier. You 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 can't just throw in a bunch of hot things unregulated. It don't make no sense. By the way, for everyone coming in, uh, what you were looking at is an unnecessarily large construction project because I hate life, I think. And what we are doing it for is because I'm one of the floating castle. Ignore the fact that this looks solid. It's actually just the river that we built into that's frozen, unfortunately. So we have to wait for that to thaw and then we'll have a working water thing again. I have to wait and be careful. Oh good, it's snowing now. What I've always wanted, more snow. Also, if I recall correctly, you found a way to turn everything in the charcoal. I mean, at the end of the day, particularly anything living, you can turn anything in the charcoal. They couldn't turn everything in the charcoal because at the end of the day, charcoal, the whole point of it is just the carbon bond. If you don't have carbon in there, you're not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. So when you say everything, I think you mean every living thing, particularly uh, that's based upon like carbon bonding. You're not gonna have just a chunk of lead and that be charcoal because it doesn't have carbon. Yeah, plastic's still a hydrocarbon. Yeah. Yeah. Pla you have to remember, plastic was oil. Plastic was gas. It's in a weird shape, but like that shouldn't really be a surprise that that can be used in terms of fuel. Plastic is just a weird solid gas. Not gas like like the, the state uh, gas and petrol. I do believe a bunch of you uh, came in from South or South. Pla plastic is just a weird solid petrol that we, for some reason, put our water in. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah, no. Um, we're getting in the jet. We are getting in the sandstone and apparently they plan to install it in water treatment plants. What, oil? Yeah, what are they installing in water treatment plants? Technically, diamond can be turned back into charcoal. I would believe so. 
Diamond is just compressed coal. You would need something to uncompress it. I, I would guess that that's possible. I don't know how you uncompress something if it's maintaining its compressed state, but yeah, diamond should make sense. Yes, because I mean, even graphite is coal. Not coal, is carbon. That's all it really comes down to is burning carbon. What do we got? We need 28. I've only got 15. Am I making this out of jet? No, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Are you jet? Did I do you out of sandstone? Did I forget what I was doing? Cancel everything I just did. Cancel everything. Were you ordered out of jet or sandstone? Because now I've gotten confused. Floor. Yeah, I was ordering out of jet. I was like, this don't feel right. 459. I don't have that much sandstone laying around right now. What am I at? 340. Okay, if we're at 340, that's 31 minus 4 is 27. Okay. 1, 2, 3, that. 351. I was off by 11. Shit. I almost had that math right. Construction, floor, try that again. So one, two, we'll just do three. Because it was 27, not 25, I forgot to account for that I was rounding the whole time. That's where I made the mistake. <laughs> Literally the two times, however, the two times 12 is 24. That's what threw me over the 40. Uh I'm a goober. We're good now, though. We got it in. There's no... Wait. Apparently, the plan that technically diamond can be turned plastic, I think. Something just happened. The, the snow thawed. Charcoal's great for purifying water. Charcoal... Yeah, every... I mean, charcoal's great for filtering everything. Most of the chemical filters we had in the military were just carbon filters. Activated carbon or whatever the hell they called it. It was just charcoal. They were fish filters. <laughs> Every time it like that always, an, oh, you gotta, gotta put your, it's a fish filter. It's a fish filter. If this, if your freaking aquarium is gonna keep your fish safe from that chemical, then this thing ain't keeping me safe. I never had faith in those gas masks. There's no difference between graphite and graphene. They're both carbon with the same structure. Just with graphite, every second layer is offset. And with graphene, it's just one layer. Now, if you get graphene and it's just one layer and you put graphene on top of graphene so it's not offset, does that burn? How does that burn? Because isn't the whole point of graphene that like, it's even stronger than diamond? It's like the strongest carbon bond, right? If that does burn, wouldn't you not need a lot? Like, it would burn really well, right? Because of the release of the chemicals. Not chemical, the uh, the energy. The the bond, the carbon bond energy. The atomic, not atomic, but you know what I'm saying. You love jet blocks. You want to do nothing but get jet and make jet blocks. RNG, probably. Basically, the process turned diamonds and graphite involves special x-ray lasers. Ah! You just described the difference between graphite and graphene. Structural. Okay. Strength is not the same as hardness. Diamonds are brittle, but they are not strong. I see what you're saying. Okay, that took me a second to, 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 to process. Yeah, because the diamonds always have a weak point, don't they? If you hit it like near the weak point, the diamond shatters. Kind of like a, a Rupert drop with the glass. Oh, Chief. Popping in a break to send some love. Thank you, Oldophone. But they are a girl's best friend. Are they? Are they a girl's best friend? I don't think they're a girl's best friend. I almost feel like they're the opposite of a girl's... Quite like, literally. I feel like they, they are the opposite of a girl's best friend. They they make... I gotta ban the steel. They make no sense to me. If, let's say, you're going up for a wedding or an anniversary or something. Something you're doing with that, Right? Diamond is always set up as the girl's best friend, but steel bars dump. But there's no thought in it. Like even with Oldophone, holy crap! Thank you so much for the support. I thought that one had Texas speech. Oh, that's right. I gotta I gotta look into that. Um, 
as I was saying though, even with even if you are someone who does not follow the birth gym, whatever, like oh, I'm in, I've got emerald, I've got citrine, I've got jade. I'm just gonna think of green ones apparently. Uh, wouldn't there be, I, I feel like there'd be more thought in the choosing the gym that is appropriate than just diamond. Like, I feel diamonds are, gin, like, they're, they're anti-girl's best friend. There's no thought in them. It's just, I spent this much money. If you can spend that, like, spend that same amount of money, but spend that on things that are like other gyms. Ah, oh, that would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? By the way, the Cyclops Caspa Ruznala Thinisile has come. A giant humanoid monster with but a single eye set in its forehead. All right, where are you, Caspa? All right, let's get the military ready and tell them to go rock the Caspa. There you go. Hopefully, he doesn't get too close to our civilians. He is at the southern end of the map. I'm not that worried. I think our military will respond plenty of time because a bunch of them were already training. Yep, I was right. A bunch of them were in training. And Mr. Tarvin the third, he's going to lead the way. Oh, and we got the first blow in with Mr. Tarvin. The Cyclops decided to go punch a cat for some reason. Okay, cool. That's unnecessary. Oh, shit. He got a hit in? I was not expecting that to actually hit. First attack in, the Cyclops punched the officer, Mr. Tarvin, in the right upper leg with his left hand, and the injured part was smashed into his body, an unrecognizable mass, opening an attack and twisting the right hip, splitting the hip into gore, tearing a ligament and a tendon. I think we might be losing Mr. Tarvin. Was he already injured before this? Like, how did that hit him? Usually Tarvin dodges everything, but he's, he's dead. Why have they not identified that he's dead already? I'm so sorry, Mr. Tarvin. You you just... Maybe he rolled a nat 20 at the beginning and that just started you off on the bad foot because you didn't have the right one anymore. I think it was the right one, right? Right upper leg. Yep. You were unable to start on the right foot because you didn't have one anymore. Um, then he grabbed you by your teeth and punched you in the head. That's going to do lethal. Okay, Mr. Tarvin is dead. How is it that we could take... Didn't we take on a Hydra? No problem. How is it we can take on a Hydra, but like one giant gets through? All right. This guy, Nivik, is having no problems punishing the giant for what he's done to Mr. Tarvin. Mr. Tarvin gets fucked up every time he goes in the military. <laughs> Let me 1v1 this nerd. Grab by the oh teeth? How else are you going to make sure his head doesn't move so you can punch him in the head? You, 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 if, if you're sitting there with your opponent, you go, hey, I got an idea. You just reach into his jaw, grab him by the upper teeth, and then just start punching him in the head. Clearly, that's how this works. My face is blocking it. Well, the problem is, no matter that's why I'm reading it. No matter where I move my face, it's always blocking the text. Hold on. Let me... I thought I had a button. I did have a button at one point to remove this. It doesn't work because it's the old face button. Hold on. I will temporarily remove my, my face. But the problem is no matter where I move, I'm always in some screen's way. Uh, button, face. Not mix it up. I want you to do the face cam group. And there we go. Huzzah. Just cover the mini-map. No. No, that mini-map is a very important part of this. <laughs> uh, the officer Nivik was the next one to fight the giant. The officer Nivik jumped out of the way of his attack and then hacked the Cyclops in the right lower leg with his named weapon, tearing the muscle. The Cyclops attacked Officer Nivik, but he jumped away, and the Cyclops thus missed. He then retaliated, hitting him in the lower left arm, tearing the muscle, pulling the elbow, hacked him for a second time in the right lower leg. Right lower leg has gotten two, left arm one. 
Then the Cyclops missed again. Nivik, I think, realized that uh, the other dwarf was dead and thought, nah, that was going to happen. The Cyclops then proceeded to continue missing. And finally, after like seven attempts, he got one shot to hit, but it was blocked because everything up to that point was just the officer messing with him. So then he hacked him in the head, tearing through the muscle, pulling the neck. Hacked him in the head again, tearing the muscle and twisting the neck. So he's, that's probably where all this blood's coming from is he keeps hacking him in the damn head now. Like, he, what happened is he was playing around and just dodging. And then he saw the dead dwarf and was like, oh, no, we're serious. Oh, okay. And then he just started parrying and doing reposts and shit. And then the death was coming. Also, there's a bee. That bee is helping. All right. Now we know Mr. Tarvin is dead. And now the giant is dead. Let's go into the Cyclops fight and see if there's any of these that he actually pulled off successfully. That's him doing the cat. We're going to ignore him. He missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. Nivik. He missed. That's when he got parried. Oh, we just missed a critical point right after he parried. Right after he got parried in the second hit to his head, um, the giant gave into pain and fell over. So, yeah, no, he was dead after that. Then Officer Hellfire decided to hop on it and just start hacking him in the head repeatedly until such time as they were dead. Because at this point, every it's just Hellfire and Nivet going back and forth like that Shaun of the Dead scene where everyone's just doing the different pool cues and shit, just railing into the damn... Uh, the damn zombie, except this point, it happens to be a Cyclops' head. Hoover and over and over. Did this guy even get the chance to stand up? It's just Nivik and Hellfire. Do, 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 do. Just taking turns. Taking turns. Taking turns. Then somehow we saw Tarvin was finally dead. Then Metal Metalhead Fusion decided to get involved. Shungite420, thank you so much for following. Or is it Shungide? Shungide? Shungite. Officer Hellfire, and then, then drag him in. Yep, finally everyone else got involved. I guess he has a thick neck. Holy crap. Everyone just kept slapping this dude in the head over and over and over and over again. Until finally, I believe it was Popcorn Hoffman stabbed the Cyclops in the head with her steel spear and tore straight through the brain. So everyone just kind of had fun on it, just wailing for a while until Popcorn Hoffman came up. was like, would you just put him out of his misery? And he decided to end the fun and kill the Cyclops, meaning we now are, have an unnamed dwarf, I believe, because they lose their name when they get a kill of Popcorn Hoffman. I've got to rename him correctly. That one was Mr. Tarvin the Third dying, and I believe this one was Popcorn Hoffman. Yes, so Moses, hold on. I, I need these lists from before. Give me a sec, chat. I, I have a list of all the people in the military so that when their names get purged when they kill people, I can put their name back in. Was it Squad 2? Number 9? Is Popcorn Hoffman, yes. Maybe the Cyclops shouldn't pick fight. Uh, absolute top left or bottom right would probably be best. I can go up even higher. If, if this is what we think, then this is what we think. But then you won't see the name, though. Like, this is slightly useful. But I guess we'll just hide it. It'll be hidden for all eternity. We'll go up here. Um, There were requests I'm hearing. Binary algorithm wants to be the replacement in the military. Give me a sec. I got to rename um, Popcorn Hoffman. Popcorn. I don't know why it gets rid of their name, but Popcorn Hoffman the first. There you go. Fixed his name. And then who wanted to be in the military? Binary algorithm. All right. I wish I could sort this alphabetically, but it looks like you were one of the last dwarves in. So there you go. Binary algorithm. I am now going to change your profession to enlisted binary algorithm. That way, if it gets rid of your name, I can keep track of that. Enlisted binary algo rhythm. And also so I can see who the hell's doing it in combat. Enlisted binary algorithm. And then lastly, go under labor and military and binary algorithm. You are now in the military. There you go. You don't do your other job anymore. This is your only job.
Why in the world do the names get purged? So here's the thing. It's just kind of a UI thing, quite frankly. There, it, there is just a weird issue right now where it's not even necessarily that names are getting purged. I mean, they are, but I think the names getting purged is a symptom of a bigger issue. And the big issue is, is that in like legends and other things, nicknames aren't, nicknames aren't sticking. If I give you a nickname, you have a nickname right now in my UI, but I don't think right now we're actually nicknaming anyone in the game. For instance, if I were to go into the Mason and build a statue, I have to figure out what your name is. If I say I want to make a statue off of a historical figure, we'll say Popcorn Hoffman. He doesn't have a nickname. Like it's not going through the game. So what's happening is, is when you get a kill, particularly if it's an important character or something, then an entry is being made. Like a very important entry is being made to you for Legends mode. So there just seems to be that instead of saving the name over to legends mode name, what it's doing is when it's updating the, the legend of this important historical figure was killed by this guy, it's updating that this guy killed this person. So it's taking the legends name and up, it's just uploading the wrong way. That's the issue. Right now, legends names are taking priority over the nicknames, which they really shouldn't be. But there are other problems that come with it, such as you can't track down people by, you can't track down their statues and stuff. What is happening here? This is an open floor. I thought this was a wall. This is, yeah, no, this is just open floor. I'm an idiot. All right. Sandstone, we have enough to fill the last one. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, notable kills. Because if it's not a notable kill, it's not gonna create the right sort of entry in Legends mode. Like that's like, like I said, I think that's what's going on. And it's just that like, it's not the core of the issue, which is nicknames. If the nickname was overriding the Legends mode, cause it used to be if you nicknamed someone in Legends mode, you'd find them by that nickname still. So right now nicknames aren't pushing through into the, the legends, like the actual core repository of information. So whenever a notable kill is made, then that updates it. It's updating the wrong way. It's not using the nickname to update the stat. It's using the, the name on that stat to update and it just loses the nickname in it. Peregrine Heavy Bowgun has bestowed a name upon an iron shield. By the way, did I kill him? Did I kill Mr. Tarvin? I think I did. Do I have a button to kill Mr. Tarvin? I've killed him like three times. I should have a button to kill Mr. Tarvin. I don't. I don't have a button to kill Mr. Tarvin. Mr. Tarvin, congratulations. You were promoted to button status. You have died so many times. <laughs> you have died so many times that I'm making a quick shortcut button to just kill you faster. Mr. Tarvin. Tarbev? Who is Tarbev? Mr. Tarvin. Mr. Tarvin. I think that should work. See if that kills him. If he comes back and it's not killed, it means I typed something in wrong. What should we name for the Forgotten Beast that destroys your fort? From what I've seen, it's because, yeah, it's kind of weird. I learned an important lesson. Could have to do with how dwarves get a title for killing historical figures. But, but like I said, that's true, but this didn't exist in a previous version of Dwarf Fortress. So what I'm assuming is in, you know, they've done a lot of things to smooth out the game, make it lag out less. And I believe part of it was how the game stores information for Legends mode and stuff, like how it does the background calculations for civilizations and wars because you used to get like lag spikes and it'd be because a big army was traveling by. I don't know if that's still the case, but I would assume, excuse me. I would assume that if you're trying to program around it, what you would get is that you would simplify it. So there's probably less checks or something being done. Like I just think one check happened to be critical and we didn't know it at the time and now we do. Thank you so much. 
Pablo Ross, the shiny. Thank you so much for following. My back. Is this upside down? I'm actually getting like lumbar issues. Six years of streaming, and it's only when I'm doing the New Year's event that I actually get lumbar issues. Fantastic. Unnamed Dwarf has become has begun a mysterious construction like that. When he goes and he has a mood, it'll say the nickname has begun a mood. But when he claims a workshop, it'll just use his dwarven name. So some things are pulling from the core, like this is this entity name, not the nickname anymore. It's just this big old thing. I think whenever they find this, did I cancel that on accident? I think when they find the core of what's causing that, the nicknames will stick during combat. Why did you all get canceled? Just because of a freaking giant? I'll resume them via labor after this. Does Tarn know this? I believe he does. I'm going to create like a compilation of bugs that I found and submit it all. I don't know if that's like the appropriate thing to do. Because I've caused, I've caused a couple of really weird ones. Binary algorithm has created Jim Zit Matt, a lead floodgate. They, cl they claim it's a family heirloom. Apparently we're going Roman because we've also created a bug down here. We got rid of it. The water made it update. Fuck, I can't show the bug anymore. I never even thought of that. The water made it update. We, uh, we created an anti-gravity field. You have to look at my previous VODs to see it, but it used to be no joke that right here where we have this gap, the, there, there was open space, but the items were, I was able to dump items on the open space and then not fall. I, I created a floor that wasn't a floor, but somehow when it's when the water filled up the sevens, when the water filled up the sevens, it updated and then it knew that there wasn't a floor there. The water, fuck, the water forced it to do a recheck. Um, but yeah, I had accidentally created anti-gravity earlier. I don't think we have any dwarves. Yeah, Red Octobear, if you had a dwarf, the dwarf me command, it should say in its description, serves as both giving you a new dwarf, if I have one to give you, and checking if your dwarf is still alive. What I'll probably do is I'll probably just split that up and do two different checks or two different commands. Because I think the way I do it confuses people. I'll, I'll, I'll create it. I'll split them up and I'll have dwarf me and a dwarf check. I've barely been sitting here. My back hurts. Um, What was I doing? Oh, the tasks. I want to see construct building. There we go. Easier to unpause them this way. That should work. Kimmy M420 right now. Actually, wait, it's not doing anything. It should tell you that you're already dwarfed or it should say it doesn't have a dwarf to give you. Why is that part not working? Or do you already have a dwarf? Kimmy, yeah, you were here already. Okay, it is working. You got me confused, Kimmy. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not that I'm like, oh, I'm just not dwarfing anyone. We, we don't have any more dwarves. I've extended the cap. We're waiting for 30 new dwarves to come in. So there will be a mad, you know, first come, first serve, you know, claim on them. But right now, I just don't have any dwarves to give out. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to restructure it. The bot was set up for, I'll say a lower amount of viewers at the same time. So the bot used to whisper you that you were still alive. However, in higher numbers, it appears that it's constant whispering has made Twitch very angry and they've either prevented it from whispering anymore or something because only a few people report actually getting the whispers anymore. So I'll have to take a look into that this week. See what's causing that. Oh wait, no, no, no. What am I doing? I thought that you were just a gap. No, you're really where a thing is. That needs to be built. Here it doesn't. So, nope, the bot didn't crash. The bot, every other part of the bot works fine. It just, it can't whisper anymore for some reason. Or it doesn't whisper routinely. So right now, if you do the command and nothing works, you have a dwarf, you are alive. If you don't have a dwarf, 
and I don't have a dwarf to give you, it'll say, I have no dwarves to give you. That's kind of it. If I have a dwarf to give you and you aren't alive, it'll give you a dwarf. It's supposed to send a whisper. It's just that last one's not working. The bot is working. The count is working. Everything is working. The whispers aren't going out. Yeah. Because I want... The reason why is... I've been robbed. Mar Mar Markoth of Mordor has been stolen. Um... I wanted to set it up to where people could just check their dwarf and it wouldn't spam chat. So they wouldn't feel, you know, like shy about checking their dwarf. That's why it whispered, but that clearly was not a good answer. Twitch, as usual, found a way to mess with me. Now, what has been stolen? A, a Morgoth of Mordor? Oh, also, wait, hold on. We didn't read the last artifact. I'm so sorry. Jim's e mat. Jim's it mat. Which clearly means... Past, past time bins. Do they mean bins like the bins when you come up or are they trying to make a euphemism for like needing to use the bathroom? The past time bins. Jim, a lead floodgate. This make, no, nope, no, nope, they're talking about, they're talking about needing to go to the toilet. It, it's a lead floodgate. You wouldn't use that for drinking water. You're using that for sewage water. The past time bin, I think lead would give you bins, wouldn't it? The past time bins were 2,000 dwarf bucks. This is a lead floodgate. All crafts worship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with oval limonite cabochons and baguette cut indigo tourmalines, studded with lead and decorated with bayberry wood. The object menaces with spikes of bayberry wood. The object menaces with spikes of rope reed. On the item is an image of diamonds in limestone. On the item is an image of Deviance Dance, the limestone earring and limestone. Thank you, so Thank you Kimmy M420, for following the channel. On the item is an image of Kogan Glacial Pillar, the dwarf, and large pear wood pot at Indigo Tourmaline. Kogan Glacial Pillar is raising the large pear wood pot. Dirk relates to the masterful large pear wood pot created by the dwarf Kogan Glacial Pillar for the Page of Raptors at Bald Canyons in the early spring of 255. Now, we've had another artifact get stolen. Mercatoth. What is Mercatoth? I don't remember a Mercatoth. Do you guys remember Mercatoth? What is a Mercatoth? It's not Morzul Statesh. I like Morzul. Mercatoth is a hat. I found it. <laughs> Because we never let the game resume and it hasn't moved, the, the, the menu still let me zoom to where it is. <laughs> we caught this guy on CCTV. Oh no, Mercatoth is stolen. Where is it? Boop, boop. Let's do the little air tag. Found it. It's this guy next to the freaking zombie again. These zombies keep stealing our crap. Okay, so we know Lightning Runner's stealing it. Nope. Hold on. Unpause. Everyone has to go inside. Where is Lightning Runner? First of all, the theft interrogate. No one saw it happen, supposedly. But we know who did it. We know. We caught this man red-handed. He, he's not going anywhere. Where is Lightning Runner? And you've been here for a minute, Lightning Runner. I just saw you. You've been here for a minute. Where Where did you go again? I know when I was zooming up, I scrolled past his name. I went too far or something. I don't, how did I? I didn't think I passed his name by that much. Where is Lightning Runner? There he is. Interrogate this man. Uh, time to... That name sounds like a noise you make while sneezing. Get that motherfucker! Lock him in the river! No, not right now. At least not that I'm aware of. Not in that menu. Actually, I don't even think there's one in this menu right now either. Is there? I would, if, if there's a search function, feel free to inform me of it. I Right now, I think I might strangle a dwarven cat or two to, for a search function. Do you have it now? Or are you tell me where it disappeared to? Okay. Lightning Runner, where are you now? Uh, 
Are you doing a handoff right now? He still has it. And him and this one undead dude keep like walking back and forth together. Let me murder. I've got, I've, I said to interrogate him. I've done what I can. Remember, we did this before. If, if you punish him, it goes, this crime is over. It's a closed case. I can't interrogate anymore. I need to interrogate first to figure out why he did this. I've got to interrogate first. You got to ask questions first. Throw him in a lead cell later. If you throw him in a lead cell, there is apparently a system of honor amongst the dwarves that you must never speak of his crime again. I don't know why. Theft warrants first degree murder. Sure it does. All right, we'll let this go through. All right, we following you still? We are. What? A bunch of people just died. What? Why did a bunch of people just die? CJ underscore the underscore insane gifter. And Civ 80. I don't want to kill these dwarves yet, but what the hell just happened? Were they fighting? They, it is the first. They might have died of old age. Yeah, CJ just died there. Yeah, they died in different areas. They died of old age. We've had three dwarves die of old age in this base. That's crazy. All right. CJ, I got a button for. Or do I, is he under I? Hold on. CJ the Insane Gifter. I know I've got a button for you. Why don't I see your button? I might have put it under something else, like what I was naming his dwarf after. But I'm seeing G for Grogan. I don't know. I'll track him down later. Civ80, I don't. I know I definitely don't have your name. Really needs to pause for event stuff. Um, the sand bitch. That's my fault. You can edit how the alerts work. I've even made a video about where to look and how to do it. And part of it has this little download file to like change up some of the defaults. But the idea is supposed to be like, you know, you look at it, you edit things how you want. The problem is, is for some reason, I just never remember to do that in my off time. I never remember to go back into my own door fortress and then edit my own alerts. So that is that that's my fault. My my, my cross to bear because I'm the one doing that. Hold on, let me kill these two before we continue on. Dwarf kill at CJ underscore the underscore insane underscore gifter. And then also Civ80 died at the same time. Two people with C's. All right, we've killed those two. Back to the theft that we kind of really care about. Lightning runner, where are you? Do you still have the item? Dude, he's doing something weird with this dead dude. What is this guy doing? He claims to have no activity. Is justice coming for him? Hold on, interrogate. Interview scheduled. Who is our interrogator? I keep forgetting. Captain of the Guard died? Was that Mr. Tarvin? I thought we had a different dwarf as our Captain of the Guard. Oh no, he just died of old age. It was like CJ, wasn't it? Oh my God, our guard just died. This is a conspiracy now. Our guard just dies as we order him to do the thing. Um, Zilu, what squad are you in? I think Z... Lee Kale is this squad. Lee Kale or Eldritch. So no, that would have been Mr. Tarvin. No, Tarvin was in the other slot. All right, Lee Kale's our new guy. If it'll let me put him in.
That's the guard, right? Where is Lee Kale? Wait, no, that's not the guard. Eternal Hames is the guard, right? We just lost so many people. All right, then who is Zilu? Zilu is in squad one. Yeah, I can't do that. It's gotta be the first one, not one of these. But he's a planter. All right, Twitchy Oak. I decided you are now my captain of the guard and you need an office. I'm Elmir Zanjan. Thank you so much for following. Give me a sec. I, I'm needing to, for the purposes of not forgetting what the hell I'm doing, I need to so be paying attention to this. Office. This goes to Twitchy Oak, who is now the captain of the guard. Yes. So Twitchy Oak is unofficially in the military. Let's go to Twitchy Oak real quick under the names and name him captain of the guard, Twitchy Oak. In case something happens. Guard Twitchy Oak. He's going to pick up his equipment. That's something. Now he's attending a meeting. Murkoth was seen being stolen. Okay, they're reporting this now because we needed the guard there. So the object was accused as lightning runner. Yes, that's why I'm trying to do this. For some reason, Twitchy Oak is talking to someone else, setting up a... Oh, maybe the meeting was that people were telling him about it. Does he still have Murkoth? He does. Dude, he's got to be working with this guy. He, like, Lightning Farmer, Lightning Runner is running around this one foreign dude, like, take it, take it. They're on to me, take it now. And the guy is like, get the fuck out of here. You're hot, dude. You, 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 like, I hear the cops coming for your ass. Look at him. He just keeps chasing this one dude who is like, no, leave me alone. I don't want your item. You stole it like an idiot. Oh, he just handed it off. He handed that shit off finally. Hold on. Was that him? It was one of the dead humans. Where, where, where are the dead humans in this list? This one. You. Yep. You're the idiot. Human peddler returned zombie. I believe it. Human peddler returned zombie. That is down here. Right here. Schedule. I gotta follow you and make sure you're not leaving. I'll lock this door if I have to. Oh, look at that. You're trying to leave. How odd. Let me just do something for no reason. You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Was seen. Holy shit, someone reported that. I didn't think that they would ever report that. Now everyone's like, he did it. He did it. He so fucking did it. Interrogate him. Thank you, everyone, for reporting this. Who, where, is he investigating people yet? Twitchy Oak. Please fucking tell me you're on the case. It annoys me when you guys haven't been on the case. He's eating. Is that important right now, dude? I've locked this entire base down. Are you are you sure eating is the most important thing to do? Don't want to schedule an interview? Maybe get to the bottom of this. You are the worst cop. What equipment are you picking up? You have picked up equipment like five times. You should be fired from your job. You're bad. What meeting are you attending? Someone else to rat out what happened? Go interrogate him. Now he's back to picking up equipment. What are you doing? By the way, hey nine, thank you so much for following. Why are you picking up equipment? Stop storing 09. You are the worst captain of the guard who has ever guarded a captain. Now it's not the time for this. Okay, we are getting ambushed right now too. Oh boy, are they close. They're at the front door. <sighs> okay. Okay. Question. 
interview scheduled, but he's refusing to do it. Like, do your fucking job. Military. Where is this new dwarf? He's technically a member of the military. Uh, Guard captain. Whatever the hell I called him. Twitchy Oak. Where's Twitchy Oak in this? Like, he, he just keeps wandering back and forth, dumping items off in chests. What is the point of you being hired if you're not going to do your job? Give me a sec. Where's Twitchy Oak in this? Not Lightning Runner. Twitchy Oak. Yeah, you're this now. You're not a planter. Which sucks, because you're one of my legendaries. Cancel TV is one. How many dwarves I got outside right now? Because if everyone's in, then I kind of don't need to worry. We can we can just turtle up while I, while I work on this. Because I don't see anyone out there. I don't... Oh, Meep is out there. Cool. Right by the death. And no one saw the ambush because everyone learned to come inside except for the freaking dwarf who never fucking listens. Okay. Where is the prisoner? Where is the soon-to-be prisoner? I can open door and run out if he's not by it. He's not by the door. So here's what I'm going to do. Squad A, B, and C will be told to kill dwarf A, uh, goblin A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. That's all confirmed. It's all confirmed. This is unlocked. This is unlocked. This is still on. So no one should come outside. Military's already out. First one out the door is Mars Doge. He's gonna get tired. We need more dwarves to come out here and help him. There's even more goblins out here than we anticipated. Fantastic. All right, the rest of the military's out. Luckily, this is in the front door. Don't, who threw the book down? What fucking dude? Who threw this book down? They are an enemy working for the goblins. Execute this man. Execute this man. Whoever just threw the book in the door. Where are you going right now? Where are you even going? You think you've killed everything. Bullshit, you've killed everything. You guys have got to kill these dudes because I got to relock this door, but now I can't, which means an item's going to go out because I can't lock the other dude in. And Domine is just sitting here for no reason. Death Star, where are you going? You're not supposed to come out here. Nothing tells you you're allowed to come out here. Oh, that's him. That's him running. That's him running. Yep. Yep. Fuck. I knew it. I knew this shit was going to happen. Who the fuck, you stupid idiots? No, kill him. Fuck the goblins. Kill this man now. Everyone kill him. I don't even know where he is. Anymore. I think he just got murdered. Shit. And now whatever was going to happen with that, I don't know. I don't know because they threw a book down. Fuck. Kill the damn goblins. Jesus, I don't ask much from you guys. I ask for the dude to interrogate. That's your job. You, that, that's it. That's all we've asked for. That is all we've asked for is for you to interrogate. I swear to... Mmm. All right, so whatever that plot thread is, it's gone. We killed the dude, I think. Let me guess, you still haven't interrogated anyone? Everything's gone to shit in a handbasket, Twitchy Oak, but I'm willing to bet you still haven't interrogated a single person. No, why haven't you interrogated anyone? You have one fucking job, dude. You have one job. Where are you, Twitchy Oak? Where are you? Are you having a drink? Oh, you're storing owned items still. What fucking item? Do you need this dress right now? Or should you do your job? Oh my God. Where did that one dead dude die? So I can see if the artifact is still on the map. I'm so annoyed. I'm so fucking annoyed. I wanted to, I did. They were just like, ah, who cares about doors? Uh, we should fucking pay attention to the burrow, but what if we all just ran outside and got ourselves killed? Woo! Death. I love dying.
Hello, Clino Dev. How are you doing? Hire a proper guard than not just the captain. Hey, what are they going to do? They're not going to listen. It was... Hold on. Creatures other... He wasn't one of these two. This isn't sword in any way, is it? What, what was that dude supposed to be? I don't remember. Some weird thing. Giantess, human, peddler zombie. Was this the guy? I should be able to zoom to him. It was a peddler return zombie. So Thob Lycotrid? Thob Lycotrid, he's dead. Is this where he died? No, if I go to stocks and corpses, can I track down his body? I don't know where they murdered him. Is that his body? No, it's some human poet. All right, where is Thob Thikod Tarib's body? Then in their thoughts, they'll say, scare when Saul got I'm like, no shit. Why did you leave the... Dude, I don't know. Go to the item. That's a good thought, actually. Okay, this is where he's dead. It's a different name. Because he had fake names. Now I, I won't be able to know what this plot was. Because... <laughs> All you had to do, all you had to do was get the fuck in the base. Can a burrow for once work for me? Can I get a burrow to work for once? Every fucking time. Because, yeah, now we just have a book in here. Why is there a book in here? No one will pick up. Where are you going? You're, the military is still active. Why are you ignoring me? We have people to kill. They're on the list. Why do you just get to ignore the kill command? And and if you're ignoring the kill command, why do you get to ignore the burrow? The burrow's not paused. Go kill the goblins. There's still some goblins hiding around. They're pissing me off. Are they gone yet? Nope, some of them have run away, I believe. I don't think we I honestly don't think we've killed these goblins. Kill on him. That's the same one. Where are you? Why are you way over there? Kill on him. Why are you just confused? Okay, whatever, you be confused. Have you... Have you looked at all? H have you looked for the dwarf you're supposed to be arresting? What meeting, my dude? This man's giving me a freaking heart attack. What meeting? Arrest people. You are the worst. You have one job. Go, go, what meeting, dude? There's no meeting. Arrest people. I can really use a drink. I can really use a new fucking being dead, I guess. Now you're storing owned item. You're, you're fired. Twitch Yoke, you're fired. You can't do this job. I don't know if there's a bug or what is going on, but you are so bad at this job. I don't know why. Your dude just has meeting, and then he throws his item in the, on the floor, and then he goes and have a meeting again. And he throws an item on the floor. I don't know what's going on. You're bugged or something. Twitchy Oak, you're fired. I, I'm tired of you. You're fucking fired. You don't do anything. Dead graphics, the carpenter. There you go. You're the new captain of the guard. Welcome to the guard. Welcome to the guard. Are you going to arrest someone? I swear to God, if you just start walking in circles, I'm going to lose my damn mind. Someone do their job. Dead graphics. You're the new captain of the guard. Congratulations. One, two, three, pause. Dead graphics, what are you doing? Interrogate, thank you, thank you. 
You're hired. You are permanently hired. Good job, Dead Graphics. Someone who's not just walking back and forth doing nothing. Dead Graphics. Um, guard Dead Graphics also. You know what you're going to do? You're going to go interrogate the other dude. Because he's part of this. There's no way the other guard was... was Guard Twitch Yoke. Go interrogate Twitch Yoke. Figure out what the hell's wrong with him. Beat it out of him if you have to. I'm not dealing with another... Oh, yeah. Whoops, is me. <laughs> Silly. No. Beat that shit out of him. I don't even see him in this list. Shouldn't he be right here now? Twitch Yoke, TW. Did I accidentally erase his name? Officer Domine got a kill. Enlisted Popcorn Hoffman got a kill. Where did Twitchy Oak go? I've lost Twitchy Oak now. Officer Domine, he must have killed someone. And the other reset name was Popcorn Hoffman. He must have gotten a kill as well. Popcorn Hoffman. So where did Twitchy Oak go? So much. He is under the dwarf. Go to the item. Burrows work differently now. You have to manually cancel all jobs that might bring him outside the burrow after you activate. No, I don't care. I'll pay someone. I call me. Call me. I will pay someone a hundred dollars to put a mod back in to fix the fucking burrow. The burrows weren't working to begin with. Why would you make the burrows work even less? A burrow should be, say, the fucking side. I want an actual military fucking like restriction protocol if i say say the fucking here you stay the fucking here the first dwarf to set the fuck out execute him the next dwarf to step out execute him every dwarf that disobeys a burrow execute him they're all fucking enemies get the fuck inside you don't get to just decide to go back out. You don't get to decide to fucking ignore it. You don't get to decide that you want to have fun. The Like, it's only one burrow. I understand it for different burrows. There can be an issue. I want the civilian alert burrow. And I swear to God, the first civilian that goes outside is not a civilian. You kill them. They are an enemy doppelganger in disguise. I don't care if they're two months old. I don't care if they came out of your body. I don't care if you've watched them every second since then. That thing's a mimic. Put a sword in its throat. And whoever reads books near the, near, like within five feet of a base door, execute them too. Thank you so much. Whoever the hell is dragging boats or books around, execute them. You're allowed one room to read in. If you bring that book to your bedroom without a freaking library card, execute it. You are a spy. Every single time. Are you shitting me? Someone get the book out of there. Mm -hmm. I'm so annoyed. Burrows are working. Kilroy, my boy, burrows aren't working. Burrows haven't been working. This isn't a new to Steam version thing. Burrows, me and Burrows have had a hate, hate relationship forever. Uh, Grin, what? Grin 1236, thank you for following. We'll look back on the stream as the time it came out. I actually left the military because he made all the subordinates cry and they went AWOL. I don't think I made any of them cry. No reading allowed outside the library. Um, I came here for the educational content rants edition of Fortress. What book? Is it Necro? Knowledge is power. Fucking door fortress library card. <laughs> Sounds like proper only. Did you read my message? The Burroughs? You should be a headmaster. No, the burrows aren't working. Like, no. Burrows are not working. Flat out. Burrows, to begin with, did not properly work. The last base I did right before we switched to Steam was a base to figure out how to create burrows without creating burrows because burrows did not ever work properly. There was always an issue with burrow. However, at least during that, while you would get alerts, they would stay in the burrow. And now they just kind of piss off whenever they want anyways. Who threw a book down? Why did you throw a book down? Uh, I think all the military have killed who they need to kill. They're on constant training. I'm going to cancel this alert, uh, this, this burrow now. Because like, 
a bunch of the dwarves follow it, like 90% of the dwarves follow it. Just like 10% of the dwarves just every time decide, ah, I'm too important to listen to that. And they don't listen. Hellfire and Peregrine are fighting or is this just old alert from the goblins? Oh, they're fighting capybaras. Okay, that's nothing. Alerts are missing. Alerts aren't missing. The alerts are on the side. You can you can edit them. Okay, so here's the thing. Alerts are not missing. It, it's just a file you got to change. The file was kind of already there. What's changed slightly is the default on the alert file has changed. But that has, or unless you're talking about civilian alerts, like the civilian alert of stay the hell inside, in which case the civilian alert didn't do much that a burrow already kind of wasn't trying to do to begin with. Though I admit I want my damn civilian alert back because they don't listen. They just do not listen. If you're implying that civilian alerts, the act of assigning a civilian alert as an emergency, all civilian doors stay the fuck inside, and somehow that functionality is gone, which I, I don't think it is. I mean, the civilian alert is, but maybe they thought that just assigning people to a borough would take over it, in which case, yeah, put that shit back because they don't listen. They just do not listen. It's the one time that martial law is declared and they should listen and they just they just don't. They, they, they go outside to read books and go, oh my God, a goblin. And then they turn around, they just fucking huck the book back into the door jam like they're doing a baseball pitch. And then they just smile mischievously as they go back in and drink their freaking booze. Leaving a door open for the next guy to just wander out. And then everyone's like, oh, I hope we didn't need to talk to him, but we should have already talked to him. But the guard decided they just keep walking back and forth between having a meeting and storing his items. I wanted to get to the bottom of these plots because part of the plot chat, if you're coming in now, part of the plot is that someone wants to overthrow my base. So that's got me wanting to know what the hell is going on. And we keep having these weird plots and every time I get a chance to do it, every single time the guard or someone finds a way to bungle it, just talk to the dude, drag him in and figure out what's going on. And he's like, ah, I let him go or I didn't catch him or this one died or we had to do this or he was stealing. I never knew. I told him to just leave. The guards just never seem to do it when it's important. The last guy was kind of getting it done right. And then he just a uh, weak brigand was kind of getting it done right. And then uh, he died uh, because he did, which kind of screwed us. Which one of this was the investigation in question? Hold on. Was it CJ? Yeah, someone somewhere in here. It's um, when we learn about the the name, the dismal corpse. Yeah. Subject revealed that Saxzul Sas, Sax Rare Glove is in fact an assumed identity. His true name is Aspa Tufted Jungle. Subject has used Shadu Anguishyond as an alias, and he's also used Lore Floor Rivers in the past. He plotted to infiltrate the Page of Raptors in order to steal treasure and prepare a coup under the influence of another creature. Someone is trying to do a coup. I don't know who it is but I really need to figure out who this is. And we keep not getting the middle person. Like we've let one, we, we got this guy, but we killed him because he was running away with the item. We, we killed him. We investigated this other dude, but because we didn't catch him in the middle of the crime, they keep saying, well, well there's nothing to ask him about. Oh, well, oh, well. And then we got another dude actively in the middle of the crime. I locked the entire base on. I said, investigate the guy who stole it. Investigate his, his the guy he handed it to. Get these answers. And then, they, they, then we just let the guy walk out. I don't know. Like, luckily, the new dwarf that we've hired in it, he appears to already be doing his damn job. So I'm starting to think Twisted Oak is either bugged or just, just stupid in the head. Because I already, I, I can't even see him in the list anymore. I don't know what happened to Twisted Oak. He's not dead, is he? Did Twisted Oak find a way to kill himself? He shouldn't be dead. He wasn't in a fight. So somehow we've had a dwarf disappear from the dwarf list. No, it wouldn't help in spirit. The problem wasn't that like, here's the guy, here's the guy he was catching and you know, he had to go catch him. The problem was, is the guard just wandered in circles. 
it, 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 like even if I put him in the door, he would just be wandering in circles, being incompetent in front of the door. That wouldn't have fixed anything really. His location's not an issue. Lightning Runner's already in custody. Fantastic. Let's see how that works. Uh, who was the new dwarf doing this? Interrogating? I've already forgotten his name. The new dwarf is dead graphics. At least someone's doing the damn job. And now, you know what Lightning's gonna say? He's gonna say, oh, well, someone else, I uh, handed it to someone else, and we're not gonna know what the middle step was. Like, that dude dying just completely screwed over us understanding what's about to happen. <sighs> Interrogation report, officer on duty is Lightning Runner the first, oh, sorry, is Dead Graphics interrogating Lightning Runner the first. Subject uh, failed to do his duty in any regard and is an awful person. Met with subject, made intimidating remarks in order to elicit information. Subject naively complied. Subject confessed to the theft. Oh no, this is the guy who stole, not the guy who failed at his job. Subject confessed to the theft. In the late summer of the year 269, an unidentified creature known as the Human the Mercenary Uba Tub Drills of the Intricate Confederations corrupted the subject in order to have an agent in Bald Canyons. An unidentified creature met with the subject and made a threat. The plan worked. Subject revealed that in the late summer of 269, the subject plotted to steal Sandaris under the influence of an unidentified creature. I didn't like, that's kind of my problem. Like, that that's where it ends. Like, we, we knew who that was. I now can't interrogate who that was. Oh, oh, well. Like, he confessed. Implicate who? Thob Ink Rhymes? Thobbed ink rhythm was his thing. He confessed. All right. He confessed. We have an interview scheduled with guard Twitchy Oak, which has been said as his name. That's why I was losing him. He's not under Twitchy Oak. He's under guard Twitchy Oak because I, I typed something in wrong. Twitchy Oak. I've spelled his name wrong twice now. Twitchy Oak the first. Hopefully that's spelled right. Go figure out what the hell this idiot's doing because he, he sucks. Okay. Justice. But we can't interrogate him now because he's dead. Okay. I'm going to convict him. It's not much I can do with that case. Clear that out of my cases. I have interrogated him. I'm going to interrogate Twitch Yoku, who's not going to tell me a damn thing, and then I'm going to arrest Lightning Runner for being a bad man. Handed me that hat. And when do I get to put an axe to him? Uh, None. Something about smooth sailing shit. All right, that was him going into custody. And dead graphics. What are you doing now? You are eating. All right, what are you doing after that? You're going to go interrogate people. What are these meetings that they keep attending? I'm attending a meeting with who? Why? For what reason? Like, you just ran in the middle of nowhere. Why is there a dead dwarf on the ground? Why have we not buried him? He's not forbidden. And I have caskets. Is the other dwarf just laying down on the ground still? Why are we not burying our dead guys? <laughs> Please bury the dead guys. Do the Alkis, oh, these don't count as tombs right now. That's why. This is a multi. Done. Done. Maybe now they'll bury him. I was tricked to tell you, attend the next meeting and find out. Well, the meetings are supposed to be anonymous. They're attending a meeting with the mayor to complain about being yelled at and made to cry by the overseer. 
Friends of Bill. Dude. It says scheduled. At least the graphics did one. I'll give him that, but like other things shouldn't be taking priority. I've lost the graphics again. Store item in stockpile. You shouldn't be storing any item in stockpile. Are you not under the military thing? Hold on. First of all, I know what's going on here. Labor, planter. Uh, Twitch Yoke, you're a planter again. You're not in the military, which I swear does not work half the time. Um, two, dead graphics. You should be in the military. I have you under holler. So dead graphic, you're now not a holler. Congratulations. You're only in the military. Only the selected do nothing. As little as this works. Holler. The manager. I'll set you in as a hauler. Why not? Peasant, you're a hauler. A bunch of clothiers. Mayor, you can be a hauler. You're not restricted to it, but you know it's there. All right, the graphics. You should not do any job. Pick up equipment. Store owned item. Pick up equipment. Is this is this causing a loop? Like what are you picking up? I don't understand. If I take him off the military routine... No, he just grabbed a bar. Okay, no, interrogate. Yeah. He shouldn't have and grabbed whatever he just grabbed, but at least he's got interrogate going. Yeah, no, the other guy was just bugged or something. I don't know. He, he refused to do his job. Yeah, the... Do you think you have someone with you right now? You didn't interrogate anyone, dude. You just kind of stood there by yourself. Wait, did that work? I interviewed Twitchy Oak, and now I've got another case. And it just says, implicate somebody. What? Where did this new get? You didn't, you didn't interrogate anyone. You just stood in the room by yourself and went, God, I'm good. And now there's an espionage case, but there's no information because you didn't talk to anyone. You just sat in a room by yourself. I mean, I love your gusto. Just making up crimes, that's good, but at least come up with information for him. Let's try to interrogate again. I don't know. You just stole something from someone's room? What do you mean store owned item? Ugh. All right, you claimed. All right, we're investigating Twitchy Oak this time. They wanted the crown, that's fine. Is this Twitchy Oak? All right, you're coming with us, Twitchy Oak. You're gonna explain to us how I talked to you without you being in the room last time. Tell me your secrets, Twitchy Oak. All right, so we've interrogated Twitchy Oak. Wait, we interrogated the dead guard. That's what the ghost was. He literally somehow, holy shit, we got an interrogation off the dead dude. He, he, that, he wasn't, there was not, no one there. The guard was there. He interrogated the dead dude. He had a seance. Interrogation report. Ghost detective. Dead graphics. The first re re reporting. Met with subject. Misrepresented facts surrounding the case or illicit information. Ghost naively complied, even though I could not in fact touch him. Subject confessed to the theft. I know this because it was also being told to me by the ghost that never lies. 
Subject revealed that Thob Inc. Rhythm is in fact an assumed identity. Subject's true name is Heiner Stasis Love. Subject has used Oba Tub Drills as an alias in the past. Subject has used Rakust Night Ink as an alias in the past. Subject revealed that in the mid-spring of 256, Subject plotted to infiltrate the Pager Raptors in order to steal treasures and prepare a coup under the influence of some other unidentified creature. Well, I mean, at least... Oh, I pushed the wrong button. At least we got something. I have no clue how I interrogated the ghost, but... Okay. If you say so. Twitch Yoke gave me no new information. How did... I... So that's what this one is saying. The, the dead dude... Uniblock, someone told, he, but he doesn't know who that next one is. So this would be what, under plots? Orgs? This is, yeah, this is this other plot. We, we don't know who this dude up top is. These are clearly part of the same plot. They have the same exact drives, the same motifs, but we don't know what it is. This is really weird that we don't know who this is. We got a couple of aliases on him at least. So when the other guy said tub drills, it should up update to hind year stasis love. If we go under this, yeah, Unib plucked under hind year stasis love under someone. Whereas before he was under Aspatufta jungles, who is another dead guy, I think. All right, so just so we have this together we had one guard who couldn't talk to anyone because he kept running in circles doing nothing and we had another guard who is so good at his job that even death will not stop him getting information from you that is a good job yeah this this captain's a lot better than the last one a gift goes in the horse Someone is weaving a wick. Wait, can we interrogate the dead guy from the last theft? No. Because it, you can't do anything under closed cases. That's what I was saying. That's why I didn't want that guy to be dead. Because if I got the first guy, then it's like, oh, this case, this case is closed. Okay, there's no more interrogation. Technically, I can start investigating anyone in the base to track down the espionage case. But this last one where we had Lightning Runner, we can, we're going to convict him out because he did do it. He did it. And then we're going to order up a bunch of schedules and see what we can just start finding if we just ask everyone in the base what the hell's going on. We'll see how well that works. But this one, there's not more we're going to get. Like the only thing we're going to get on this is Lightning Runner said that he did it and this guy told him to do it. That's all we're going to get out of this. And this was him confessing to doing that. Yeah. So. Actually, did I do the right one? I think I just convicted him of doing the second one, not the first. I just convicted him of uh, convincing himself to do the crime. Whoopsie. Lightning Runner might be in some trouble. I'm sure he'll be fine. Who's Cancel TV doing? Uh, fighting a buzzard. Okay, I'm not that worried. Have we picked up the book yet? Yo, idiots, pick up the book. Like, if you guys don't pick this crap up, we're going to die. You understand this, right? Particularly this book. Why do we have a book on the ground? Bring the book somewhere. Should be in the library. We're waiting for someone to pick up a book and bring it to a library. Uh oh, what? Oh, yeah, no, that you might die. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine and nothing bad will come out of it. Maybe. Convicts, where is lightning? Under name. Wrong button. Justice, convicts, name. Convict's name. Lightning Runner. See, it's just a beating. 
I'm sure dead graphics won't won't punish you too harshly. It's probably because I think it, it, it probably stacked up with your last crime too. I don't think we've we've done the punishment for both crimes. Do I have 62 jets? I do not. What do I have up here for these? Are these suspended? They did get suspended. Let's go through the tasks. Boop, boo doop, boop, 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 boo doop, boop, boop. Stop. You have violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. I already gave you my stolen goods. Resisting arrest, is it? Okay. <laughs> How do you plead? Not guilty. I knew you'd say that. What? I never understood that part, by the way. I never understood that in Judge Dredd. How do you plead? Not guilty. I knew you'd say... What happens if he pleads guilty? He always acts like, you said not guilty, ergo, I get to destroy your shit. What is he supposed to plead then? <laughs> guilty? You're already destroying his shit. What is, what, is, what is the right answer here? Every time. I knew you'd say that. Okay. Yeah, it requires this natural, but not over here. Weird. Then pay with your blood. Oh, face cam's not on. I've been talking to it. See, this is why, this is why I get confused. I abstain. I'm sorry. Not a dwarf to give. Yes, I'm sorry. Hazen, right now we're waiting for a migrant wave to maybe come in and bring us about 20, 30 dwarves. But right now we don't have any to give out. We are, we are all named up, as it were. Every single dwarf is part of an intricate story. A story of confusion. And one that I will never solve because the dwarves hate me. Bright side, the wall's getting done. All right. Well, we'll let the justice beat itself out, and then we need to. See, I knew if we mined out here, we get a bunch. What do we got back here? Cavern, more limestone. Well, I mean, limestone's good. I'm hope. Hopefully, we can find some more jet or something. Also, I've got a button that's missing. Who have I killed? I missed man TM. Uh, I want to be in the military. I did that. What are my skills? My description? Okay. I I wish the channel redeem thing. I didn't mean to be ignoring these. If this would naturally be part of the the uh, Twitch pop-ups, then I would have been able to notice they were happening earlier. Claiborne. Thank you so much. Thank you for following Painosaurus Rex. Claiborne, your skills are as follows. You're adequate. <laughs> you're a goblin dancer, Claiborne. So your skills, I'm assuming, are under social where you're a talented teacher and a skilled intimidate. Where is dancing? Is there a dancing skill? There you go. You are a legendary dancer, uh, Claiborne the first. Everyone has heard stories far and wide of the weird little goblin creature that just dances really, really good. And everyone's just kind of like, okay, maybe they are. I don't know. <laughs> That's like it. That's your only real skill is you danced your way through Goblin College. I don't know. You're legendary at it, though. I dance like nobody is watching. Yes. All right. We have a couple. I want to be in the military requests. Hold on. Vizindir, you asked twice. I'm refunding the second one. I'm going to get you in the military. And you did a description twice. I just didn't see your first one. I'm, I'm catching up to it. The problem is, is that someone I click something and there's like the activity log of what happens. And the activity log, it shows follows and stuff. So it, it gets rid of the requests. So I have a pop out of the reward queue. But for some reason, the reward queue isn't on the same page. Well, let me put that on the same page. I think lightning got his punishment. He's probably in the hospital right now. Yep, what happened to Lightning? He's lost his ability to grab a little bit. 
because his hand has been fucked up. They told him to put his hand out, and instead of a freaking ruler, they put a hammer through it or something. He needs a lot of medical treatment. I think he's getting treated. Nope, C Jam's just staring at him. Okay, question. What does he need for medical treatment? Cancel TV is our diagnostician. What if I get another one? You know, Aminafiz. Aminafiz, come do this. Please. Please diagnose for me, Aminafiz. Who is this? Lee Kale. What is he doing? Nothing. Why is no one coming to take care of the sick dwarf? Are we out of a resource? Splints, cloth, thread. I'm just gonna up these because I can. I thought I had made some soap. I guess that didn't happen. But there are doctors that are supposed to be treating this man, and what we've got is some random CJM staring at him. You're one of the doctors. What what are you doing, my dude? Do it. Take care. Some migrants have arrived. Okay, how many new dwarves do we have? Also, I still gotta do the description. Hold on. Vizindir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get those in in a second. Twelve is the the new number. Vizindir. You asked your dwarven description. Vizindir. Was it under this one? Vizindir is quite quick to heal and rarely sick, but is very flimsy. Vizindir has great intuition, a great ability to focus, and good creativity, but. She has poor memory and little linguistic ability and an atrocious spatial sense. Vizindir II likes slate, aluminum, sardonyx, round lime wood, breastplates, statues, crowns, buckets, and the side of the incense of couples. When possible, Vizindir prefers to consume clown loach, dwarven wine, donkey milk, and buckwheat flour, though they absolutely detest moon snails. And you want to be in the military, Vizindir. I don't have... Yeah, I can get you in over here. Lee Kale's the the leader right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you in the military in a minute because I gotta do a couple things to the whole military thing. So description is complete. You want to be in the military? You want to be in the military? What are your skills? Who have I killed? I'll get to you in a second. I believe our migrants was twelve. If I spell that right. So now we have twelve more slots for people to get dwarfed. Bandosaurus Rex, thank you for following. I, uh, Damn it, Jim. I'm not that kind of doctor. I just want there to be doctors. That's all I want. I just want there to be doctors. All right. Dwarf seven for Pandasaurus. This is upside down, so this would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holski77, thank you for following. Cargon the Barbarian, thank you so much for following. The first one up was Pandasaurus Rex. Thank you so much. Pandasaurus Rex, the first. All right, Pandasaurus, right now you're a miller. Next dwarf up. Uh, dwarf five for Cargon the Barbarian. One, two, three, four, five. You're a woodcutter right now, Cargon. Cargon the Barbarian, the first. Got you in, Cargon. Next up was Blue Water, 4875. Now, Blue Water, are you a fisherman or were you in the Navy? Because usually people who reference Blue Water, or actually a marine biologist as well, usually people who actually reference Blue Water as opposed to just say deep ocean, ocean or whatever, is someone who's, you know, been there. Dwarf three for Blue Water 4875. One, two, three.
Blue Water, 4875. You are currently a blacksmith. And you are picking up equipment. I was a Lake River kid. Oh, as opposed to Whitewater. I'm sorry. Yes. I completely forgot the other the other aspect of water. I, I was thinking like Coast Guard versus Navy. My bad. I forgot that there is actually river versions of Whitewater and stuff like that. That's fine. It's okay. You be a fisher. You you go in there, you noodle that fish out. Actually, blue water. Blue water wouldn't be noodling, right? Blue water is up in the swamps. Well, not swamps, but... Now I'm actually trying to figure out where blue water is. Like I said, I know of it for ocean relation. Blue water. I know white water rapids. That's when it's... What is blue water then? Your favorite normie just died. He wasn't even in a fight or anything. He's just, he's just dead. Can everyone stop dying of old age, please? Your favorite normie has to have a dead button. He's definitely died a lot. There we go. You must go fish. White water to makes me think of rafting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Blue water is just fresh water. Okay, the user could not be found. What? What do you mean he couldn't be found? He's so dead he doesn't exist? What happened to your favorite normie? Arg1 username is argument1 username. Like the, the buttons back here are actually referencing a direct script. The dwarf kill command is a way to access the script. Dwarf kill at your favorite normie. Would that work? It said that that one was the name. So something is wrong with my button for your favorite normie. Apparently the name it sends through is not a name. It looked through the list of people who, who supposedly were in the purchase history for Dwarf Fortress or for dwarves and didn't find a your favorite normie. All right, but people are getting buried, so that should be good. This is his tomb. That's someone's tomb. I need jet. I'm mining somewhere. I think this is where I'm mining. None of this looks like there's a ton of limestone and microclimate. None of this is jet. So this layer is not good. I'm going to stretch. This is another reason why I usually have the, the push-ups to break up the streaming. Because the lumbar support pillow thing is not great. So usually, it's way later in the stream if I do have an issue with the back. Maybe it's old age. The old age has caught up to me. Uh, binary algorithm, no. Right now, only magma and water are actual liquids. Everything else is just contamination. You can coat the floor, but it wouldn't be deep. Yeah, this over here isn't even the base. This is like the worker's housing structure. This is the base. So I need to get stones to make blocks to get dwarves out here. Well, if I don't have enough jet, I might as well rewall this so that we don't have any pathfinding dealing with it. I need sandstone for the ceiling. I need jet for the floor. All right, there have been some cancellations. So let's just scroll on down and start resuming a bunch. Okay. Are you using a jet for the floor because practical reason or just color? Trust me, there's no practical reason to jet. Um, no, this is just for color. It was suggested at the beginning 
when I was doing the castle that because I was doing walls and doing a bunch of the early stuff out of limestone, a nice contrasting material would be a dark material. So jet was selected as a contrasting material. As a matter of fact, the original idea was to use jet for that floor and this floor, but when I realized that I was having a difficulty getting 8,000 jet, let alone 16,000 jet, I replaced the ceiling with sandstone because I had a ready supply of it. The only issue with sandstone is it's always an aquifer, isn't it? At least on this map it is. So that's what, 96? How much sandstone do I have lying around? 70. Great. Come on, game. This'll work. So yeah, in order to start doing this, this is what we are working with. And at some point, I even need even more jet because at some point, this limestone floor needs to go away. This isn't really supposed to be here. This is what was left over from the initial artificial river that I had going straight across to make sure the water flowed correctly. But we have freed up a lot of space now. Um, I believe that got done up. Why is that? They never dumped any of the steel. I just realized this. We've ordered for a while for steel to be dumped and steel never got dumped. Like, at all. All the steel is ordered to be dumped and no one dumped it. So when they're just now doing it because I looked at it? You've had plenty of time to dump all this steel. Why would you just now be looking at it? Does this stockpile not allow steel? Like maybe they no. Maybe they were bringing it back. All right, this is weird. Let me go to stocks and undump and redump all the steel. Something's gone wrong with it. Any reason you're dumping steel to get it where I need it to be? I'm I'm simply I'm trying to get the steel out of. Hold on, can I resume? I'm simply trying to get steel to be taken back out of the bins. So when I'd gone into this, there were statements that the bin system in Door Fortress had been fixed. There were no more issues with bins. And then at some point I started, uh, I believed it and I started using bins. And it seems for the most part that they are essentially just as much of an issue as they ever were before. So I'm now trying to slowly extricate everything from bins and for the most part, remove bins from my life. Because they're just, they're just causing problems. What issue? Uh, the same issues ban um, bins have always caused. One, they're not great storage systems. Uh, two, your dwarves end up putting empty bins everywhere. And other than this graphic, it really is kind of a pain to see what the hell is even in them or if any of them are being used. Three, they tend to mix everything in them anyways, so nothing really gets done. Four, while they have now changed it, to where a dwarf claiming one thing from a bin does not preclude anything else being taken from the bin. That bin is essentially still locked in place. So if you're trying to move things around, it's just not getting done. So if you're trying to do mass transportation of anything, bins slow you down more than they speed you up. And everything kind of just gets locked down with it. If you have an item in a bin that has been banned by one of the nobles for trade, you've lost the entire bin. You cannot... Like, unless you go manually track down every item in the bin, if you sort by bin and go, hey, I want to bring this over here, they won't take the item out of the bin that's banned. They just won't take the whole bin. So bins are still contagious. Like, if there's something in a bin that should not be there for whatever your purpose is right now, that entire bin is just, it's just a non-entity. So bins still kind of just as much of a problem as they've ever been. God, we have so many requests for spears. How many steel spears have I made? Can I look this up real quick, actually? So, bad with seeds. I don't know why you'd put seeds in bins. Barrels and stuff, uh, from what I understand, the main issue with seeds and barrels is the one thing that has been fixed, which is that if someone is going to put a seed in a bag or something in a barrel, it would lock out the entire barrel, preventing you from planting more seeds. That is the one thing that has been fixed as far as I understand it. But I still had an issue earlier of sorting out the seeds and the bags if you wanted certain things to be somewhere. So I had to go back to my old method of how I sorted out seeds, 
which as you can see here, still isn't even being followed because there's a barrel over here and there should not be a barrel. There should not be a barrel on the left side. Good, that one listened, this one didn't. So there are still just some issues with it. Also, all the stockpiles right now keep resetting their barrel counts and being like, oh, you want four, you want five, you want whatever, even when you're like, no, I want, I want zero, zero. So I'm in the process right now of just stripping them from everything. Can you drop a specific item down a floor into a quantum pile or it doesn't work right? Uh, no, it works. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I did with coal. But right now, for some reason, steel's determining that it doesn't need to be dr thrown. Like they're sh they keep going in and out of being done. They're like, they're not dumping steel. I don't know why. This is so weird. Like, I want to get everyone out of See, no one, they're like, they're not coming over here. It just go keeps me like, I'll do it. I won't do it. I'll do it. I won't do it. I'll do it. I won't do it. They're not doing it. So we're experiencing an issue with steel right now, I guess. Cool. If I do an undump, does that free all the steel? Because they were in here? Yeah. Okay, cool. What if I were to say do one for... Also, we put a bin in here. There's not supposed to be a bin. Fuck. And then, like I said, the big issue is afterwards, if you want to sort anything, once they're in a bin, you can't get them to get them back out of the bin. Like, it's a very important, like, step to get things out of bins again. But they, the dwarves ref absolutely refuse to do that. So that's what I'm trying to do over here is I'm struggling to get these things out. Now what I could probably do... Hold on. What I could probably do is... I have a dumb idea. This is so very slow and painful, but I have an idea. I'll say no bins or no bins over here, right? Boom. But it allows steel. I have to reset it now. It does allow steel. If I go over here and tell you that you do not allow steel, which you already don't, then steel should go over there other than the fact of the bins. So, construction floor, what if I just build a bunch with steel? What if I just like do a massive floor on the ground of steel and then deconstruct it afterwards? The individual steel no longer in bins. Thank you so much. Thank you for following. The individual steel no longer in bins would have to go back to the regular stockpile. So, as stupid as this sounds, I'm going to build a 200 floor of steel with the express purpose of, I'm just gonna dig it up right afterwards so I can actually access my steel. 222, 130, 70, 80, 90. It was around there, that's 50. That's 42. So yeah, we'll go with that for now. And then once the steel floor is built, we'll deconstruct it, it'll be individual bars, then we can just go do something else with them. Who got, who got dwarf? Mr. Tarvin. You did die again, Mr. Tarvin. You ran out into combat versus a Cyclops and went, Hi, Cyclops. And then he punched you in the leg. And after that, you weren't all right anymore. And then he punched you in the head. <laughs> and between these two things, the gobble, uh, the giant was no longer your problem. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mr. Tarvin, I think the fourth now? Mr. Tarvin, the fourth. Mr. Tarvin, the fourth. Also, I just realized my thing dropped off again. Damn it. I was focusing on that earlier and the screen disappeared. Nope, wrong screen. You, can I just right click you and say always on top? I would prefer that. It would make my life so much easier. All right, earlier I was trying to figure, sort out people being in the military. Vizindir and the Sand Bibich. Bibich? Bibich want to be in the military. The Sin Bibich, I don't think I've dwarfed you yet. I might have. Have you been dwarfed? If you haven't been dwarfed, I cannot put you in the military yet because you don't have a dwarf. Just a heads up. Lee Kale the second. Where is Lee Kale? Actually, oh, I should just look for the people in yellow. That's right. The relieve knives is going to be in yellow. Duh. Earthen, 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 brass, earthen, granite battles. 
Granite Battles. What's the Granite Battles? How come... All right, what if I... You need a leader. Okay, hold on. We're, I gotta move some things around. Uh, the Zendir, I'm gonna get you in right now. I'm gonna get you in early so I can move names around. Wherever you happen to have been, the Zendir. All right, the Zendir. I got you in as a leader, which means I can now go to Lee Kale. Click somebody to assign them position two. Remove, remove, remove. Now assign leader, I can track down Lee Kale. Shit, who's that other dwarf? I just kicked someone out of the military and I, I, I didn't pay attention to who it was. But let's say enlisted, right? <laughs> Shit, I didn't think that one through. Um, let's track down Lee Kale, get him back in. Lee Kale's back in. Position two is not you, Vizindir. It's whoever I just fired. Time to make ready for number five. The squad names don't update in other lists. It's annoying. Yeah. Not include the pit? I mean, we could update it to do that. Last time we included the pit. Like, that's not the first pit we did. I just moved the whole pit over. And now the pit's being weird. Also, we made it work without, like, I don't know. It's being, it's being bonkers for no reason. Um, I'm guessing we're looking for someone with wrestling skill. Like, I just accidentally fired someone. Does anyone remember who was in the military? Because I don't think I have squad three. Squad three wasn't big enough, so I wasn't that worried. Oh, I did. Wait, Mr. Tarvin, Krabukus. No, Krabukus died. And then Lee Kale. Lee Kale's been promoted twice. I didn't write down who was below Lee Kale. Whoops. Uh, we'll have to go through the VOD later or something. Maybe they'll come back and be like, I was in the military. Why am I not in the military? Because I accidentally fired someone. Great. Uh, which means, going in order, it would now be Vizindir. Vizindir, where are you? Because I put you in and then fired you because I needed a leader in to click on the other ones. So Vizindir is in, which means we're going to lose one of our religious people? Because remember, if you guys are joining the military, you all have like major jobs. I want to point that out. A bunch of you are just like, oh, I want a job. A lot of you are in major jobs and temples and stuff. So a lot of you are like making everyone die due to lack of religious autonomy. At their Vizindir in the military uh, was the Sand Bibich. And was the Sand Bibich who got dwarfed? No, it was Holsky 77. The Sand Bibich, I don't remember your name, dude. I do have a bad memory, though. The Sand Bibich. Yeah, Sandbibich, I can't get you in the military because you don't have a dwarf. The Zendir, I'm refunding your points. I don't know if you just popped in and popped out. And I don't think I've seen you in chat correct me. So I'm going to assume that you're not here right now and let you keep your points. Uh, Mr. Man, skills, description, military. Next up was Holsky77. And then he did get dwarfed, so I can get him in no problem. What dwarf did you roll, Holski? You rolled dwarf six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're a fish dissector, supposedly, Holski, but I don't believe it. Holski, 77. Enlisted, Holski, 77. All right. Now I can grab you, Holski. Why does it say not minor? Is that important? Is it important that you not be a miner? The Zendir. I got to change out your name position. And then later I got to figure out what job you used to have. You're a poet. I think you were assigned to a tavern. I don't think you had that big of a thing. Poet. Rename. Enlisted. The Zendir. The second. All right. We got that in. Holski, you're in the military. Mr. Tarvin, you're the next request to being in the military. Signed position four, Mr. Tarvin the fourth. Mr. Tarvin the fourth, you were a butcher. You are now no longer a butcher. Where are you, Mr. Tarvin? 
Mr. Tarvin. Perhaps you won't die this time, Mr. Tarvin, but I don't have much faith in that. You best be believing in suicide missions, Mr. Tarvin. You'll lead one. <laughs> Enlisted Mr. Tarvin. Okay. Hold on. Everyone keeps putting these things in as I'm trying to clear it out. Because now True Freak wants to be in the military. Everyone wants to be in the military. We have way too many people in the military. You guys know this, right? <laughs> like, this, this is why things don't get done. True Freak, you were a gym cutter. Enlisted. True Freak. Sign position. What is a true freak? I think he's an old one. Oh, there he is. Enlisted true freak. I've got you in the military now. Okay, you're in. All right. Who have I killed? What's my description? What are my skills? And who have I killed? All easily done. Okay. Except for what I now need to do is rewrite a new squad three. All those are gone. Squad three is now Lee Kale. Vizindir, Holsky, 77, Mr. Tarvin, the dead man walking, and True Freak. All right, got you through. All right, there's an issue later. We won't have a problem. Squad three needs to change their schedule on training, because there's now ooh, one, two, three, four, five of them. So they should probably have at least three training at all times. Train, delete, done. There we go. Up above, your training should say seven. It does. And up above, your training should say seven. It does. And then down below, your training should say one. So it shuts up. Just leave that alone, though. You're on chill time anyways. All right. Those are all through. Mr. Man, who have I killed? You've killed no one. You're a peaceful soldier. Mr. Man TM. In the military, you've killed Mayful Trade Ran, the dwarf, and Salon Vault Prophet, the dwarf. Also, one goblin. Just so it wouldn't look weird that you had killed a bunch of dwarves and no one else. By way ye, by way ye, to your slaughter, your command, your death be true. I, Russet Hoisted the Elf, and Eteb Square Homes the Dwarf. You've also killed four capybaras, four goblins, and two buzzards. Boop, boop, almost caught up. Jesus. Shut the hell up with a pirate voice before I say bad things about your mother, Mr. Mantium. What are you talking about? <laughs> this isn't a pirate voice at all. This is a Midwestern accent, Mr. Mantium. Are you ready to cut down the corn, Mr. Man? We've got corn and potatoes that are growing out in the fields. We've got to cut them down and bring them in before the winter comes a knocking. <laughs> a Midwestern Father Ted. Father Ted! Yes! All right. Um, That is that show, right? It was an, it was an old comedy. It was an Irish comedy, I think. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it was an old Irish comedy about a bunch of fathers stuck on an island called like Craggy Isle or something like that. It's like a really old dude, Father Ted, I think, and a, I'm forgetting the name of the character, but the actor was in another comedy called My Hero. Uh, all right, and then someone said, can you read my dwarf description in the pirate voice? Pandasaurus Rex, I can try. I've got bad news for you, though. The longer I try to keep up an accent, the more likely it is I am that I'm going to fuck it up. 
personality wise pandasaurus rex has a way with words but they have poor empathy and a shortage of patience and if he scents for music and very bad intuition <sighs> you can dwarf all you want but you can't be quick to heal and also be very flimsy little known fact about pandasaurus rex they like satin spar trifle pewter banded agate giant hair leather linen fabric and leggings who doesn't They'll walk the plank for giant harp seals for their adorable pups in the sight of the incense of couples. When possible, they prefer to consume musk ox, swamp whiskey, and candle nuts, though they absolutely detest purring maggots. There we go. Who got dwarfed? Bro Casa Joke. I got you. I got you, Bro Casa Joke. You got dwarf number one. Apparently, this is Bro Casa Joke. What are you doing? B R. Zero K A S A J zero K E the first Bro cast a joke. Tarvin needs an oh my god they killed Tarvin zone. Oh, oh my god, you killed Tarvin! Strong army. Military too big to schedule military to be on for only a few months a year. Who does that? No. No, never do that. <laughs> There's not many things that I won't try to meet chat on like the midway point on. But this is what I'm going to stick stick to. Do not do on again, off again training. Do reduce dwarf training for 24 seven. Do not do on again, off again. There are, there's an issue right now that people are having with their dwarves and they keep throwing food or drinks everywhere. And I have never had that issue because my dwarves just train 24 seven. That's all they do. But I don't say that every dwarf needs to be there. I pick a number, right now it's about seven, that needs to be there. The big issue though is not their training capabilities. It's that I don't want the military doing anything else. I want them ready and in a certain position so that they all come out at once. Like I want the military to be together and hit the enemy at the same time. If you have most of your enemy wandering around off duty during some months and you tell them to attack, they'll, they'll come from different directions and get killed. Which means what you'll have to do first is a station command to put them in a localized position and then hope you can send them at the enemy. So I don't ever suggest that you do on again, off again training. It really isn't great. The one time in this base I did a time period where they weren't training was to make one dwarf happy and it got another dwarf killed. Like it killed a bunch of my dwarves. Don't do that. I would never recommend doing that. There, there's just too many negatives that can come up for too little uh, reward. Now, where is... God, I need more jet. Everywhere I mine, I don't find jet. Don't you bloop at me. Who blooped? Who had a mood? Unnamed craft dwarf. Cool. This one already had a visible jet. Maybe there's... We got some jet down here earlier, right? So, if this was a jet, could there be more jet over here? Because we dug up to find Jet. Like, I had an idea of where Jet was, and I did find it. Which is the weirdest thing of all this. I've bumped into the Jet multiple times, but never where I've been predicting it's supposed to be because of the way Door Fortress used to work. So I'm just going to mine out all of this wall to the left. And hope I find Jet in there. Because we're, we're, we're in desperate supply need of Jet. Hope your vocal cords stop working in a week. Nah, they'll be fine. Ardalo Hanlon. Father Dougal! That's what it was. Father Ted was a great comment. You're 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 telling me. I grew up, no joke. If anyone wants to not understand my personality, just imagine. Follow me here. Follow me in in this mixed pot of insanity. A New England boy. New England boy raised in Texas on anime and British slash Irish comedies. <laughs> Everyone else had Saturday morning cartoons. I had Saturday evening PBS comedies. That's what I was raised on. <laughs> British comedies, anime, Texas, New England. Mix that together and if that doesn't answer half of your questions, you haven't asked enough questions. 
<laughs> the main pit? Yeah, I do gotta do that. Spencer the streamer and Invader Zib, thank you so much for following. Invader Zib? Did who took Zim from you? Who we'll go take him out together. You give me his name. Give me a name and a time, and I will give you uh, a uh, an alibi. <laughs> How dare they? Thank you so much for following. Um, such a question. Me killing a team, whoever. What? Oh, the guy you killed. Hold on. I don't know who their name is. The Spanish Inquisition. I totally knew you were coming. I was saying about two weeks ago. I said the Spanish Inquisition will soon be here. No one tell them what I've been doing because I don't think I'll be able to get out of it this time. How is it going? Military kills. Is this what you mean by your team? A team whoever? I think you mean Eteb Squarehames. I think you meant the dwarf. Eteb. Squarehames. But most importantly, you are Doocium Tool Wonders. Doocium Tool Wonders. Can you buy Jet? Yes, but not in enough amounts. Like, you can't buy to solve your issue. If you are if you are doing construction in this game, can someone please get this book out of here? I swear to God, dump it. Dump the book. It says someone's grabbing it, but no one ever grabs it. Grab the damn book. Who's who, who's grabbing this book? Who's grabbing the horn bound the horn codex? Who? Who is claiming that they're storing a codex in the stockpile? It's gonna have to be a library or something over here, right? Store item and location. Item and barrel. Like, there are a lot of store item and locations that aren't being done. Why? I'm guessing that's what all these other ones are. Something has gone terribly wrong with pathfinding. Because they're not grabbing it. Like, I... If you have this, I should be able to click this and see who's doing it. Who's flagging this task? Who? Like, whoever it is, they should have gotten to it by now. It's not that... It's not like it's hidden. Forbid, unforbid. Someone come grab this item. Holy crap. I'm not asking for much. Um, by the way, he was doing a statue. Spencer Streamer, repeat a pack. Can you buy? Oh, yeah. Anyways, that's what it was. Buying jet. The problem is, is I need 2,000 stones of it and 8,000 blocks of it. So it's not really a question of buying jet is... Can you convince the game to bring that much jet? You're like, hey, I'm going to buy jet next year and they'll bring like 12. It's an okay amount, but it, it ain't going to solve the issue. The Spanish Inquisition got dwarf number three. That's what else. That's the noise I heard. Uh, one, two, three, Spanish Inquisition. You're a spinner. TH3 underscore Spanish underscore. Inquisition. The first. I'm here to hang my dwarf. Good. I'm begging you. We need this man's dwarf in the guard. I'll pay channel points for his inclusion in the military. Which dwarf? What? Yeah. Why do you want the Spanish Inquisition? No. It. <laughs> Let's be clear. You cannot pay channel points to put someone else's... I... <laughs> That almost sounds not trolling. That that almost sounds like harassment. You can't pay channel points to say do this to someone else's dwarf. You know what I mean? Like that's no. <laughs> that don't make no sense. Can you upgrade to obsidian? Yeah, I would need a bunch of obsidian. I would need like two thousand obsidian. That answered the question. Oh. Right afterwards, he said he wanted to be in the Now, yeah, if he does it, then sure, we can put him in, but. Uh, to do, to do Spanish, you're a new dwarf. Spanish Inquisition. And we got to set you. Mm, the Hoff, the Spanish. That you have the job of enlisted. 
the Spanish Inquisition. Oh my God, you've actually maxed it out. I'm gonna say enlist the Spanish Inquisition. I can just fit, fit it. Enlist the Spanish Inquisition. Also, hold on. Save and continue playing. Name safe. Just because. I've had a lot of names come in recently. I don't remember it saving in the meantime. But I'm um, saying straight so upgrading to obsidian is a possibility, but then I would need the infrastructure to be making uh, an obsidian generator, if that's what I was going with. Like maybe my lower levels could be doing it, but I'm not even I haven't even gone through the cavern yet. The cavern's 60 layers of aquifer. Sorry, that's a lie. The cavern has 60 layers and it's overlapping 20 layers of a 30 layer aquifer. Now he needs a monster hunter named Inigo Montoya. Oh, what if no one's killed his father? All right, Dwarven skills, Dwarven description, and the statue. I wrote down the name to work on the statue. Get, get, get your stretches in. Hold on. Hold on. Eh. I'm do a legit one. Just because I think my little lumbar pillow. Excuse me. My little lumbar pillow is not doing great today. Maybe I just need a new new chair. Maybe I need a new kick-ass gamer chair. You know, one that leans back really far. I've lost my I've lost my lumbar pillow. Where'd it go? It slipped below my butt. What are you doing? All right, what was I doing? Uh, statue. What is this statue? Why do I have a statue of boogeymen? Does anyone ever remember why I have this statue? We got a statue of Boogeyman with no explanation of why. I'm going to build this statue real quick to get it out of my way because I'm tired of looking at the statue of Boogeyman. I'm going to build this statue up here because I said so. Because I don't want to deal with that statue anymore. All right. You, out of microcline. Statue, detail of stone, microcline, detail, image, new image, historical creature, Ducium. You didn't work. Ducium tool wonders. And another historical figure, Eteb Squareham. Striking down. Ducium striking down Eteb. Microcline statue is an image of Ducium Tool Wonders, a dwarf, and Eteb Square Hames, a dwarf. Ducium Tool Wonders is striking down Eteb Square Hames. Location up to you, details me killing him. All right, there we go. Done. I'll build that statue later. Yeah, that was that was what the joke was, Mr. Man. This, this was this was supposed to be a, a gamer chair. See, it's got a it's got a goofy name on it, and it it didn't work. Like everything that the chair said, it was its strong points were in fact all lies, and none of them are strong points. Only maybe at best weak points. Like, I am more than a little miffed at how much of this was supposed to be X, Y, or Z, and it is, like, the exact opposite. All right, bring them all in. We do have to slaughter a bunch of alpacas again, though. Uh, pets, livestock, sort, please. I'll leave the babies alone, but some of the adults got to go. We got too many of you bad boys kicking again. I'll bring our meat up. Oh, look, we're leet with meat. Began a mysterious construction. Well, good for him.
Yeah, I got to get one of them Herman Miller ones. Like that, that's that's not even up for. Like I said, everything about this chair of what it was supposed to do, like, oh, it's got good armrests. First of all, the middle of the armrest thing, plastic, guaranteed to break. I took this thing apart and saw what was on the inside. The one thing that you would think would need to not be plastic, just fucking plastic. So it's guaranteed to break. That's why it wiggles. The, uh, I thought I'd gone extra for like decent quality armrests and shit. And this, this might, I think this is just pleather. I think this is just like bullshit plastic because it's ripped through and it's ripping more and more the more I sit on it. And it didn't have a good, uh, didn't have a good lumbar thing. It had a lumbar pillow. Great. Fantastic. No, these never got done. Are they suspended? Come on, guys. You're all taking your sweet time. Also, also... Yeah, whatever. Just leave everything else alone. It says gaming or gamer. It's not actually a good product. Always stay away from any gaming branded for chairs. Just get Herman Miller, an actual real... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, everyone. You don't have to sell me on the idea of gamer chairs being terrible. I've been streaming on this one for like three or four years. And the PC, the one PC that I did not assemble myself was a gaming PC. And it was like an entire story arc of the stream nearly collapsing. Like just me no longer streaming due to the amount of technical issues that computer caused me and how bad it was. I'm never getting a computer from there again, ever. I'm never recommending their products because even when I like, even when I dealt with their uh, customer support, they said some of the dumbest shit to me, which told me that the man I was talking to didn't know anything about computers. I, I feel like he was reading from a paper. I'm like, what? what are you talking about right now? Like, this computer's not configured correctly. Oh, that's the way we had to configure it. That's the, that's the way it was going to work, the way you ordered it. What? I'm not... Shut up. That is... Ooh. Hmm. I think, the, I think the main issue, though, was actually... See, something is going on with the steel. N this steel never got dumped. Oh, wait. No, that's right. I, I gave up on dumping steel. I went to building, didn't I? This actually looks like it was... It went through pretty well. Now we're regularly saving. Did he make it? I'll have to look at their save. They do read from a paper called the EKMS. Even worse, they know how to fix it. They can't say it unless it's on the list due to legal reasons. Oh, goody. What's the EKMS? The, 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 the list of stupid nonsense? It wasn't a fix. It was like me telling him like a bunch of things that I had paid for things to be done. Every extra cost to make sure it was professionally done some way was the exact opposite of professionally done. Like it, it, it would have been better if an amateur had done it. If an amateur with no clue what they were doing had done it, it would have been done better than the professional setup that they had done. I was like, this is crap. I actually got a refund on some parts of it, but I was like, mm, no, no. Zephon Il Ilram Bombrek, the craft dwarf, has created Bakor Marig, a conical capybara bone helm. They offer it to the Page of Raptors. Bakor Marig, the Temptation of Clarity, a capybara bone helm. Worth 2,000 dwarf bucks. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round limonite cabochons and encircled with bands of capybara bone, cushioned limestone cabochons, and silver. The object is adorned with hanging rings of giant cave spider silk and menaces with spikes of capybara bone, capybara leather, and alpaca wool. On the item is an image of a six-sided long, six-sided prism in capybara leather. Yay. We did it. Electronic knowledge management system. Just a fancy name for the list of fixes. Like I said, it wasn't even a list of fix, so like... The one that sticks off the top of my head is that my computer would not boot. Like they sent me an unstable computer. 
And then the part of the problem was, was like the timings and settings they had set. It just wasn't good. Um, but when you go looking into it, what they had set, like one of the things they had done is to make it, to trick me into thinking the computer was more stable. The list of their settings included the RAM being like the default 2133 speed. When the whole point of it was it was supposed to be like professionally overclocked. And it's like, why is this set to 2133? And you're like, oh, well, because you wanted it factory overclocked. Yeah. So we overclocked your processor. And in order for your processor to be overclocked, we had to lower your RAM speed. Okay, just ignoring that for a second, just, just putting that to the side right now. The computer I had done from you, the processor is an AMD Threadripper. The Infinity Fabric timing on an AMD Threadripper is not the processor clock, but it's a multiplier off the RAM cycle. So the RAM clock sets part of the processor clock. If you're telling me that you couldn't professionally overclock it without lowering the RAM, then you've lowered part of the Threadripper, meaning you've actually lowered the processor. Yeah, but that was the only way it was going to boot. Well, then it sounds like you offered me an, an offer that couldn't work. Why, why would you do this? Like, if you're saying that this wasn't going to ever work, why did you sell it to me? Mm. Like, there were, the fans were done like shit. Um, they plugged the fan into the wrong header. That's the one that confused me. The Forgotten Beast, Jisek Koshu Rutad, has come. A giant noseless survey. It has a three long curving horns and it squirms and fidgets. Its tan hair is long and wavy. Beware its deadly blood. Uh, another issue is they had the fans hooked up to a fan controller, but the fan controller wasn't in the fan controller slot. The fan controller was in the RGB lighting slot on the motherboard. So I only noticed this because the computer was really fucking loud all the time and it didn't make sense. And it's because instead of being sent a signal for the actual speed, it was being sent to color. And because I told the color to hard to green instead of RGB lighting, I didn't want RGB to begin with. I just, I would rather no colors, but that's what everyone, that's what all their options were. Because I set it to just do green, it was always sending out one voltage or something to the fans. So the fans were really loud because instead of paying attention to the temperature and changing the rate of it, the fans were always set to the speed of green. So the, the, my fan was really loud. It turns out green is a loud, is a loud speed. Green is loud. Go figure. Like it was just not set up well. None of it made sense. All right, we have the spider. Did the other guy hop down eventually? Nope. Why is the spider bleeding though? Someone messed up the spider at some point. He's been dragging blood behind him everywhere, but I don't know why. Cause this guy's still up here. He, they never fought. The spider's gonna die for no reason. Who is this other forgotten beast? He's like not even here. All right, new idea, espionage. Interrogate this new person. There you are. I don't trust him. He, he's doing something. Knowing they, knowing they sold you that shit. Yeah, right. Should have bought a Dell. I think it would have had a better computer if I bought a Dell, yeah. Fixes, most of them just say turn off and on again. Or Yeah, like I said, it wasn't a fix. It was me calling them being like, hey, everything you just sent me is not what I ordered. Like you guys have fucked this up. One of the things was supposed to be an internal expansion to like a USB hub or something. It was like supposed to be some upgrade to, for like a USB hub or something internal. I forget what it was, but it was the whole thing was an internal thing. And when I got it, they sent me the computer in a separate like USB 3.0 USB hub. So I, I was like, why did, why, why did you send me this? They're like, well, cause you wanted one. I went, no, my thing says this internal upgrade to the case. And they're like, yeah, we didn't have those. Then fucking, why didn't you contact me and offer a fucking refund? Like anyone can just go out and buy a fucking USB hub. I wanted you to do it. I, mm, 
Like I said, none of it was fixes. There was nothing they could fix. The whole thing was me being like, you're going to give me back money because I paid for a bunch of shit to be professionally done. And I'm fairly certain you duct tape your eyes closed with gorilla tape when you did this. That's a known overclock. Set the RGB to red. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed. Yeah. So yeah, I'm never buying a computer from them again. From them again. I still occasionally have issues with the computer. I don't know if it's because they sent me shitty hardware or if because their settings were bad. It said Forgotten Beast, but we must have seen him at the very bottom of the thing there. Yeah, there he is. He's now shown up. I don't think he's going to be able to fight anyone. Maybe he'll come fight. Like, I don't want to even try to do a Forgotten Beast fight club for this guy because he's not... I don't even think he's on the same landmass as the other guys. And I don't think he knows how to get over there. So, yeah, we just have a third Forgotten Beast down there. I'm just going to have to ignore him. I would have loved to have done a Forgotten Beast fight club. But, he, like, I thought he was going to pop up behind the, um, the other dinosaur one. But he didn't. He popped up in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Professionally taped. What company is this? I like, hold on. I actually, I even got rid of their case. Like I redid the entire computer myself. Hold on. Do I have anything that tells me the old name? I'm not sure right now. But let me, let me tell you that, like, just as nothing else, like how serious I am about this, I didn't want their thing that had their tag on it case. I bought a new case just to transfer the computer to a different case. I didn't even want their case anymore. I could track it down. I still have like the receipts and stuff in my emails, but yeah, no, it's never again. It was like power gaming or something like that. Now, it wasn't Origin. Unless it's owned by the same people. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Hold on. I'm actually going to load this up on the other one. Do, 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 do. Is this even the right email? Switch the other email. Cyber power. Not I buy power, but close enough. Cyber power. Are they even still in business? They are still in business. Nope. Like I said, I've gotten other game, other computers from other companies throughout the years. And it's not like a universal issue I've had. I mean, they're never as good as like you pay for, if that makes sense. Because obviously you might as well just make it yourself. But in this particular case, that's the one I got, and I had issues with the whole time. And that would that would have been kind of the end of it, except for just every time I talked to him, the answer I got was just the dumbest answer I'd ever heard. It made no sense. Because the, the reason why I did it, as stupid as it sounds, is because I was biting off more than I could chew for hardware. <laughs> Let's be frank. I... I was looking around and I wanted a graphics card that could definitely handle any of my rendering needs, right? I wanted something for the rendering of video, recording, the things I'm doing, so on and so forth. And I wanted an AMD 7. By the time I wanted an AMD 7, they were no longer making AMD 7s. So when I went looking around, the only place I could find AMD 7 was being done by CyberPower in like one of their prefab computers. 
So I got a computer from CyberPower, and that's how this all started. Did you fall? Where are you? I think this man fell from a tree. I think they got secret shoppered by Linus Tech Tips. Did they do good? Those answers are for real people that don't know computer stuff. Yeah, like I said, they were never, don't get me wrong. Like they gave me a refund and they were never rude or anything. They never like left me on, you know, like, oh, if we just ignore him, they'll go away. You know, I don't want it, it to be said that they weren't trying, but I, I cannot, oh, I, I like just the answers that he was giving me. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not what you would ever do in this case. Like they, as far as I'm concerned, they like fucked up my computer. I think like parts of it got damaged. I, I've plugged things into the PCI Express that shortly thereafter broke. Like I think there's voltage issues on my PC now. Like their, their things were just fucking wonky as hell. They even use OEM parts. Adam has, Adam has Twitch. Okay. A A Adam, Adam hey switch. Adam has Twitch. Hey, hey, yeah, T. Adam, Adam, Adam has Twitch. Wouldn't be Adam has Twitch, I don't think. Three, one, two, three. You are a doctor. Congratulations. You will probably do nothing. Adam has Twitch the first. Let me see if I can actually hire you in my doctoring thing before we go further because I've been having issues with the doctor. Uh, Amina Fizz. I don't know if he ever did his job. This man is a farmer. Can't see. He probably shouldn't be in here if he's a planter. So I'm going to kick him off of this. See if I can't put Adam has Twitch in as a doctor. I think they have you down as a different sort of doc. Let's see if I just sort by doctor in general and track you that way. There we go. Have you in as a regular doctor. Hazen44 says he wants to be in the military. You have no doctor. I have all doctors. Hazen44 says he wants to be in the military. Uh, Hazen, do you exist, my man? I'm not sure I recognize your name. There are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, grow a pair, Hakios, Holski. Hazen, I cannot put you in the military unless you have a dwarf. Also, hold on. Pandasaurus Rex, I believe you were the description I read weirdly, right? Military for Inquisition was done. Dwarven skills by Red Octobear. I keep for I'm trying to catch up with this. I keep forgetting to grab the one at the beginning. Red Octobear. Red Octobear, your skills are you are legendary at mining. From a young age, your parents could never find you because you were always beneath a boulder. But in your off time, and you were told to go outside in the sun and play, you could be shortly found thereafter with a dissected animal. You, you didn't have anything to do it with, but you know what? They kept finding those animals uh, in a not happy state. Other than that, you were very skilled at concentrating. And you know, I've, I have no clue how to read the knowledge tree. I'm going to tell you the truth. I have no clue how to read this tree. Like, you know the crucible? What does that mean? You know economic cartography? I think that means trade routes. But like, you know the vial? You know the beaker? You know evaporate? I don't know what that means. Diplomacy. What do you want? Or no, is this humans? It's the humans. Okay, we're good. All right. By the way, you think your statue has been built? You said you wanted it built wherever. By the way, I'm probably just going to put it in your bedroom. That way you can always remember the time that you killed someone. Or we could put it in your mausoleum. I just remember that you have a mausoleum. You could put in the statue of you killing people. 
furniture, statue, boop, microcline. Let that get installed, see how it works. Okay, chat, if that is your real profession. We've gotten we've gotten the walls and stuff done. We are we sandstone's constantly being made. We, like this has been on repeat the entire time. I'm gonna take this next one and have them work on sand. Like let's double up on the sandstone, right? Like let's get this done. Let's get the sandstone part of this just out of our damn way. Double up all the sandstone. However, that ain't gonna help us. More migrants have arrived. Okay, last time I hold on. I know how to do this. Last time I put in twelve, right? Twelve new dwarves. So we're gonna ignore the first 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. So migrants eight. Thank you for the doctorate, no problem. Remember, starting from here on out, any doc, any appointment you have is a doctor's appointment. Zion. Zion Zian? Zion Zian? You getting dwarf number one? You are a cook. Zion Zan. Zion Zan. The first. Do do do. Did I miss anything? They even use OEM parts. Who? The uh, cyber power? Not sure what that reference was. Did, did anyone say how well they did on the list? Because you said they might have gotten secret shoppered or something. I don't know if that means they did good or if they did bad. Construction floor. How much do we have of the sandstone? 29, we need 62. All right, we have to wait. That means we must track down, hopefully, more jet. God, I'm finding lots of every stone except the stone I care for. Adam has Twitch. Thank you so much for following. Thank you so much. There you go. Thank you so much. Probably got to change that out at some point. Coal everywhere. The thing that kills me is there's, there's lignite. There's more lignite. There just is. I'm gonna find him. It's gonna be the dumbest location. All right, you know what? I'm gonna order all this. All of that, Doug. Screw it. I don't know why this lignite is hiding from me, but we're gonna track it down and drag it out, kicking and screaming. Good luck with your endless soccer. Thank you, Mr. Tarvin. Have a good night, and don't worry. By the next time uh, we have stream, you'll probably be dead. <laughs> that seems to, that seems to be your constant existence is just an endless amount of dying. <laughs> sandstone. Why did I build this wall out of sandstone? Seems wrong. Should have been sand pear wood. Did I just get confused? I don't know what happened there. Because I was doing all this out of wood, at least up to this point. And after this, will be cleared out. The sea of silence. Yeah, Zion Zan. How deep have you dug in this fortress? Thank you so much. Cheap OXD, thank you so much for following. I've got two different forts, so there's two different levels of how deep I have dug. Right? In terms of stone and working and such, we have effectively dug down to... Oh. Hold on. I would consider this to be my last official floor. I've done slightly below it, but I would consider Z level negative 14 to be my last official floor. However, I am supposed to be digging down below the castle. So my last legit floor is negative six. However, however, the area I had dug down had clipped into the top of a cavern and that cavern goes all the way down to Z level negative 80. 
because you got to have a 64 something Z level cavern with the aquifer going through that as well, because everyone knows the best way to deal with caverns is to have aquifers. That's just fact. Dwarf two for cheapo XD. A little thing disappeared again. I see. You are a lie maker. Everyone asks you what your name is and you say, my name is not your concern because you're a lie maker and you never want to get caught. I don't know. That made sense in my head. I feel like that was a bit of a stretch for a joke that time. Um, That's getting done. Just ignore that. Those are cleared out. We can ignore those. Boo, do, do, do. Blurble cancels. Yeah, he's supposed to be canceling. We, we have nothing to fear there. That was me telling him to get rid of the ramps earlier. That was always going to pop up at some point. Where are we at? We're at midsummer. So we got plenty of time to attack the aquifer and build a wall in it. Like I said, this should be sand pair or sand. Uh, sa the other sand, not sandstone. Oh, wait, no, no, shit. This is, oh, no, this is the last layer of dirt before the stone. Okay. Shit, I'm about to say we can just smooth it then, but whatever. Apparently not. It, it wanted to continue being a pain in my ass. Chilling out more of this on the left to just get this out of my damn way. I don't want you. I never wanted you. You were an endless pain in my sand, pear, wood. Plenty. Go away. Now this doesn't connect to anything really. And on the left side. I should get rid of it, but I can't right now. It's got to be trimmed down one. Now I have sandstone producing now. <coughs> I'm going to, we've got double rate on the sandstone. It's obnoxious, but we need a floor. So right now, I think our main focus should just be the top floor. We've we brought it all the way around. We've brought the wall around too, except for this one weakness, which I am going to get rid of because it works a little bit after the freeze and then afterwards it turns back off again. So this is not a good fishing zone. It was kind of part of an experiment anyways. We, we knew it wasn't going to be great. I found it weird that it was working at all. We're gonna bring that back, make there be a wall. The fishing thing should be set up down here, which means there's gotta be a setup later to get out here safely. How that is probably going to work is not here, but down here, there will be a path hiding under the water that will lead to a door out here so you can fish here. That's probably how that's going to work. Cause the fish, by the time you get over here, it just, it never works. And then even this regular area doesn't work, but as soon as... And then back there, it works again. And what I'm thinking is, here's why, right? I'm thinking the game is checking original to current river locations. These extra squares are artificial. And these extra squares down here are artificial. But notice it doesn't start till there. And then these kind of work and then we're good. But once you're here, it goes for a little bit. It does extend left, but not by much. That's because if anyone remembers, when we first got here, the river was like this. Ignore the fact that this is four, I think it was only three, but the river was like this. It went back and forth, right? If I am right, this is a bit extreme example, but it, it, it kind of did that. So, the thing at the very end where that straight path is, hold on, if I do a dig and then switch to planning, I think that's lining up with where the layers happen to be overlapping. So that counts as the original and we're good. And vice versa, down here, I think I, because I had to connect it to where the river already was, that meant I'm right at a point where that is guaranteed to be where the river is. There might be a point in the middle where if it looks, it has an overlap as well, maybe. 
But I think right now, unless we're in that that big middle thing, I don't think the, where it connects to the land. I don't think the river's lining up anymore. Uh, if I am right, though, there should maybe be one around the outer circle somewhere. Unless it no longer exists. Now, see, this has the same issue, though. Like, notice how that number is actually... Oh, no, no, that one is on the inside. It would have to be here, wouldn't it? Two, three, because that's going right. That went right by a good amount. And then over here, we have some right here. It's like this, by this point, that's far off. That had to have been going down here. So I do think that we overlap it a little bit, but not, ooh, wee, woo. Where was that? How did I have a five over here? Oh, I must've jumped down here on accident. Somehow that is five. So it's right off this lip. Question. Maybe this is what I was getting wrong. Was the fishing down here? It was the fishing was up from this. And not by much. Yeah, this is also to the left. So I... I'm just like offshoot from the way it worked, I guess. Yeah, no, that, like I said, it's an unnecessarily large cavern just to, you know, spite me and anything I love and hope for. Did, now, did that steel get built? The steel did get built. So now we're going to uninstall all the steel. So now the steel will go where it needs to go instead of in the middle of nowhere. Also, this dump just did not work, so I'm deleting you. My new floor idea, I feel, uh, works better. So we're going to stick with my floor idea. Now, we are getting to the point. Once that gets here, we need to start designing the circle here. Because this is where the actual central castle should be and where we need to move the barracks to. Now, obviously, obviously, the 108 radius was way too big. Way too big. So we need something small, 108 or diameter, 102 diameter means the radius is 51. Now, if we subtract one from that because it's the actual outer wall, then that means that there's a space of 50. Just having that to a radius of 25 over here means that's relatively small, but probably big enough to be setting up a few barracks in. So that's what I'm thinking is from this point right here, because that is the, no, is this one? Yeah, this is the middle. That's the outer wall. From here around a circle of 25 radius or 50 diameter be the bottom floor of the central castle. And then the bottom floor will move in like the military and stuff. And then we can work up from there. I don't know. If we want to do it like this, hold on. I forgot that I'm at the edge, so drawing's a bit hard over there. I don't know if right now, if I want it like pyramidal, where we have the ramps going up on each one, like go up like four or five, and then go get out of my way. I don't know what you mean. And then go straight tower form. Like, I don't know if we want to do that. Like that would look good because you have to remember the wall out here is like this. So, like, a ramp kind of looks good, maybe. I'm not sure. And then at some point above that, we actually do a tower. Two, four. Like, I'm not sure if we want to do that or if we want to do... Hold on. A crenellated setup on each one, which would be this. In by two... In by two. Like that. What do you guys think? The, the, the hill? Or like this one where there is an outer walking path for each one? Because the hill would look nice to walk up and down. But the idea is just literally that. It's just the outer hill. You don't go in multiple times. Whereas the other one, you can have like a whole bunch of outside areas. But... That means your tower is a lot flatter because you're wasting too much space for an outside area. What do you guys think?
Yeah, Holsky. That, no, no, no. You're not wrong, but you're thinking of the wrong thing, my dude. I'm talking about what is in here. You are talking about the first line. I'm talking about graphically. Hold on, let me, re let me redraw the thing again. I'll tell you where your thing is, Holsky. Let's say, what, three? We'll say three. Let's say I did this. This is much smaller than the last design, but you get what I'm saying. Let's say we go with this. Or maybe it was like that. Yeah. What you're talking about is when people climb walls. Trust me, I'm all about the wall climbing defenses. Your suggestion to my question would have you building them here. But that's not what my question is. That's a defense. The defense is on the outer wall. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's a different question. That doesn't answer. That has nothing to do with this design. If the if the enemy is assaulting this, we're already fucked. Like, the, like there's a bottom to this. Like, like, and a bunch of wizard towers. This is just what it looks like. You're talking about the actual defense. I'm talking about what structure should we have in the middle? That's not a defensive structure. If they're assaulting that, we've had a major failure and no amount of wall two up is going to save that, like at all. Also, and trust me, go back and ask blind. He'll agree with me on this. You don't need a wall too high if you're floating. <laughs> like they're not going to catch onto this wall. This wall is infinite high because there is nothing below it. So that's, that's not like our issue right now at all. The only issue for that would be I should probably have a security wall out here that is like protected and maybe too high to this connection. But again, that's a separate issue entirely. I'm talking about an internal structure to the entire castle. If you don't want them to climb up, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know the wall thing. Trust me, I've got the wall thing down. I have been yelling about invaders climbing the walls for the longest time. <laughs> the walls, the walls are not a new thought. I, I, I was asking your opinion though for for aesthetic purposes. Oh my God, you built a Z level from a cliff on top of the map. I didn't realize that. Yeah, like this hole is going down. I'm chant like we're like that's why it's a flying castle. Like the whole point of this is that it's not right now. There is one connection that's and this is probably gives me a cube as part of the main castle. This is for something else I'm doing, but I, pretend I don't have that still there. This whole thing is supposed to be a flying castle. It's separated from everything. The only real connection is supposed to be this drawbridge. Like I said, this. I honestly am thinking maybe at some point of just cutting off the second one. This is just for the water to drain off the map, but that's that's not necessary. I really could just get rid of this, wall it off, and we'd have one hard point connection where the water comes in, and we'd have one soft connection of the drawbridge. But if we weren't dealing with that, we wouldn't have a problem. Yeah, so I'm not worried about the wall per se. I need you guys to dig. Something we have done has made them angry again. Someone's transformed into a were mongoose. Sure they have. How are my pets doing? I shouldn't have that many. More than I want, but enough to be dealing with. Okay. The merchants have embarked. Dangerous terrain, it's not dangerous. Oh, we're getting that special lag where the menu things are slow. This needs to go at some point. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I dig all that out. Wait, hold on. Is that fish? Can you fish in this? It wouldn't show anyways if I could. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna st I'm gonna let this flood at some point. We're going to build a wall here out of sandstone. You're not gonna build it from the wrong side because you're not evil. Correction, because you're not that dumb. 
I'm gonna mine that out. I'm gonna mine that out. And by mine that out, I mean I'm gonna cancel all that. That was a test. You all failed. I'm gonna channel that out. That way this area is wider and it can drain faster. But not this last square. Not the last square. I need that to be the wall. Because this is one big safety hazard. I gotta just stop this for right now. If it's wide, the water will expand. If the water expands, it'll be suddenly shallow. If it's suddenly shallow, the wall will be easier to build. That's kind of dependent on someone coming really fast to do this wall. Real fast. What is happening here? Is there a tree? Did the tree grow up? Why, why are we not channeling this? There's a branch here, but not a tree. Get rid of it. Who cares? He did the one thing I didn't want him to do. Cool. You're my friend, Vizendir. You're my friend. Why? Why are you causing me problems, Vizendir? I trusted you. All right. I'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that wall. He can climb out. I can rebuild the wall. They'll be even if they're on the inside, which they shouldn't be. But if even if they're on the inside, they will be fine. It'll build. There you go. Of course, that means that they just dropped a block into the water. Wait, no, no. He, he put it where he was. Come on out, Vizendir. You're on a ramp. Vizendir, you fell asleep in the water. Why did you sleep in the water? Vizendir, wake the fuck up. You're literally falling asleep in like the worst. There we go. Okay, no, stop going. Who's going down in there? You're using this as a shortcut. I knew they were. Uh, don't do that. Limestone block. Okay, in the meat, in the short term, this is restricted. This is restricted. This is restricted. That's restricted. That's restricted. That's restricted. Problem is, even with that many restrictions, this is still the shortest path. Popcorn Hoffman has bestowed the name Van Gush Lear upon a steel spear. Fuck, that's right. I forgot to pay attention to these guys. You want three greats. Fine. Wooden great. Four. It's good to have a second escapement entrance exit, especially if they can both be drawbridges. What collapse of both drawbridges are retracted? No, Holski. We are I'm trying to think of what it's called. Our axis, our support is this right now. So just imagine there's a giant stick through the castle holding it up, holding it up, and that's where the water is going through. That's our support. Like initially, the first thing I did was build all the way across a support line and let the water run through there. Then I expanded it to the circle design. So this is what's supporting the base. The drawbridge is just so I can walk on and off. If I draw back the drawbridge, technically someone could still cross into the base by going to one of these two bridges and swimming across the two or three deep moat which is why this one might need a wall. This is also a big weakness during the winter months as about halfway of the half as well because during half of the winter season, the river freezes over. I wanted it to be a map that that didn't happen, but somehow the game tricked me yet again. So we do have an issue on that. These is my weak point and up here is my weak point. Now this one can just be destroyed. I don't need an exit for the water. I could just pour the water out in different areas if I wanted to. This is the only one I need to have if I want to have water features. If I didn't want water features, I could just have a wall into the ground, but then it wouldn't really be a floating castle anymore. But yeah, no, the bridge, this does not support us at all. And I wanted this to be two different things because this is an easy to shut one if someone's crossing this. And if you have a building destroyer, they'll waste time on this one. I can build out. You know what I'm saying? If they if they destroy this, they we would lose all of that. If a dwarf had gotten here, I'd want him to still cross over the moat. So I have a moat bridge and I have an air moat bridge. 
I don't know if that would be called an air moat, but that's what I'm going to call it. It's the air moat. Remove that. Replace that with wall. We don't need this fissure anymore. That project kind of half failed. You want to guild? No. No. <laughs> Just no. We want more guilds. Do you? Do I look like I'm doing guilds right now to you? What in anything going on in this base said to you? Oh, yeah, guilds. Also, also, why is there this the old bin here? Oh, duh, I forgot I turned this off way back when. Steel. Bar, metal. Steel. There you go. I forgot to turn back on the quantum. Let the stockpiling begin. What I'm going to do is when this is all done, I'm going to forbid all that steel and order a bunch more floor built with steel. So I only use the other steel and we can work from there. I want to start smelting. I really do, but I don't have the stuff sorted out for iron and crap yet. So, eh, what do you do? Chasm. Uh, chasm could work. It feels wrong to me. We've done a giant square. Can you have an artificial square chasm? Like chasm sounds like a natural feature, like ravine or something to me. I don't think ravine would apply either. It, it maybe it works. I like I'm not. It just sounds wrong in my head. I need not pear. Something pear. It's not pear. It's sand pear. There we go. Sand pear. So like this. This is the, supposed to be like. Not bottomless, but as bottomless as I can make this pit. The problem is right now, I'm still just going through aquifer, so everything takes forever. And I got to source my stone from the middle of the dirt mountain to my right, and that causes problems too. Oh, wait. Yeah, vacation time. All right, Rockwell Hardell. Um, Rockwell Hardline. I was like, that didn't sound right. Someone else is already on vacation. Devil's Dangerous has been on vacation this whole time. Time to leave devils. Time to leave devils. You've had plenty of vacation time. Rockwell Hardline. That's your name. Where are you, Rockwell? There you go. Though, because you came in, you have Bard. I don't know if I can overwrite Bard skill. Because, like, you have that, but I never assigned it. I think it's just because the way you came in. Like, you're not a you're not a bard at one of my taverns. You're just a bard. Because of the weird system. I don't think I can overwrite that. Oh, no. You are, in fact, a hired bard. All right. I'll fire you for now. You've been fired. I'll get a new performer. This guy, he looks he looks like he performs. The sheer stress on that water channel. No, there is no stress. That is the most con that is the most consistent, strong, <laughs> reinforced water channel you've ever seen. Why? Because of dwarven engineering. They built that water channel with circles. <laughs> so they know. Actually, this is a radius four, right? Radius four is just this. If we assume that that is that, we can make it be a circle. It wouldn't be filled, but we could make it be a water tube circle. We just have an air gap the whole way. If someone went in it, they couldn't get out unless it was somewhere I was determining. That would look interesting, except for when we got to where the, you know, this is. Like, that would be the second thing. So we could have the wall. It wouldn't be an exposed mode if I did that, though. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be an exposed mode. Right now, if I just build on top of this wall one square out, this would already be doing this. Where? I lost my drawing. This would already be doing the same thing I was just thinking of. The only difference would be those would be missing. 
So it is kind of a water tube. Maybe we do that. Look a bit nice and look a bit secure. What? The contested fellowship wants their temples to be even better. What? I thought I maxed you out. Which temples complain? The contested fellowship? Contested. Oh, wait. Why are you saying 2000? Why is my worth gone down? What? Is my broker shit or something now? What what is going on here? Eh. I need a I need another chest in the Baron's room. I'll work on a mayor's room afterwards so he can stop whining. Furniture chest. There, you happy? Look. Boom. Chest. Done. So they're annoyed that their thing is only 2,000 and they think their thing should now be 10,000. Okay, I can sort of make up for that in that I can get rid of some of this mud, first of all, and then re-engrave it. But I think I could try building another display case in your neck of the woods, say here. And then we could get more stuff stolen from this part of the map. It'll be great. Oh, look, you can kind of see the statues now. Um, also, also, I can get rid of this mud. Because the mud annoys me. Let's see what that does. I gave you a nice room, and now you're like, I want more. <laughs> Dude, there's too much of you. I'm going to say no for now. It's not going to keep them happy for long, or placate them, or get them to shut up for long, but it'll have to do. Also, how is our double rate of sandstone going? Can I order more down here? 54, 142. So, 90, 54, 10, 20, 30, 15, 9, 3, 18, gotcha, 36. 88. I'm too off. No. Don't pause game. <laughs> Fine. I'll wait. Sandstone. What? Planters Guild. Why are you guys all super happy and asking me for this nonsense again? I thought I beat this out of you already. All right, the steel bars is kind of working. I'm just going to forbid the entire peach bin thing for now. Yes, Holski, because the game has three states, okay? One, you have, this is dirt. This is outside and above ground. This is below ground. If you're below ground, you can't grow above ground farms or plots or anything anymore, but you don't freeze. However, if you dig out a square, the light updates all the way through. Even if I then go back and build a... Even if I then go back and build a ceiling, it is inside, but once the light has gone down, this is above ground. So this will still freeze now. You never get rid of the state of above ground once it is above ground. You could have this and this would grow above ground plants. This will never grow plump helmets anymore. So you can enclose the tube, but because the water is above ground, it doesn't matter if it's inside, it's still freezing. 
You would need like magma or something nearby to prevent it from freezing. And I don't have a ready source of magma. I mean, cave fungus pretty much does what you need. There's no reason to do crops for animals above. Incorrect. Have a good day. No. Um, one, there's more variety in above ground plants. Two, above ground plants really don't care about the farm quality. Three, there's a lot more variety in above ground plants. And four, they grow every season. So you get a lot of plants, massive variety. They grow every season. They need no special treatment. Whereas a below ground farm, you need to get down to the cavern. You need to be growing in cavern dirt and stuff for that to sort of work. You have to be down in cavern soil if you want the best. And when you do that, you have four plants, four, five plants. Like a lot of these other plants, they're not, they're not plants. Like they have extra steps to do less. They're, like this is the bare minimum. Yeah. Like if you want a better variety, you're going to have to do above ground. That's just where the food is. Because down below, you have one drink plant. I think maybe two. You have plump helmet. You have one clothing plant, pigtail. Sweet pot, I think, is syrup. But the sweet pot itself, you're needing to process it to syrup to do other things. Uh, the thing's in the way, but one of these is a, like you get a dye. Dimple cup, I think, is a dye. Cave wheat turns into a bread, but that needs processing. Rock nut needs processing. You can get different types of food, but it's not much. It's not great. Yeah, hold on. Let this clear out of the way. So below ground, you have plump helmet, cave wheat, pigtail, quarry bush, dimple cup. Plump helmet's for booze. Cave wheat is a way to get food, takes a lot of steps. Pigtail is clothing, pretty good. Quarry bush. Quarry bush to rock nuts, you gotta do stuff to rock nuts. It takes processing, too much time. Dimple cup is for uh, dye. And, and that's your option, That like that's it. Up top, Depending upon the biome you're in, you have turnip, alfalfa, asparagus, barley, bilberry, blackberry, bloated, blueberry, celery, chicory, scroll, idiot, cranberry, garden, grape, leek, longling grass, muckroot, potato plant, prickleberry, quinoa, raspberry, ratweed, rhubarb, rope reed, strawberry, wild carrot, bitter vetch, blade weed, broad bean, cabbage, Finger Malay, Fisherberry, Foxtail, Garlic, Hemp, Hide, Kenoa, Lentil, Lettuce, Long Yam, Muskmelon, Oat, Onion, Parsnip, ple Peas, Purple, Radish, Red Bean, Red Spinach, Rye, Silver, Soybean, Spelt, Spinach, String Bean, Sunberry, Whip Vine, White Malay. Now, some of those, like the below ground farms, they're only for dye. They're not going to do much. Some of them need extra steps to be useful. However, 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 here's the nail in the coffin for me for a lot of below ground plants. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, the list changes. The plants don't grow all year. The only plants that are all year is plump helmets and dimple cup. So booze and a dye. You can't grow food and you can't grow uh, clothing year round below ground. You have to do like big number bursts in some of the seasons and then use the stockpile to work in the off seasons. That's fine. If we go up here and I click through the list, like even though this is just the top, none of them are really moving. Like they're all going to be, I think some of them, like a really small amount are seasonal, but the list is massive year round. If you're needing clothing, worst case scenario, it's not true, but let's say for instance, that the clothing plants grew in different seasons. You could be growing a clothing plant every season. You just alternate which plants growing which season or your booze plant or your food plant. This is good. Below ground is good, but it takes more effort to make it good. You have to grow in bursts. It takes more micro. Whereas above ground, just kind of good. Now, if you're ranching, then ranching does work. This ranch, this counts as grass. This is a really fast growing grass. If you are ranching and you get to the cavern layer, you're good to go. You do not need to be above ground for anything, for any of that. But if you're doing farming, just flat out above ground farming is the, the better idea. You might as well just do a light well all the way down. S say, for instance, if you wanted to be insane, you could create four different bases layered on top of each other with each base growing a different season 
of plants or a different type of above ground plant and you'd have them separated by say 30 Z levels and you could have one base at Z level 130, one at 100, one at 70 and one at 50. And if they're all growing different plants for clothing and food, none of these doors would even need to get into each other's way. But you would need say three light wells going down to the Z level 130, 170, Z level 40 slash maybe 50 if lava was in your way. Um, that bottom one you could do is below ground plant. You just might need to supplement them with silk or something that they're getting from the cavern. Cause that's kind of what the, the idea is supposed to be is if you're growing below ground, you're not growing the clothing year round, but you're probably able to get silk year round. Like you're supposed to work naturally with the cavern if you're below ground. Do you use light wells commonly? Binary algorithm. What I was saying was a half ironic joke. Uh, yes, yes, I do. If you look in a couple, if, if I thought I had a, I thought I had a, uh, a shill button. I thought I had a shill button. Where's my shill button? Shill. There we go. If you look at the main YouTube page, I have a playlist called the College of Dwarfology. One of them talks about the mechanics of light. One of them talks about how you only need six dwarves to feed over 150 dwarves. Like that you only need one dwarf doing this, one dwarf doing that, one dwarf. And if they're doing it all day, 24 seven, you're good. I do like my light wells. I really do. That numbers that I was just giving you ironically were unironically were the floors of the base I did right before stream version. I'd actually had a massive base where what I did in one map is vertically, I did four bases and I didn't give them a centralized staircase. So one connected to two and one connected to three and then three connected to four. And I had an issue where I didn't want two connecting to three or like one of them. I had to remove one. So it was like one connected to four or something. I wanted them to all be out of each other's way, but two of the floors were still in each other's way by the end of it. But so steam released and we just kind of ended it there. I'm still working through your archive. Yeah, dude, we like that. That last one was a pretty decent one. The problem was what it annoyed me. What what inspired that base was burrows. They they just did. They don't work. They still don't work. They didn't work then. So because I couldn't get a burrow system to work, my best idea was to create virtual burrows by having dwarves live where they work and their work needing to go nowhere else. I didn't want dwarves bringing food from one location to another location to do the booze. So every floor had a kitchen. Every floor had a still. Every floor had a completely different plant and storage system so that no one's plants or seeds were going anywhere else. Every tavern, every floor had their own tavern and every tavern had a different type of alcohol. It's stockpiled, stockpiled. And that alcohol happened to be the alcohol generated by the plants grown for booze on that floor. So I literally did four different bases together. Why do you keep telling me this? Metalhead fusion. Okay, what have you done? Metalhead, tell me what you've done. You're not in any list. So what is it you just inherited? Does that mean you're gonna leave me now or something? Metalhead fusion. What, what, what are you? I don't know what this means. I've seen this pop up a bunch of times, but I don't know what that it keeps saying these people are inheriting things, but I don't know where to check what they've inherited or what that even means. Oh, I just thought that you could do it dwarf here and say their thing too. That would also work for vacation. I don't know what they've, I don't know what he inherited. Religion head, the head of faith must be hereditary. Oh, is that what keeps popping up? What are you? You're a guild. I gotta find a way to track down their religions. Yeah, I don't actually know anything about these religions. Is that under civilizations? Is there a way to click religion types? We're at war with the elves. Okay. Have I known we were at war with the elves? I feel like I didn't know that. Diplomat, elf, herbalist. I think there's a spy. <laughs> okay, we're at war with elves. Now we know. 
The position of abbot of the cult of contesting. Okay. You do that. Religious heads keep dying. Maybe it's a plot. It's not a plot that I care about. Who are you fighting? You fell. You aren't, you aren't fighting. There's something about this cliff that makes people in wagons get really hurt. Like, I think they're climbing a tree and then falling down. Also, why are you coming from up there? I have a nice, fantastic road for you. Why would you come from any other direction? Are you kidding me? Why did I bother to build you a road if you're just going to rough it out in the wilderness? I feel like they do that just to torture me. Just to be like, haha, we don't care about your work and effort. 155.86. Damn it. I can only do, what, two? Two wide floor to the max? Well, that's not max. That'll, make, that'll definitely fit. 86. 46. We got 40 remaining. Fill you in. That's three. That's five. That's six. Says we have 34. That's 25. We have nine remaining. Eight. And there is nine. It's gone forever. I've lost it. There it is. Very bottom. Sort itself out. But, I mean, at least this one still has work, but this one's closing in. Do, 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 I like it, like when the when the music hits that one thing, just boo do. <laughs> You're the seven abbots. Ah, a tale as old as time. Any reason to smooth engraved tombs? They're fancy. So they count as rooms that people have. If you go to a dwarf, fuck it, just go to this guy, I guess. You can see their rooms and you can see what they have and things. Some dwarves care particularly about having certain rooms and they can get thoughts off of it, or at least not negative thoughts if they're nobles. Now, some of these tombs adds to their worth. Where, where, where are the tombs? Hold on. There we go. I was in the wrong area. Like, this tomb belongs to Azrakhan. If we track down Azrakhan... We can see his rooms, that he has a tomb, and probably at some point he had a thought about having, like, some nice room or whatever. Like, he had blissful thought, remembering sleeping in a bed bedroom, so on and so forth. It just counts as things that they have that they can care about. Nobles are the ones that really care if they want the tomb and they don't have it. Some of them want nice tombs. So a duchess needed a grand mausoleum. And the uh, the baron only needed a tomb. So as long as you're kind of matching what they want, you're good. You need greats? Stop asking for greats. What in great? Three, I hate you. Which does remind me, if we go back down here to where we were building the the noble rooms, because they don't like them much, this noble's basically done. We do still have an issue on bedrooms and stuff for the mayor, because for some reason he wants modest. My name's Clever Twain, and I want my stuff to be modest. All right, Clever Twain, let's get him to shut up. Oh, and Captain the Guard also, for some reason, wants a room. All right, we'll make a slightly better thing for the mayor. We had this bigger room for the Duchess, this bigger room for the Barons. If it's like this, hold on, where is your room? Your room's already good, isn't it? I saw that, you have a four by four room, Clever Twain. What, what is your issue? 
Were you in the dirt? Did I get unlucky and you live in dirt? Okay, that, that makes sense. I can fix. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to build the table and shit over here and engrave it and then he'll shut up. Build furniture. Table. I forgot that that room existed over there. <gasps> We're going to uninstall these and reinstall them to the east and we should be good. Lisbon Dwarf. Alma Mir. Welcome. One, two, three, four. You're a blacksmith. You're a blacksmith and a blacksmith you will die. Alma Mir. The first. You have two lovers and five children. Jesus. I think we've figured out what you do in your off time. You can dig them up, toss them in magma to save space and dwarf bucks. What? What is the point? Is it wise to make a dungeon mess once you break a certain threshold of prisoners? I don't think you ever assigned a captain in the guard a new dining room when he fired. Did I ever sign an old dining room? I do have an issue with the captain of the guard, but he shouldn't be needing a dining room. I never, I never made a dining room yet. The other guy had a dining room issue too. Because this is all I've been keeping to a captain of the guard. That's a dungeon. That's the office. So that's kind of the issue. Is there's no dining room. Can I assign this also as a dining room? I'm gonna, you're a captain of the guard. So table rejected already in use. All right. Can't double that up, I guess. All right. I also have to make him a new room. Dining room. Okay. Seems weird to me, but why a captain of the guard would need their own personal dining room. But if he says he does, I will believe him. Captain of the guard. Is this a good quality one? This one has a minus. I'll mine through that. Hopefully this won't be dirt. Looks like we have stone there and stone here. I'm assuming they connect. We'll engrave that and make that be his dining room. Someone just got dwarfed? Oh, Almamir. I, I got you in. We're good. Also, the one thing has popped off my screen again. I don't know how that keeps happening. There we go. Uh, I read your skills. Your statues installed. Hazen. Did I ever get you in the military, Hazen? Vacation I did. Hazen 44. I believe you got dwarfed, and I think I might have forgotten to put you in the military afterwards. Did I forget to put you in? I'm sorry. Or no, you didn't get dwarfed. I don't have you as getting dwarfed, Hazen. I didn't exist. Do you still not exist? Oh, you just got dwarfed. I'm an idiot. Okay. I knew I heard a, I, I knew I heard the noise. I wasn't putting two and two together. You got dwarf number one. You're a diagnostician right now. Says you. Hey, Zen 44. Enlisted. Hey, Zen 44. Why did you do that? That is not at all what I told you to do. Hey, Zen 44. I'm clearly clicking down here. Enlisted. Hazen 44. Enter. This one should have ended with a first. There you go. Now I can grab this military, assign position seven, scroll all the way down and find Hazen, the enlisted. Boom. You are now Hazen, the enlisted. And if I go under labor and scroll all, or go to military and scroll all the way down. There you go. I got you in. This is true. You could technically also just keep deleting everyone's body. As long as they have a slab or something to memorialize them, they'll be happy. It's not an incorrect statement. I'm going to lock all these, forbid them. How much steel bars if I were to order right now? See, we're needing to haul these still. That just ain't getting done. 
All right, this nearly got filled up, so I should stop having to deal with that now. This is going to have water, but it's not going to generate near as much, especially when I do this. And just make this out of wood right now. Peach wood. I need more peach wood. Peach wood all the way out. Peach wood. Peach wood. The absolute worst that will happen right now is this will keep generating one. I'm not I'm not worried about one square. I wish I could get rid of it. Something is happening here and I don't know why. Uh, can I build a farm on you? Would that destroy whatever's going on here? Can I automatically furrow you? I want to furrow you. I want to furrow you so hard. Please go away and be furrowed. No. Okay. Destroy it that way. Kill the tree by building a wood floor over it. Because once that water goes away, I don't have to worry anymore. How is this going? Wasn't I building something over here? Well, I mean, this part got done. That's what happened. We were on our next batch and more trees got in our way. Thank you, trees. I was just saying to myself, golly gee, if only I could have more trees making this hard. There, channel all that out because I can. What? We have a vampire, everyone. Stoofle Woofle has died. Stoffle Waffle has died. Let's break. <laughs> At Stoffle Waffle. You are dead. Now, the question becomes, is there a vampire looking jackass near him? It's going to be someone who's not new. Who is a not new dwarf? Do any of our dwarves look blue? <laughs> look a bit pallid? Look a bit thirsty? Do any of our dwarves look like they could touch grass and deal with a little extra sun in their life? I like how my dwarves are apparently color, co color coordinated. Um... None of them look weird. Do any of the new merchants on right now look weird? Any of you look particularly sober? All right, first of all, I don't trust you for a minute. Oh wait, shit, that's right. I forgot we asked the guy a question earlier. He implicated someone else. I completely forgot about this. Wait, hold on. We had interviewed a dude earlier. Oh my god, I forgot. We inter he 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 actually revealed something? That dude that I was like, I'm just gonna ask you a question anyways. He was a bad person. Uh late entry in the interrogation reports. Officer Dead Graphics reporting. Met with subject. Made an intimidating remark in order to elicit information, and subject was too afraid not to comply. Subject revealed that Mayfo Ray Seals is in fact an assumed identity. Subject's true name is Ethra String Strength. Subject has used Olong Rock Light as an alias in the past, and they have used Thothal Embraced Weight as an alias in their past. Subject revealed that in the late autumn of the year 260, subject plotted to infiltrate the Pager Raptors in order to steal treasures and prepare a coup under the influence of some unidentified creature. Officer proceeded to let the man go because I wasn't going to report this to anyone for probably two years, and I have no oversight in my job. God, I love getting paid to do nothing. <laughs> All right, so that one's on us. This guy is 100% getting investigated now. It's me. I'm on vacation. Welcome to the Mountain Home. Dwarf 1 for Ataraxian 816. Mark the suspect to have an accident. Fired in another universe, but not in this one. Um, hold on. The dwarf who... Go 
Why are you blinking legendary if you're a dwarf that's so new you don't have a nickname yet? Now, they got a bedroom, so they went to sleep at some point. And felt glad having a thing. Okay, that's weird. All right, what are we doing? Dwarf number four for Ataraxian. One, two, three, four. You are a bowyer. Perhaps you're the vampire we have to kill and or lock up. Ataraxian 816, the first. Disdain's truth. You don't say. Well, on the bright side, uh, we have an empty room now. Unless Stoffel had a spouse. Stoffel did not have a spouse. Okay, so... Confessed. Like how it's like, yep, they did it. Who? Who did it? This implicates somebody. Somebody has been implicated. There is a human in this list. I know there is. Could not find them. Zankampfel? Thank you so much. Zank? Zankap. Zang. Zane? Cap full. Zankapful. Zankampfel. Jesus. That's too many. I don't know how to pronounce it. Puff. 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 Zankapful. Zankapful. Is that how you pronounce it? Is a market value for the room of a vampire victim drop? <laughs> we've, we've determined that we've increased the security of it. Don't worry. Thank you so Rage much. Render, thank you so much for following. <laughs> Didn't we have... Hold on. Who is this? Did he leave? Rhett Bekatotsi. Why can I not interrogate this man? He is a guest. That means at the end of the list of the dead... Oh, because we have this many. He is in this list. He's at the bottom. Schedule you for that, and then go all the way here. Schedule you for that. And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to schedule you for that. And we don't know who killed Stoffel Waffle yet. Yet. I'm going to come all the way down and schedule you for that as well. We will get to the bottom of this. Did we ever get that book out of our door? Oh my God, finally. Hook it on phonics, a worker did for me. Her after death, the owner is priced in the dwarf goods. <laughs> no, no. Don't look into the previous owner. We have a brand new top of the line room for you. Barely been used. <laughs> Real question is, uh, we got some new migrants? How many do we get? I have 170 assigned. How is my pop 123, but I have 170 assigned? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight new migrants. A room that, yeah, this is a room that is to die for. It is a renter's dream. The bed is so nice, you'll have difficulty waking up in the morning. You'll feel lightheaded with glee. Oh, are you now digging? Thank you. Thank you for getting around to this eventually. It must have been so hard. All right, now, if I get rid of this floor, I should be able to channel beneath it. And there should be no more water anymore. The water should evaporate. This shouldn't be an issue. Stoffel Waffle's death won't affect us more. Everything will be great and glorious. I am going to remove this ramp. I don't need this ramp. This ramp just hinders things. The ramp tells the game that there might be a way up when the game should not be checking there for a way up. Click. 
There we go. Alright, I did something that's leading to lag again. Is it the animals again? Like, even the UI is responding slowly. We are kind of getting up there in alpacas, but it's not that bad. A lot of males. Alright, kill them. Petition! No, not my problem. Okay, uh... I had a thought. I lost the thought. We're making upstairs. We're making the stone. That's my thought. How much do we have now? Do we have enough for that? 90? Do you have 90? You haven't done any, have you? Did I run out? I basically ran out. Okay. Back to the tunnels we go. Jesus. I have to smooth a lot of this. Surprised I didn't smooth it before. All right. Mine that out to make it even. Mine that out to make it even. Mine you. Mine you. Try to drag all that out. Diplomacy. Welcome from the mountain homes. What do you want from me? Me, 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 me. What do I want from you? I want cloth. I want silk. That's what I want from you. And you want shields and bucklers. You'll want whatever I give you. You don't get to ask me what I export to you. All right. That means the traders are here. Goods to and from... Try to close all this off. Correction. Now we close all this off. All right. Now backwards. No, 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 no. Nothing for us to trade. Is we have one. We have an empty bin. Great. I was just saying to myself, please let me trade away an empty bin. Two that haven't been claimed or forbidden, I should say. Three. Great. I have about six to I have about six thousand dollars worth of stuff to trade. Are these empty codexes? If they're empty codexes, I'm just going to trade them away. I don't want I don't want empty codexes just lying around necessarily. Try to get some extra stuff out of this. Yeah, trade away the human hair crown. I don't care. Excuse me. Earrings. Probably going to need more of that. Do I have extra grates? I do have some extra grates lying around because the dude keeps asking me to make more. So let's sell the grates. Makes sense. What else do I have? Do I have anything I care about? Apparently I have an extra traction bench to go install. All right, you guys do that and then I will install the extra traction bench that I forgot I had. I'm an idiot. So the landlord is turning over Occupy 2 for lease where the body is even removed. New dwarves have been added. The same difficulty getting up than the last owner? What? I don't know. Rage Render, I don't understand the question. Pathfinding is a massive cause of lag. If it keeps happening, forbid everything and see if it goes away. You'll buy my torn dirty socks and you'll like it. No, I mean, we, we, we tend to design around the pathfinding. I, there's, there's a couple things that are leading into it. Mine keep coming and going. I'm usually able to fix it going on. Part of it is my damn alpacas keep breeding this dense and then walking into each other, causing constant updates to the lag. So this didn't let me do anything. That's obnoxious. Because I'm going to do it anyways. You had one option. You didn't want to do it my way. That's your fault. All right. 
Uh, forbid all this steel. Now, question game. How much steel do you think I have since I've now forbidden all of that steel? Do I have 180 steel supposedly lying around? I have 42. Destruction. 26, 13. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 26, 42. 52, not 42. 21, not doable. Ah, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'll just do 40. We'll do 10 times 4. We'll do 40. Get the last of the steel out of their locks. 3, 6, 9, 10, 40. Where's the steel? Steel bars. One way or another, that should get everything sorted out. We've gotten the steel out of this bar block pile that leaves copper, pig iron, gold, and silver. At some point, why is there still coke over here? I thought I had thrown all the coke out. Whatever. The coke will be sorted at some other point. Lead, copper, a lot of that will be next. I gotta get the steel over. After this will be actually iron. We gotta get the iron over there. As soon as I can just get all these stupid bins removed. Devil's Dander. Did you? Did, did Were you supposed to? <laughs> Hold on. I've lost my little list again. Boop. I do see that you're up there. Pandorus. You're asking for your skills again. Didn't I read them, Pandasaurus? Hazen, I got you in the military. Devil's Dander, if you want to be in the military. Panda, didn't I read your stuff earlier, I feel? Or what, did I read a description or something? The Devil's Dandruff. Where could he be, chat? Could he be coming over the horizon? Devil's Dandruff. There you are. No relevant skills. Don't worry, Devil's Dandruff. You had two choices in life. You could either be strong or you could be smart. And you said you had no skills. So it looks like we're going to make you strong. Don't you worry, Devils. Enlisted. Devils underscore dandruff. And then we're going to go under labors, military, and get you in devils as one of these. Devils dandruff. Where are you? There you go. Vacation. Rockwell Hardline, you've had plenty of time. I believe we've gone through a season. You were a farmer before, so I'm going to put you back as a farmer. Now you're not here, and now if I go back, I've forgotten who you were. <sighs> okay. <laughs> sure. I've got three farmers. I could have sworn you were... Was it Lightning Runner? The Lightning Runner's our brewer right now, even though he's a legendary planter. Whatever. We got farmers. Things will work themselves out. What did you think of my paint job on the monolith? Hold on. You're, you're asking me for a visual memory. Uh, let me look it back up and I will tell you. And look, I remember not having anything in my head of that looks weird. Um... Hold on. This was under formal blizzards. Not general chat, I don't think. Where did you... Was it under his art chat? It was. Yeah. Uh, this is... Hold on. Thank you so much, Bagglejash? Is that an I or an L? Bagglejash. Isn't this dude the, um... W when it's teal, like, a lot of teal, isn't it the dude that's doing the library? I like it. It looks good. I, I thought you were doing the faction of the Necrons. Well, that's not teal, but you know what I mean. I thought you were doing the faction of the Necrons where the dude's the insane librarian. 
That's why I made the jokes I did because there is a Necron for everyone else who doesn't know. Uh, ne some Necrons are almost just comedic in Warhammer 40k. There is a Necron who isn't even there to conquer the world. He's an asshole. He's just, he has like a giant museum. I think I said library, but I meant museum. He has a giant museum where he collects just the most random shit. Like he has a clone of one of the Primarchs. So technically he just has a Primarch. He has an uncorrupted Primarch just in his fucking museum somewhere, his menagerie. No, it looked pretty good though. I liked it. How long did that take you? Trays in the infinite? Maybe. But for some reason, I always have it in my head that Tra you can tell Trazen because like, he likes blue more than the Necron green, doesn't he? I feel like he has a lot of blue. That's why I assumed you had like a, a bluish color. That that's what you were going with. Yeah. Trazen doesn't have Necron green. Trazen's a blue dude. So I, I thought that's where you were going. What is it? What? No, I reject your cookies. I, I reject your, your your universe and I supplant my own. Yeah, hold on. I know I'm using a camera to look at a phone, but see if I can get him to show up. Trazen. Yeah, he's blue. I thought I, I, I figured you were doing like one of his things. Were you not doing one of his things? I, I just thought it'd be funny. Tracing an observer of history's artifacts and events. I've chosen Temple Guard Blue over Tesseract Glow using the blue. Yeah. No, that's fine. I like. I wasn't questioning your choice. I like Tracing the Infinite, but I just thought that that's what you were going for. Because if someone was going to have Temple Guard Blue for his monolith, it would be someone like Trays in the Infinite. Like somehow he's stolen paint from the from the guard or some nonsense. Yeah, he wears blue. Yeah, try to avoid being interesting and unique around him, and he'll probably ignore you. But yeah, no, he's um one of the funnier stories is there's a bell. I saw a thing on this about like a month and a half, two months ago, and I didn't know it before then, but there, there's like a bell. The, uh, the not the Imperial Guard, um, the Imperium. They had like this really religious bell that's supposed to like ding at the apocalypse or some shit. It's some like holy artifact. And he kept it in a stasis field. And then one day for like, in re it, by itself, it just started dinging. It was, something was happening elsewhere in the galaxy, but where it was, nothing was happening. And it started dinging and it destroyed a massive amount of his museum. So he got super happy and he chucked that thing into the fucking webway so he can go ding in there and destroy the fucking Eldar. I thought that was kind of funny. He's got like the weirdest shit. But yeah, no, he has uh, Fulgrim. He has a clone of Fulgrim, the first fallen Primarch. But except the clone he has is not fallen. Like, he just has a Fulgrim. Just chillaxing. It is an absurd, like, setup. Like, if, if someone ever frees Fulgrim and then Fulgrim works for the Imperium of Manigan, that would be awesome. Stolen paint from the Lizardmen. Oh, Temple Guard, not Imperial Guard. I went too far. I see. He also did some Crocs and was presumed to be Gork and Mork. Yes. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I've been distracted. What was I doing? I think I was mining down. Yes, this is what I, this is what we we're doing. The stupid trees are in my way. Get out of my way. I don't want you here. No one wants you here. You are unwelcome. You are unwelcome plant material. Oh God, someone's having a mood. What? What? What am I supposed to do with the, I didn't know a lichen could have a mood. So she's failed, right? Does she fail the instant she turns into a were creature? What do you mean you're having a mood? 
Maybe. <laughs> no, because afterwards I couldn't send her back. I don't know what to do with this chick. We're, we're just going to have an insane person. An insane immortal. Because I'm not letting her out to have a mood. I don't care how inspired her jail cells made her. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The skills. Pandasaurus. Where are you? Pandasaurus, you have no labor skills of note. You've been to a, th a few night classes, but that's about it. You've never once seen the light of combat. You heard once of someone yelling at someone, and that sounded too stressful for you. But you are pretty talented at holding a conversation, making the person you're talking to laugh, and forgetting uh, their aches and ills. And once upon a time, you were a student, and that is a horrible part of your history that you never want to talk about. And all you know from chemistry, the only things you learn... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Your only thing is dabbling student, and the only thing you know is chemistry. Is this a Breaking Bad reference or some shit that the only thing that you got out of anything in class was chemistry? All you know is chemistry and how to make rocks. No one's allowed to question what type of rocks you know how to make. and send her to raid an enemy. Okay, so couple issues with this. Yes, but then I'd have to like re-imprison her every time. Like what you're saying is not wrong, but it, it brings a lot of issues with it. It's not just a thing to be taken by itself. I can't let her be running around because a moment of me not remembering that she exists means that a dwarf is going to die and or the whole base is going to die. I'm not gonna risk you know, a game over just so that she gets to be happy. Oh, that's right. I was mining out sandstone. That's what I was doing. We need more. We need more sandstone chat. More. Just not a place I thought I'd be at, but apparently here we are. Am I mining sandstone? I am mining sandstone. That's what this is. All right, have at it. Wherever our miners are, we need all the stone we can get. Poem, heaviness of the skirt, if she comes back alive. Oh, and then also secondarily, I don't know if it would work, but I risk creating more lichens in the world. It's like it's like the Batman thing, but, you know, not quite as dumb as how Batman says it. You know, if you go out and, and, as a lichen and you bite someone, you've only increased the amount of lichens. <laughs> All right, what is happening right now? Something is being asked somewhere and it's causing a problem. Because they should be moving not quite that bad. I don't know what has caused this particular hiccup, and I'm not pleased with it. Why are we having problems? Am I crazy? Is this D ramp? Now you're working. All right, we're getting a crazy amount of lag from somewhere. I'm going to assume it's the it's the crazy person having a mood. I'm gonna assume the crazy person having a mood is like spamming to figure out what's going on every freaking second. Corks is in the predecessor to the modern. Or yeah, Corks, K R O R Corks. Yeah, the Necron tier. 
Load baby bitten by a lichen into a minecart. Launch at horde of incoming goblins on a full moon. Profit? That requires so much to be syncing up to work. <laughs> you might as well just be like, ah, roll that 100. And if it's anything other than 100, you die. But on the 100, the enemy dies. <laughs> like, that's not helping anything. Okay, what is causing this spike? Stop. Stop. Like, no one's moving at anything. This is a particularly bad one. Is it because I'm mining all this down here in this water? We like calculating too much on the aquifers? What's going on? Because I'll wall it off if there's too much calculation, but I don't see enough water on the floor to think that that's what's happening. Like we had similar issues before when I did these. How is there still water there, by the way? Is this just coming from up here? Probably. Why was this and this never smooth? You're, you're rough. Why can't I smooth you? <laughs> Why can't you be smooth? Okay, that is an impenetrable aquifer of death and damnation. All right, you have transformed into a were mongoose. I think we sped up a bit, but not by enough. I don't think it's you guys. Is, is something major happening? Do we have like 90 goblins on the map and I don't know right now? Did we just make a ton of alpacas again? Is is it an alpaca boom? Do we gotta kill the alpacas. There you go, no more alpacas. Stop this nonsense. There you go, see if that fixes it. Cause we got plenty of meat. I don't need alpacas right now. We have a lot of citizens. This is one reason why I didn't want to have so many damn dwarfs. Um, there's nothing down below causing issues. It could be some of the forgotten beasts, but I don't think it's that. Oh, also, also, I forgot to check on this. Did we get anything? Did we interrogate the dude? Interrogate this human poet. He knows things he's not telling us. Don't trust him. Ask every human poet. And by every human poet, I mean the one human poet, but ask him a lot. There we go. Uh, but imagine the absolute funny. If you don't have grass or fungus in an area, can you still create an area for grazing? Does it only spread or does it sometimes appear spontaneously on muddy tiles anywhere? So it'll spread spontaneously, but, but you have to think of it as spreading spontaneously from a spore field. If dirt is exposed to light, it'll spontaneously grow grass. It will. Dirt not exposed to light will spontaneously grow fungus. But you have to have hit a cavern layer. Once you hit the cavern layer, boom, cave spores everywhere. Your ground is infested with them. But if you haven't hit a cavern, you're not going to grow anything underground. At least not just randomly on the grass for the animals to graze upon. So if you want them underground, you better hit the cavern layer. Actually, that's a good point. Is something getting canceled in a massive loop? We have a lot of people storing items in stockpiles. In what... In wood stockpiles, but not a bunch. People storing items in bags. They're making the cloth. They're processing plants. This has been going on forever. 
We just told him to slaughter a bunch. Like, we have a lot of things going, but it's not more than it usually is. Now, maybe one of them is locked into it. But for the most part, everything should still be good. Like, I don't see any massive amount of anything. Here, we can test it by doing this. I made a bunch of them angry. And then we will turn it back off. See if this updates them. Probably know I just made way more problems than I, than I was fixing. Whatever it was, it was something that happened recently during the idea of her having a mood. Now, he just said some bin was inaccessible when that's not true. Like that's literally what I'm wondering if it is, if it's just this chick having a mood. Like how she's still a aware creature, but she's possessed by unknown forces. Like, so give it time and it should pick back up. I'm not worried. Like the menu's getting unresponsive. Holy crap, what is happening right now? Hello? That's not even what I hit. Okay, it was what I hit. Um. Trying to hit the menu, but it's clicking behind it. Oh, because that's just a slider. Maybe it's because of the massive cliff? We haven't had this issue before, though. Click. 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 Hopefully, whatever, like, it, it seems to kind of happy getting more responsive, and then it just drops off again. All right. Erase that. That's not even close to a contention. This is old ground. Get rid of all this. Come on, work with me. Come on. Like I'm clicking it and it's just not fucking picking up when I'm putting down. Click. Now, down here, I was able to build wall, but do you think it could... I don't think it would have anything to do with this because they're not hitting it, right? They weren't working. They weren't freaking out about the cliffs earlier. Yeah. We have lots of liquid flowing, but it hasn't been an issue. Like, we haven't created any new liquid flowing. Yeah, like I said, I'm hoping it's just the chick having a mood. Like, I'm, I'm hoping she's just constantly pinging, trying to figure out where to go. I'm going to pause. The game will stop calculating certain things. I'll let this start speeding up and going through. That's the, oh, that, that's, that's kind of it. Like that's, that's our big thought. We have liquids in that we have aquifers and stuff down below where we're mining. But it's not generating a lot of excess water compared to what it's normally had.
Probably shouldn't have done up all the walls in that, but it looked like that's what I was doing earlier anyways. I could probably start freeing up some of the walls now. Because, well, it's a wall, so they're not going to be able to pathfind there anyways. Like I said, we, we've had we've had slowdowns before. They just tend to pass. Like, whatever's causing it fixes itself. We just haven't had any this extreme yet. At least I don't think we have. Just more of a reason, though, to maybe put up more stones on the walls, try to mitigate whatever's causing this. But it really is hard when it's dropping inputs like every other... I'm clicking nine times to get a, a single click to register. Hoping I can just floor off all this stuff in the middle and we can just start building walls and crap here. Yeah, you can interact with its boss. Yeah, yeah. The reason is cats. I don't think we have that many cats. Like the, the number one animal we have is alpacas, which I've ordered a bunch to be killed. Yeah, we have two cats right now. They're both male and they have no balls because I said they weren't allowed to have balls. Also, we have a pet cardinal flying around in this cage. Did we ever do that trade? Oh God, I don't think we did, no. Ugh. We don't have merchants stuck on the map somewhere, do we? No. The Forgotten Beasts aren't doing anything extraordinary, are they? There's a spider, looks like she's hiding from a crocodile. Other than that, no. Like, we don't have a lot of people that should be triggering this. It might be something to do with that stupid vampire. A vampire might be... Why do you look weird? Why don't you have a bedroom? You, you remember, hold on, hold on. You remember being inebriated, but you could have been forced to drink, right? Are you our vampire? Yeah, the blacksmith is blue. They had no balls and said they aren't allowed to have balls. This is true. Hey, formal. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. I need a sound bite from you, formal. Did you ever send me one and I just not notice? Yeah, we've had we, someone died earlier to a vampire. I'm thinking it's this guy. Like, could the vampire be causing pathfinding issues? Constantly trying to figure out who's doing the. Trying to figure out, like, who to kill? I thought I did. Uh, hold on. Don't, don't rule for the, the vampire. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't be the vampire. I'm thinking I might have to kick him out. Yeah, don't get this guy. I don't trust him. I think it's quote add one word, Alapega. Or add quote, yeah. Um, what did you roll anyways? How did your Tarkov go? It's nine o'clock, holy crap. Um, this is your first, formal 10, the first. No, you rolled number 10. This is your first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're a traitor. <laughs> Formal Blizzard, the first. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and kick out that blue dude. If he, it's, it's, it's not even because he's a vampire, but I'm wondering, like, I didn't have this lag before, and now we got people having lag, and he's also very angry. I'm just going to kick you out. Like, bye. She is disgusted that they're being expelled. Well, cool. Go away. Thank you so much. And if my frames pick up when you leave, I'll be much happier. 
That's what you get for having a very pallid skin color. Uh, I was not forgetting pizza formal excuse when I'm to, to do things such as eat. Yeah, how dare you, idiot. What is that? What are you? You don't look normal. Elf. I knew it. It's the elves. The elves are doing this to me. Oscar, it's got to be her having a mood. Can you just go crazy and die, please? Please stop having a strange mood. I would appreciate it so much if you were to be permanently crazy and could do nothing. If they have a mood, will they stop? We got new things. When I when I asked that human what to do, we got new information. Oh, wait, no, someone stole something. What? Is this an old one? I am Isopoda. When did the brand of systems get stolen? Wait, hold on. Is that what happened? Someone stole something and the game freaked out and I just never noticed? The brand of Huda what now? The brand of systems. What the fuck is the brand of this gym? You're telling me it's here? Is 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 Zeth a ditch the brand of systems? Okay, you're saying it's stolen, but it's still here. It, it is is this causing lag? Like they tried to steal a gym? And now they keep pathfinding to it? Hold on, what happened? Okay, you tell me what happened. Someone confessed to something. That guy I interviewed, he confessed. Oh my God, I'm so glad I, I, I asked the dead human poet something. Hold on, randomly. Oh, they didn't steal it yet. We, we, I randomly interviewed the middleman and he ratted on the person that he already won over. They're going to steal it. Could that be causing the lag? Officer Dead Graphics reporting, uh, Autumn 271. Interrogation report, Sakzul Olano, Olano. Sakzul Olano, that's what we're gonna go with. Met with the subject, made intimidating remarks or elicit information, and the subject was too afraid not to comply. Boy, did we hit the mother load. Subject revealed that Sakzul Gear Scorches was in fact an assumed identity. The subject's true name was D-Lol Morning Delight. Subject has used the Lie of Dawns as an alias as well, and was once known as Limul Cry Doyles as an alias in the past. In the late summer of the year 247, which was like 24 years ago, Old Neocol corrupted the fellow believer subject in Old Neocol. Fellow believer subject in order to have someone to act on plots and schemes and con contain Twinkle. Old Neocol met with the subject and made a threat and the subject spurred to law and agreed willingly despite the efforts of surrounding allies to stop the plot. Subject revealed that in late summer of 247, the subject plotted to infiltrate the Pink Group in order to prepare a coup under the influence of old Neil Cole. Subject revealed that in the midwinter... Oh my god, this one dude busted the case wide open! Subject revealed that in the midwinter of the year 258, a full 11 years later, the subject plotted to infiltrate the Page of Raptors in order to steal their treasures and prepare a coup under the influence of old Neil Cole. In the late autumn of the year 271, the subject, as the human, the poet, sexual cures torches of the boulder of praising, corrupted one Leacott Church Oil in order to have an agent in Bald Canyons. Subject met with Leacott Church Oil and made it flattering remarks. Leacott Church Oil apparently succumbed to vanity despite valuing the law. Subject revealed that in the late autumn of the year 271, Leacott Church Oil plotted to steal the brand of systems under the influence of the subject. So yeah, they haven't stolen it yet because I was, as bad as this sounds, because I was racial profiling. And I was like, look at this rando human in the base. I don't trust him. I better investigate him. Turns out, no, he was a bad guy. And he's like, yeah, no, I did it. Also, I corrupted this guy. Uh, let me roll over on my boss. Yo, his name, Old Nia Cole. You can find him up in the Elven hideout. He knows what he's doing. He is going to give you a coup that you will not be able to resist. And it took me 11 years and then like 22 years after that to come over here and <laughs> what? 
So I'm about to go arrest someone or interview them for a crime they have not yet done. That's awesome. Old Neocole. Hey, look at that. Look at it. He's showing up. He's showing up as doing shit. We got him now. Old, whoever this man is. Old Neocole. 10-4 heading to the scene. Thank you. Oh, Morgan Failure. Thank you for Morgan Failure. Is this a joke account, Morgan Failure? I'm on to you, Morgan Failure. Because the last stream I did, I was talking about the Morgan Effect. I, I had to introduce the new viewers to the Morgan Effect. And now, the very next stream, I've been followed by someone called Morgan Failure. I find this odd. But probably likely. Uh, wait, I want to be the vamp. Make, make me do your taxes in the dungeon. I already kicked the vamp out. Sorry. Um... Well, for a uh, sorry for I'm stupid context. All good. The kobolds are upon us. Hey, Alapega, how's you? How are you going, Grogan? Morning delight. Is this the same captain performed a seance? Yes, we are operating. Yeah, you're right. Yo, this captain's the greatest. Yo, this captain, one immediately questions someone. Two, drags someone's soul back from the pit of the damned just to demand the soul give him answers. Three. Busted the case wide open by grabbing a random human. It's like, you're coming with me. You look sketchy as fuck. Are you a criminal? And he got the man to talk immediately. Another thing to go in, r slash things Dwarf Fortress players say. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that a thing? Do interrogations ever provide false testimony? I don't think so. I've never heard of, a, of us getting false testimony yet. You have to have patience to get the leaders. Of course. Do they? Minority Report, time travel. Remember the motto of the Inquisition. Innocence proves nothing. Can we play an organ failure. It's not a joke. I'm actually making my way back through your backlog in this one. I thought I'd drop a follow when I saw you were live. Oh, thank you so much, Morgan Failure. Yeah, no, um, straight up last stream. I, I told a few stories reminiscent of a few stories from when I first started streaming like four or five years ago about this. I'm not going to go into all the stories again, but there's a thing that I jokingly call the Morgan effect. You name a character Morgan in the game, it just seems to do well based upon a soldier I worked with in the military whose last name was Morgan, who is n not bright. He's not like educated, intelligent, but always seems to somehow get it like luck bins for this man in unfathomable ways. So he's a necromancer detective. The dwarf is Batman. What soundbite do you want? I don't know, Formal. Like, okay, here, real quick. I, I've been asking people for sound bites, and these are like some of the ones I've gotten. Blind sent me. <laughs> that. Klinodev sent me. Klinodev is one human person, not us, and the artificial intelligence swarm sent from the future to nurture the Erdwarf Fortress substrate. I have one of Mad Sammy. Wait, he's evil? Yes. Oh, oh, I just called him based. No! no he's not based. He's uh, cringy. Uh, Radu has. Derek, no! Why are you messing with me, Derek? So it can be just like you can send me a clip anymore. or you can just record your own audio. Umbrella did. I'm very happy about the ammo RNG, Sama. <laughs> It's just whenever I do a shout out, what audio do you want playing? Retire from Criminal Minds in season 11. Uh, there can be only one. Just things that sound awful out of context, but make sense in their respective games. Yeah, no. Wh wh whatever, like, what, what audio do you want playing? If you just want a theme, I guess it doesn't have to be you talking. If you, if you just want, like, a little theme. Or something like that. Go with it. Okay, so now we know about these organizations. It's old Neocole. If I click this, will it also say... But it's gotta be. It's the, it, like this one dude keeps setting this up. How do you mean that they're unidentified? It's old Neocole. We know who's doing this. How do I, like, link organizational plots together? We know who it is. There's only one dude. He routinely is like, oh, also we're trying to overthrow you. It's old Neocol. We got this. We know who's doing this. I gotta who is old Neocol? We gotta track him down. We've got so many plots now going on. Organizer, old Neocol. Whoever this is. Yeah, see, he's showing up in different ones. 
Come on. It's clearly the same dude. You just got to reach a little bit and like put two, two and two together. Was this the one where he grabbed the ghost? One of these is the one where he grabbed the damn... Yeah, it was this guy. Yeah, no. Um, Formal Blizzard. My my dwarf here. This interrogation? Yeah, he's lying. Dead Graphics is making this up. We watched the dwarf just wander out in the middle of nowhere. Just by himself. And it was like, alright, I'm interrogating you. To no one. And then he just walked to his office and he sat there. And then afterwards, he made an interrogation report about how he interrogated the dead guy. Because I asked that he was interrogated. He got out of the base, so I killed him. And then the guard, the, the captain of the guard was like, death doesn't stop my interrogations. I will get the truth. Well, so he ex he does exist somewhere, and I could kill him, but the problem is, is I don't know where he is. I just know that there's someone by the name of Old Neocole. Like, I can search by artifacts, but I don't think I can search by people. So, th this is, by the way, this is recently, this is all the fighting that's been happening around me. This is the great elven war up here, This th and, and luckily we're, we're out of this. These elves sent up an assault, but they went past us. We didn't have to deal with them. So I don't know. Oh, we're in an I've never seen that before. Have I? We're in an alliance? How did we do that? When, when did I make an alliance? When, when did I agree to that? I didn't agree to no alliance. Did my Civ agree to alliance? Apparently, I have I have made an alliance with the intricate confederations. I don't know who that is. Is that our people? That's not our people, is it? No, those are humans. This is our people. When did I make an alliance? Okay. Yeah, trying to get my, you're at war with elves? Yeah, dude, we've been at war with elves for a minute, or at least our Civ is. They, I think one of our assaults earlier that was heavy on goblins and humans, I think was an elven assault. But they themselves haven't shown up, and they keep fighting our Civ, but they're only doing that by going around us. So it's kind of iffy. Can you please stop having a mood and just go crazy? Because I honestly suspect you're the, you're the source of my lag. I kind of want you to stop. I would like you to stop, please. All right, we got to let our interrogator do a few questions. Build furniture chair. I forgot to move his office over. Sand pair wood. Build furniture table. We're going to bring his ass over here and we're going to order that this is engraved. This is the uh, the mayor's office. <gasps> that might be it. Oh my God. We got rid of the mayor's office. Someone's probably trying to set up a meeting with the mayor, but he doesn't have an office anymore. I, like we've signed an office, but there's nothing in there. That might be where our lag is coming from. What is this? That's for Admiral Wiley. Okay. I honestly think that's what happened. We got rid of the physical structure of the office without getting rid of the office. Hold on. If I delete this, will this help at all? I don't know if that will help. But at this, I, I forgot all about that. Right before the mood had started, we, we got rid of the furniture for that man's office. And people... You remember how the... Uh, Earlier, our captain of the guard kept trying to set meetings. I wonder if the captain of the guard might be doing that over and over again, trying to assign a meeting with the mayor, but we don't have a thing for the mayor, so no meeting. What is this? This is for the Cathedral of Masters. What is the Cathedral of Masters? This is for religion, right? To nine worshipers. Okay. I am going to unassign this... For now, please, 
Please don't be angry at me. Pause. Let the game start catching up. I'm going to fire your temple real quick. The Cathedral of Masters. We got to remember that. And now I am going to delete it from being a meeting area. And I'm going to, for the short term, create this as an office for the mayor and see if hopefully we can share rejected, not enclosed. Huh? This was allowed to be an office that wasn't enclosed. You need to be enclosed now? Oh, because I had it for multi. Office. There you go. Accept. Uh, what is our mayor's name? I have already forgotten his name. The mayor's name is Clever Twain. Clever. You already have a modest study? What am I doing then? Hold on. What? I'm showing you having a, a quarters, not even a study. That's, see, that's the issue. It's saying he has a study, so he keeps trying to have his... Okay, here. Here is your study. What did I just do? Clever Twain. That's what I meant. All right. Let's see if at some point this suddenly clicks into high gear and things make sense. Hopefully. There's a lot of cancellations. I got to babysit that next time. Well, I mean, I will say this. They're not moving too, too much faster, but when I'm holding W, A, S, and D, that is slightly more responsive. The menu's not. It kind of is. Okay, I don't think that fixed our issue, but I don't think that was helping either. Yeah, they're, they're already having meetings. No, no, they're not. Who are you? Why are you eating here? This is an office, not a dining room. It's for Clever Twain. You can't just steal someone else's room and be like, I'm going to eat here. But apparently you are. Okay, cool. That That's your room now. <laughs> okay, whatever. And doesn't afraid of any... Is there a reason you're not letting Possessed Dwarf complete their project? Yes, because Possessed Dwarf is evil. See, Possessed Dwarf in here? You might not believe it, but Possessed Dwarf hasn't left that room in like five in-game years. Because Possessed Dwarf is in fact very, very angry during certain times of the month. Also, why is there a bunch of blood in there? Where did the other blood come from? <laughs> Apparently, Possessed Dwarf generates a large amount of unknown blood uh, once a month when they get angry. <laughs> That's not even your blood. Where's this other blood from? Yeah, they're a werewolf. <laughs> Oh, you got a point. Might be a memory thing. I don't normally... Okay, you got a point. Hold on. We're going to save and return to time timeline and come back in. See if that purges something. All right. Give me a quick set. I, I, I need one of these like a technical. Be right back. So that you can get one-on-one -on -one time. Hmm. You and me. Would you like to talk about strategy? What did you think about the Emerald Isle? You start so far back in technology, but it's so easy to become a king. Think of the prestige you can generate. Yes, I know they call it Beginner's Island, but you've got to start somewhere, and it's so easy. Marry a few dukes, a few barons, and pretty soon you'll find you've inherited France. And all it takes is marrying off one of your 13,000 children because the Irish civilization is allowed to have like four wives at the beginning of Crusader Kings 3. All right, I've exited Door Fortress. We're reloading it now. 
It's time for some strategic ASMR. Flanking. Ambush. Superior firepower. <laughs> Any mods you suggest to include new play for a first time playthrough? Yes, Killadrix. Um, I'm not currently running. What is that weird little zoomed in picture I just noticed? What is that? Get rid of that. I don't know what that one was. All right, let's try this again. Boop. We're back. Let's see if this runs any smoother. There is a mod by a fantastic person by the name of Klinodev. You can track them down. They've got two or three mods. They might have more in the meantime. Nope, whatever it is, it does not fix itself by doing that. Um, that gets rid of aquifers. I would say due to the fact that right now aquifers seem to be able to generate rather thick, rather, rather chunky aquifers right now. That if you're a new player and because previously I would suggest, hey, you know, if you want to play without an aquifer, go ahead. But maybe at some point work on a light aquifer so you can deal with it. I've got an aquifer that's 40 Z levels. Trust me, it's not worth it right now. Go to Klinodev. He's got he's got a mod called like Dry Caverns or something. Go and install that bad boy. Get rid of aquifers. However, do know that whenever you do it, the like you have to install the mod when you create the world. So... If you've got a new map or whatever, and you know that's what you're dealing with, that's good and all, but that ain't. That's not going to do much. You know, you're like you have to get rid of that world, unfortunately, and create a new world to install mods. There's also another mod that I kind of like. I like the idea of it, and it changes how this graphic looks when you zoom out. You know, more blue is kind of good, but the the mod. There's a couple of mods that do similar things, but there's I'm forgetting the name of it. One of the mods makes it be darker not bluer, which I think makes more sense. It's, like, it's called like Dark Caverns or something. I'm subscribed to a few of them. Can I see what I'm subscribed to while in a game? Not in Door Fortress. That ain't happening today. Um, and there was a third one. You have to edit your alerts on the left. I've got a video on YouTube. It's not College of Dwarfology. It was like intro to Dwarfology or something like that. You can edit a few files to change how your alerts pop up, and you can use that in conjunction with a mod called Audible Alerts. You can change up some of the alerts to make noises so you know if things are happening. If you're new to the game, a lot of these alerts, just, you're going to keep missing important things. So I would probably say that one as well. The big thing, though, is that everyone right now is kind of waiting for some of the old major quality of life mods to drop. When those drop, I would definitely recommend them. But right now, I'm not sure anyone knows what all the, the like what kind of state it's going to be in with the new UI and stuff. So right now, there's a few. There's a quite a lot that introduce new races or make any race playable. Um, I can't vouch for any of them individually, but I do remember that when I was doing the Masterwork mod, playing with some of the other races were kind of interesting and fun but not, not really necessary. Like if you're learning the game, just stick with dwarves for now. But yeah, it, the quality of life ones, like right now, the problem is the game, like honestly, the game's not a month old yet. The game came out December 6th, right? It's only January 2nd. The game's not a month old yet. So everyone's slowly bringing out quality of life things, like trying to tweak what all should be going where. Bunch of bug reports have come in. So even, even Kit Fox hasn't been able to really address anything and everything yet. Like they've addressed a few things, but there, there's a lot of ironing and straightening out of the details that needs to happen in like the next couple of months. So until then, just look up a couple of quality of life mods. And if any of them are discussing, like they're fixing some weird oddity that doesn't make sense or, you know, repairs this, that's probably good. Um, there is one that I do suggest it has downsides. Like at some point you want to get rid of this mod, but there is a mod that I saw that I, I loved it in masterwork that standardizes materials. If you mine trees, you get wood. If you mine certain things, you get, if you mine non-economic stone, you get stone. So this will kind of, you know, make it be less interesting of like, okay, I want this to be a blue wall. I want this to be this wall, so on and so forth. And it makes it a lot easier for you to be like, okay, I want stone to do this. I want wood to do that. Instead of being like, I got 13 alder, 14 willow wood, 96 sand wood, 122 sand pear wood, 326 pear wood. 
It simplifies it all down. But like I said, there's a lot of stuff to be had from having not simplified materials. And you only get to install or uninstall the mod at world creation. So I wouldn't do it if you're going to be like trying to stick with that world. But if you're just new to the game, it's it makes it a bit easier. So you don't have massive building lists and stuff to be dealing with. You're like, okay, I've got stone. Everything will be stone. This is stone. It looks neat. Everything is uniform. You know, things like that. That's a decent mod. I haven't used it myself, but I saw some of the similar effect in the old masterwork mods before it hit Steam. And I, quite frankly, I did kind of like that because when your, your list is as big as it is, it kind of gets iffy to me. There's some woods I would rather have be just simplified and some woods like, all right, this is unique enough wood. It should be made different. Like maybe it's not what they do, but I would think for that, I'd be like, okay, hardwood, softwood, things like that. Things with actual different material values, but yeah, whatever. I'm thinking of coding a door fortress mod for the programming practice. Any ideas on something cool? I don't know how advanced you are at programming, so I don't know what would be a cool thing. I have a couple ideas of what I'd like to see for mods. I do have them, but I think some of them are already in play. Like people are already making them. So I would hate to recommend for you to do something I would like to see because I think they're already kind of getting done. My big, I'll say gripe, which, and I believe that there is a mod working on this right now in one way or another, is the new UI has excluded some old control schemes. So there are a lot of longtime Dwarf Fortress players who are having issues with weird aspects of the current game because they don't longer, they can no longer find out how to do something that they used to do. However, oddly enough, this really never came up in QA because you asked the majority of people, the majority of people never use that functionality or it never seemed to be that important. Like if everyone's always turtling, like when this version of the game came out, they kind of try to nerf people turtling called hill dwarves, like not living above ground, not living in the caverns, but living in the dirt, you know, shallow in the middle. So they tried to slightly nerf that, which, you know, it's fine. I'm not disagreeing with that. But second to that is the people who would tend to do that, pear wood, by the way, people who would tend to do that would have massive death hallways with traps and stuff. You wouldn't be using, you know, you would not necessarily be having your dwarves going outside. I, I, like you didn't need all this training for dwarves. So if you're wanting to experiment on something, find something that people are saying used to exist in Dwarf Fortress in the UI and see if you can maybe find some way to reinstate that. If you're not that advanced a programmer, it was sand pear wood, right? If you're not that advanced a programmer, yep. If you're not that advanced a programmer, then for right now, just work on trying to, like, it's rather simple, I think, to be doing raw edits, but you could start working on some of that. If you want to introduce your own type of stone or mythological thing, if you want to go to like Marvel comic, be like, oh, you know, I I want vibranium or something. You can, you can start doing raw mods to incorporate fantasy metals or other fantasy metals and stuff into your versions of Dwarf Fortress. It's a bit simpler thing and you've got stuff to borrow off of, but I mean, that's a decent start. Would I be using any of that myself? Probably not. My big gripes are all UI changes. Yeah, th there, there is a mod for generic resources. Like I said, it does have a few issues. Like some people, you know, like if it's, if it's making all the wood generic, then you're losing out on Featherwood. You're losing out on Ebon Wood. Or it's not Ebon Wood. Ebon Wood is Terraria. What's the heavy wood from the evil biomes in Dwarf Fortress? There's a really heavy wood. I'm forgetting what it's called, though. So there are some downsides to that mod for the guy who's asking which ones to install. But like I said, if you're getting started in the game, it really kind of helps to just simplify what you're dealing with. <laughs> By the way, I've never yet been able to build a bridge over a gap. Like, isn't that how drawbridges are supposed to be? Yes, Avatar GW. I've got two bridges right now doing just that. I will tell you how to build a bridge. It's really simple, but the but the way it always works is always a bit iffy. First of all, you're going to go to bridge, build. You're going to go to machines, I think. Is that where the bridges are, or is it under construction? It's under construction. Bridge. Before you click anywhere, you have to go over here and tell the game how your bridge is going to work. 
this is what this says. This is your drawbridge will raise to the north, raise to the west, raise to the south, raise to the east. This means your bridge stays flat and withdraws like just directly into the stone. So it does not provide cover, just there is no bridge. Like a force bridge or something from like a sci-fi thing where the bridge just literally goes straight back in. Like it's coming out of a drawer or something. If you are doing this, then it needs a walkable, then it, like you have to be able to be touching something because the bridge isn't going anywhere. It's just disappearing. I believe this will work. I could be wrong. You might actually need it to be slightly supported, but it doesn't matter what direction it's supported by because the point of the bridge is to disappear. If you are doing one of these buttons, the bridge needs to be anchored on the edge it's coming up on. So if I were to build a bridge here, it's not going to let me because I've said left. Because the left of the bridge is where the anchor is. Let's say that. When a bridge is raised and you've told it to pull up, the side that it had to be anchored on, when the bridge is pulled up, it'll form a wall. So that's why it needs to be anchored. Because that is something that is a support structure. Whereas the other type of bridge is just, it, it just disappears. Like it, it can't form something. I don't think Evil Woods Bloodthorn, it doesn't sound right. Is DF Hack updated? No, DF Hack is not yet currently updated, as far as I'm aware. DF Hack released an update about a day or two before Steam version hit, and then I would have you would have to talk to Klinodev on the details. I, I don't want to say that the man quit or anything. But he released a note that was along the lines of, well, I believe my work here is done. Like, he's like, a lot of the things we've been doing over the years, I feel is going to be in the new version or something. So I don't know what happened to DF Hack from, from what I've been hearing a client of that. They're still doing something because he's in contact with them. I just don't think it'll be... No, no, it was Lazy New Pack that's done. DF Hack is still going, but Lazy New Pack isn't. Because Lazy New Pack was replaced by Steam Workshop, wasn't it? That makes sense. So I think I, I think I got two things confused. Lazy lazy new pack I think is done because Steam Workshop. But DF Hack I think is being worked on right now. Like I said, the game it's now set up better for modability and API, but everyone's got to get used to the new way it's doing it. Like this is the a major revamp to Door Fortress since what was it 2016? When it was like the last like major saves don't transfer over to Dwarf Fortress. It was a minute ago. So everyone who's lazy is the wrong word. Uh, don't get relaxed. It's a C word. It's a C word for. I'm forgetting the word right now. There's a C word for relax. Complacent. Thank you. Complacent. I think a lot of those people, it, the, whether or not they actively got complacent, I think they got a bit complacent because every time there was an update, you just had to find a new memory offset and your things just kind of worked. Like you had to change a few things, but everything just worked. And then after say six or seven years, now they don't. Like it's just done differently. So a bunch of these people who like they, they weren't being tested. Like even like even if you say complacent's not the right word, because they were always ready for this and they were preparing for it. You know you can always not be complacent as a you know like old knight. You know you, you weren't complacent, but if you didn't have someone to practice on, your sword skills were going to go down. So they they haven't had to do this sort of major thing in a minute. So everyone's having to figure out like the new hooks, the new ways to get the calls in. You don't want to be crashing the game because if your mod's making the game too unstable, it's going to be causing issues. So a lot of that is getting done. It's just going to take time. This was a major upheaval. Yeah. I mean, th this is true. It's, Lazy New Pack was awesome. But, I mean, if, if nothing else, think about the difference in how the graphics is done, right? Let's say you had Lazy New Pack. You would have to exit the game, go into the launcher. I've got it paused for a purpose. Go into the launcher and then determine the graphic you wanted. Have the lazy new pack launcher 
force the raws onto your save to update it to that graphic that you wanted or if you wanted to just turn off your graphics pack hopefully this didn't break anything and then from there you'd be able to go in the game might be more unstable depending upon which raw which graphics you're going into or out of and then you'd be able to continue whereas now i can just go to settings go down here click that and boom now we're in ascii which by the way we might need to switch to this see if this will speed things up for a minute and and, and now we're in ascii like it's just completely different ways that the game is now rendering like I don't think text will be text is ever coming back because there's no need for it now. There is actually graphics and they are separate from the menu, so on and so forth. So like, there's just a bunch of things that have happened. You just can't zoom in on this mode. By the way, the fact that I can switch to ASCII and it's still running slow tells me that, yeah, processing wise, someone, someone's doing path, pathing checks or something. Because there is an issue right now with zooming out. Indoor Fortress uh, resolution is variable in Door Fortress, if you didn't know that. Every block is rendered all the time. So if you're zooming out, you're you're showing like a like this is actually a resolution. Like you're showing a lot of squares. Whereas if you zoom in kind of to where I usually play, you're you're, you're showing less squares. Um and for people who zoom out a lot, ASCII out works a lot smoother than just out out, if that makes sense. Did someone th throw turnip wine on the ground? Why would you do that? Can you please fail your mood? I would appreciate you failing your mood and going crazy. Like that would make my day if you would just abandon all hope and just go insane whenever you want. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I said DF hack at first and I knew it was sounding wrong. I was like, something is wrong here. I was thinking lazy noob pack, not DF hack. I got the two conflated. No, I don't think so. Madness is a different thing entirely. It's not like it's a, a, a physical thing. It's, it's, it's after like a season or so, they'll go crazy. No, because we didn't have this until about, a, well, I'd say 30 minutes ago, but 30 minutes in game time. Something recent happened that triggered this. And like I said, I'm trying to figure out what happened. And around that time is when she went moody. When she had a strange mood is when this started. Hopefully she just goes crazy and she was in fact the cause of this and it sorts itself out. Can you kill them? Yes, but do I want to kill them? First of all, having a lichen trapped up like that kind of means that I can never game over on this map. Like, like that is remove the threat of death from us. One. Two, having her in there as the, the Baroness or the Duchess or whatever means that I can always, like, I don't have to worry about someone else being the Duchess. Like, all the, these rooms will never need to change. She's got what she needs. Everything is good. You know, it, it's like the devil you know sort of a thing. I, I'd rather her be in there, crazy or no, because she, she just asks for, like, spears and other crazy nonsense. She doesn't do anything. She has for bracelets. She's not that bad of a noble. She just happened to get infected. Also, yeah, there's a chance of forcing to kill her because of loyalty cascade. I could try expelling her. That is a possibility, but then you have a lichen on the map. Hopefully they kill her. They might not kill her. Then you have more lichens coming back. It, like the, the better solution of not having her would be her dead than her alive. That would be the preferred solution. What I could do is just maybe get water above her and try drowning her. But again, right, she wasn't causing any issues before. I think if I am right and this is caused by her, it's just because of this mood. So hopefully this mood ends soon in failure and we're good. And if that's not it, I would have to track something down. Actually, no, that would be a good mod. Flat out. To, to the gentleman earlier who asked uh, what would be a good idea for a mod. Figure out what causes lag. Like, I know that sounds weird, 
But if anybody could get either an external program or a mod in Dwarf Fortress to not show you like the frames per second, but to show you how long pathfinding took, how long something took, and if anything spiked, create a little like alert for that, that would be how you could tell what it was going on. I know it'd be impossible to be like, okay, there's a chicken at a door and the chicken's causing the issue. But if you could see pathing is causing the issue or graphics is causing the issue. If there's some way to program the game to report how long it's taking per cycle for those different aspects of the game, I guarantee you every single person is going to download your freaking mod. Every person is going to, because every base at some point runs into lag. Every base at some point is going to run into lag. You're going to have a lot of downloads and a lot of lot of Steam thumbs up and, and all that other goodness if you can find some way to get the game to tell you specifically. Like, as, as the, the more specific you can get, the better your mod's going to do and it'll tell you what's causing lag. Or crush it under a bridge or something. So not, don't you not want Unhappy Duchess? Um, unhappy Duchess doesn't do much. Like, she hasn't been unhappy to this point. She's going to be crazy, but she won't die. Which is separate from unhappy. Like, up to this point, she's uh, Asuka, right? Asuka 505. If we go by name and track down Asuka, you'll notice that despite being locked up, she's only been, like, ambivalent. She's only been, like, Eh. She's only been whelmed with her predicament, being locked in a one by one cell for five plus years. She she doesn't really she hasn't really cared up to this point. No, the problem, Vorplin, is you're thinking all this time, but has it really been all this time? The game is running slower. So it's a long time to us. But the, in there, it doesn't run off of, okay, after five minutes, they fail. It runs off of after three months or whatever, it fails. So, like I said, I think it's about a season or so. It might be two before a mood fails. And I don't think we've had that yet. No. I'm trying to think of what else I did, if that could be causing any issues. I don't want to kill Michael Williams. I want to make sure they don't make it down the stairs in one piece. Something I directly said that actions were taking the most. Something that needs to be done on the engine level. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what your programming things are, but like that's always like the number one thing. Because here's the thing. That could actually end up helping, kind of. It could actually end up helping the devs. Like depending on whether or not your mod is causing the lag. Like if people could be reporting like, hey, 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 this keeps popping up. Like if it can find some like long lost ancient gremlin in the code and then like they change a couple things and that gremlin's good and then suddenly everyone permanently has 20 more frames per second you're going down in history buddy <laughs> like like that's go that's gonna happen actually makes everything take longer your lag finder would be the biggest cause of performance issues yeah I, I realize that but if there would be a way to turn it on and off then you'd only turn it on during lag and it would tell you what lag is no it might have been I'm gonna tell you the truth but I just don't think it has been I don't think I've ever heard of like canthropy preventing a mood though also I don't not entirely sure I've seen a lycanthrope have a mood I wonder if I just expel her. What would that do? Hold on. <laughs> I haven't had this in a minute, so I actually had to look it up. Because I don't remember Dwarf Fortress where creature and mood. When do they go moods? Not where beast yet insanity.
if a dwarf is forced to stay awake for over six months. Oh, no, that's insanity. Okay, what? No, I want moods. They have to a month and a half. A month and a half is apparently we'll get them. By the way, it's like 2014. Bugs. The dwarf dies due to failing to complete an artifact of memorial made to the dwarf where the dwarf did create it. When producing items early made in pairs, only a single one will be made. Attacking dwarf who fails or moves to a militia will re result in a loyalty cascade. Dwarves entering a strange mood when isolated will cause severe lag. Yep. Dwarves entering a mood when isolated, e.g. on a stepladder, will cause severe lag. If a mood primary... So yeah, she's the one doing it. If a mood primary component is forbidden while working with a strange mood, so those other items has, the result is an iron artifact. Hmm. That's good to know. If the doors start constructing the artifacts scared up by a hostile creature, they may become stuck, removing the floor around them, then dropping it. Okay. So, please die and stop having a mood? As soon as the carpenter and a strange mood frame rate dropped from 80 to 90 to 12 to 13, he was standing on set line and gathering fruits when he got moody and didn't move for six in-game days. After that, he suddenly claimed the workshop. At the same moment, the frame rate became normal. Uh, when Moody Dwarf, if, if a Moody Dwarf cannot pathfind to their workshop, you will get a massive drop in frames per second. Strange Mood Block Dwarf makes frames per second drop significingly, entering Strange Mood, Herbaliscus Mood. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of them are talking about step ladders, but it appears to be the general gathering is that if they are unable to pathfind, you just destroy your, your frames per second. Okay, yeah, she's the one causing my issue. She, she needs to go. All right. Dwarf Fortress. Where creature reset mood. Because that was our thought earlier, right? I'm going to make him fetch until a trade carrier with the... Okay. Well, that's something else entirely. All right. We'll help you say she's forbidden from doing work. No, because she's... That, I mean, I'll try it. I say no, but really... It's so odd that she's the one that had the mood. Um, Sure, we'll try this. Asuka 505. We'll go under tasks. Oh, labor. Vacation. No one's on vacation, right? Nobody does this. Only select to do this. Oscar 505. There you go. You're on vacation. You can't do anything. Is that faster? Just please die. I guess you have to arrange an accident. Yeah, this is what she can't die. Yep. Yeah. I, I mean... The mood die. When when someone fails the mood, I like they stop eating, they stop doing things. I know she wouldn't actually die to it, but for all intents and purposes of them doing things in your base, they're dead. They just don't know it yet. That's what I mean. I need. I just. I, I just want her to to give up. <laughs> to, to 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 cease trying to get anywhere with her mood. I could just let her out. That would fix this immediately. One way or another. <laughs> She's already had a mood, right? If she gets to her next mood... Yeah! Or, or, if, she, if she gets to the next season or so and she hasn't, like, had insanity, we'll just let her out. Won't have anything to do with her. Uh, who has gotten dwarfed? I got you. Nik Nikos Let's Plays. I'm guessing you do Let's Plays, Nikos. What is your number? Dwarf number nine. How are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're a Miller, Nikos. Hold on, I'm going to pause if I can. Oh, wait. I can guarantee this typing goes on better. Um, N-I-C-O-S-S-O-E-T 
S P L A Y S. The first. That looks wrong. Is there a space? Is there an early space? No. Nico. Ni Nico's. Let's. Let's go. Or as uh, the new Mario movie would say it. Mushroom Kingdom. Here we come. Oh boy. We're coming to save the day. <laughs> All right. I am Miss Spoda. We have two witnesses. Did he rat on himself? Is he his, is he his own witness? They confessed to the theft, but they never stole it yet. I could arrest him for stealing it, but he didn't, he didn't do it. <laughs> There's been no stealing. Hold on. <laughs> because I interrupted this early, right? Oh, that one disappeared. Because I interrupted this early, I could arrest this man for the stealing of it, but he never stole it. <laughs> like, is that against some like crazy habeas corpus? Like, he, if he didn't do the crime, why can I convict him of the crime? That guy left. Implicates old Neocol, which he doesn't exist. Stonecutter. We figured out who did that. Oh, I should have convicted him of it first before I sent him out. We know who it was. Mm. Mayful Ray, Ray Seals. We know who this is, though. It's going to be the weird human every time. Oh, there's a necromancer here now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, he's the bad guy for sure. What do you mean that there's just a necromancer on the map and nobody's cared thus far? Oh, Frank, Frank and his silly experiments. Yeah, he's been, he's been, he's been walking around our graveyard for a while. We've been just like letting him chill. He didn't seem like he was hurting anybody. Why is there a necromancer just chilling? I'm just going to see if I can investigate him for like everything. I don't know what he's going to tattle under, but I'll, I'll register him. All right. Let him get arrested. See how well that goes. Our nobles don't actually able to do work. Uh, at higher level nobles, I don't think actually do work. Pray in gaming, thank you so much for following. Thank you so much. Let her make her artifact thing and then lock her up before the full moon. That's might be if she gets through this next full moon, then I'm that's what I'm gonna have to go with, because she should have failed this mood by now, I think. If she goes from a mood to a mood. But if she had her thing before the mood, it's a month and a half. So we'd have to bear through this until after her next mood and then maybe the mood beyond. If she has two more moods, because she could have had her thing right before the full moon, had the full moon, and then still be like one week after this next full moon before she goes crazy. If she's able to go through two full moons without going crazy, then we'll we'll let her out right after that third full moon. Let her make whatever she is and then find some way to trap her. Just like lock her in her room or something. If that'll make her happy, that's what we'll do. We'll wait for her to go in her own bedroom and then just barricade it. Because no one else is going in there anyways. Y'all know why I would suddenly stop getting migrant waves that I got to 200 doors? Because the default settings let you go up to 200. If you go under settings and game and scroll down a bit, I'm looking for the number like, what, 120? Where did I put mine? Hold on. Is it game? I think it's game. Oh, it's right here, 130. If you go under game and scroll down to population cap, I believe the default's like 200, 220, something like that. You might need to increase this. And also your baby child cap. Don't forget to change those. Once you've done that, you should be good. Let 
Look, we make meatballs. Necromancer makes us revive the dead cattle for infinite meatballs. Oh, no. That's right. I'm not sure then. Um, I raised the cat to 300 and the 32 dwarves have died. So I'm at 168. Still no new migrants. So the migration system has a couple things going for it. It shouldn't ever lock off at zero except for a few things. And if you've been getting migration waves, they shouldn't really apply, but I will address them. One, if you're an island, you shouldn't get migrants. I know you got migrants. Uh, two, if your civilization is dead or there for whatever reason you embarked and there's just no dwarves, you're not going to get migrants. I know you get migrants. I'm just addressing them still. Uh, if you're at war with your civilization, I don't think you'll get migrants. So hopefully you're not at war with them. Uh... Migrants, for the most part, are based upon how much you've been exporting. So if you've gone a long time and you weren't sending them out and home anything, then your updated wealth is going to be like, well, we sent them 200 dwarves and they've only made enough money for 200 dwarves. You, you basically have to buy your migrants. If you didn't know that, that's how that works. Your first two migration waves are free, but then after that, you got to like buy them. And it's based upon your worth. But I think at some point that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, three, do you have a king? I don't think you get migrant waves anymore once you're the king. Because aren't migrant waves from the mountain home? Once you have the king, you are the mountain home. Right? I might be wrong on that last one. I do know if you have the king, they won't ask you what you want for trade anymore. Because you're the mountain home. You'll at that point have a liaison that you can send to elsewhere to do things with them. You can also, if you do have the king, you could send dwarves to other places requesting their workers. But they would have to be economically linked to you. Um. Oh, yeah. I have a king. That. Uh, I'm not a hundred on that. I, I will be clear on that. I know that if you have the king and you're the mountain home that you won't have a mountain home to be asking you, hey, what should we be trading you anymore? So I would assume that you wouldn't be getting migrants from there, like the migration waves from the mountain home, isn't it? I've only bothered to have a king on like two or three different occasions because for the most part, it doesn't really give you anything. Um, and a lot of people just end up killing them. You could try... Even if you don't send stuff. Source, I never trade. Oh, yeah, I have a king. Well, if the merchants are able to come in and leave, there is a secondary skill based upon your generated wealth. It's it's So that one is based... That's not your actual export, though the export's really fast. There is, like, it's, it's, it's like how werewolves attack, though I think they don't show that in the menus. Hold on. There is a wealth setting under difficulty... Do, 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 these sort of things, production triggers and stuff. There is one off of trade and there's one off of production. Notice production. If this is, if I'm looking at the right numbers, this is about right. So I assume these are the right numbers. Trade, you trade out 500, you've hit one. Production, your base is worth 5,000, you've hit one. It's just a 10 to 1 ratio. So it's possible to do the same thing as well without trading, just it takes a bit longer. But that's still re, 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 that's still based upon you having a trade depot. If you have a trade depot, they come and you let them leave. You're, they're still tattling on you. But if it says they bypass your site, then they shouldn't be tattling on you. I think, like, for how that one works. Still get migrants. You do still get migrants with the king? Okay. You can also send dwarves to the hillix, right? I, that's what I'm saying. I believe at that point you send them out. Or you can send them out. So yeah, you would you would surely get some. The only thing I can think of then is those other three. Do you have a dead civilization? You're not on an island or anything like that because you already got some to begin with. And or are you at war with them? Did, did you did you like piss off your civ? Did you keep stealing from them? Did you kill a bunch of them? That's the only other thing I can think of. Um, there's also, I don't know if they fixed the glitch, but there is a glitch that once you kill 2,000 enemies on your map, I think it's 2,000. Once 2,000 entities have died on your map, there was a glitch that you couldn't get any new ones in. This would include bursts as well. So that could also be a thing. For some reason, like the game would just freak out and stop giving you more dwarves. But for that to be true, your dead missing list, I, it had to hit some massive number like 2,000. Blind IRL uh, hit it. He was doing his Fort Long Death 
and they had hit 2,000 some massive amount of time previously. I don't know if they fixed that glitch by now. But if your deceased list hits like some number, which I think is 2,000, might be 20 or something, but in my head it's 2,000. I don't know why. Um, if you've hit 2,000 and then you've triggered for some reason, then you've triggered the glitch and you can't get anything new. That's also a possibility. All right, are you are you about to get all moody on me? <sighs> what are you having a mood for? I, I just want to drown you at this point. If I kick her out, she's not having a mood, right? If I say expel? Like, I can keep her in there and then just say expel, but that, then she would count as an enemy. Can you expel someone having a mood? Because this, this is a named dwarf. Cannot expel or send away nobility. So no, I can't expel her. We're coming up on the full moon soon. Like I said, on one hand, I want to wait to see if she'll just go crazy. Because I'd be fine with having a crazy person. What I can, oh, you know what I can do? We wait till after this. I, I know exactly what to do. We're good. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. The issue is just for getting to her workshop, right? What we do is we just get her to her damn workshop and just wall her off in her workshop. Duh. We'd have to make her a night. I, I, we wouldn't know where her workshop was, though. Hmm. Then I'm not sure. Yeah. Is there a reason you don't use the FPS indicator on? If you want, I can turn it on. <laughs> where, where is that? You, 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 do, do we want to know how low my FPS is? Where's the FPS indicator? I can turn off temperature right now and weather. See if that speeds up the game right now. FPS indicator. Are we at two or are we at three FPS? Show frames per second. There we go. Done. And let them collapse. There you go. We're at 11. We're not at single digit yet. We're holding on strong. <laughs> <laughs> Build one for Well, the problem is is in there is the hospital. I could probably hold on. If we go under skills. Stone cutter. She wants she wants a masons. Uh, Stoneworker. That's her highest mood. Put Bayberry in there. Yeah, when she's in monster form, we jumped up to 20. Oh, no, it's because it was paused. And we're back down to 11. She's killing me. If you dig a large tube under her and she falls like 20, won't she die? Maybe. That's what I can go with. Maybe. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. She could also be having a craft mood. So let's do another one back here for crafting. Then we'll build a wall here and then have someone unentangle that and see if she goes anywhere. This is true. We could just try to find a way to shunt her into the caverns. 
What happened to the taverns and temples? What do you mean? I will answer your question, Alapega, but you must explain thine self. What do you mean, what happened to the taverns and temples? Like, did you try doing it and you couldn't get something to happen, or...? Or are they still popular? I mean, they're required, so yes. My, uh, my, they, my temples are, I have, this is a primary religion to Azam. This is the tactical communion. Another primary religion of Azam's is over here. This is the accidental sanctum. They're only a temple. The other one's a full-blown temple complex, and they're very, very angry that they don't get to be a temple complex down here. They're like, we got 25 members. We also click. We also want to be a temple. Uh, my tavern, this is also just a non-defined temple to Azam. It's not related to one of his industries. This is my tavern down here. And the tavern has a performer and a tavern keeper. I had a performer. He went on vacation and I forgot to put him back. <laughs> Can I go on vacation? You're fired. How dare you talk to me? That's what happened. Um... All right, build, construction. No, workshop, crafts. Boop, thank you, a pecan wood. Once that's built, I'll destroy your wall. Actually, you know what, screw it, we'll just do this now, free her up. I, I want my frames back, please. Hopefully, I'm right and she wants stone cutting. If she just wants stone cutting, that's the masons. We're good. Um, They won't get it killed, but they will make a mess of everything. Like, everything you have stockpiles, the stockpiles will go away. Like, they do the weirdest shit. They don't tend to get themselves killed, but the layout will be treated. Like, imagine you designed the best mansion this world has ever seen. And then you sat there and said, uh, okay, now from here on out, it, it's going to be left up to children to maintain it. And whatever they say goes. I was right. She wanted the Masons. Um, and whatever they say goes after that, it's going to be insane. It's not going to make sense from there on out. Oh, look at that. We jumped back up to full frames. Crazy bitch. When she begins her pro her thing, I'm locking her in. I cannot believe a lichen can just drop your frames like that. Mm. Petition, no. Where is Asuka? What are you doing? Actually, there's a good point. Maybe she'll go crazy now. Where are you? You should have been back by now. Is this you? Follow. Why are you moving so slow? Oh, because you grabbed a raw bow sight. Why did you grab a raw bow sight? She's not going to get this done in time. It's already halfway to her next insanity. Build construction wall. I want this mostly done already. I want this wall to be like mid construction when I suspend it. Suspend. The next time she comes back here, I want to just lock her ass in there. Um, others? No, not others. Where is Asuka? Because you're about to go crazy on me. I do not trust you. Please do not grab another raw stone. God, I hate you. Why are you going that far out for both sight? This is both sight. This is both sight. This is both sight. You absolutely did not go grab the furthest both sight known to man. Stop pushing her back. For fuck's sake, you're going to kill us all. 
All right, a name was bestowed upon an iron shield. I'm glad for that. As a matter of fact, just because of that, that showed me that there's an issue right here. We got to remove this wall. We're going to make it a two by two. This is all artificial. There you go. No more, no more getting stuck in this room. Get out of death's way. Oh, wait, no, that's right. We're getting away from a full moon. Oh my God. I thought I was screwed. I thought that shit was filling up. There are many like it, but this is mine. Anyone know how to reduce vomit in the tavern? Have someone clean it up and have less drunk dwarves? Hey, Jakud! Right? Yeah, okay, hold on. I've got a lot. You guys are stealing my shit. Butadius, thank, so thank you for following everyone. Thank you from the raid. And as soon as you guys raided, as soon as you raided, Zesadith was stolen. Which one of you took it? Which one of you came in to steal my artifact? Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. Gather round. Gather round. We have a lot of things. It was me. All right. We have a triple threat of death going on. I got to pause real quick. For any of you who do not know, uh, thank you so much. On the right here, we have the Duchess, Oscar505. She's having a strange mood. She's also a lichen. So I've, I've got to try to trap her in her mood and lock her in there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She was dragging our frames all the way down to 11. We had to free her to bring our frames back up to 60. And so we got to trap her. Also, out here, we're trying to build an unnecessarily large dwarven project that is not connected to the ground. It is floating. We're trying to build a flying castle. We have that going on. That requires way too much stone. We are needing jet and we are needing sandstone. We had a bit of a time there where things were going uncomfortably slow because we were waiting for a freaking chick to go crazy during her mood. But I'm guessing lichens don't go crazy because she was like, fine for two or three lichen forms. So I've already prepared the wall. The wall is nearly complete. The instant she goes in there and either doesn't move or starts to make her artifact, I'm going to go in there and finish making the wall and just lock her ass in because I don't want to deal with her and her, her, what is she? A wear iguana? What are you again? She's aware of something. Oh, wait, shit. And now Zeth Edith was seen being stolen. I forgot to check for Zeth Edith. You guys, I even commented on when you guys raided and I forgot to check for it. Um. Oh, Zeth Edith, the theft of the brands was actually done by someone else this time. Red Octobear did it. Of course he did. But this guy, I am Isopoda, was supposed to be part of the project. So someone else did it. Okay, Red Octobear, where are you? And do you still have my artifact? So this artifact, by the way, has been part of a multi-stage artifact quest where someone is trying to cause a coup in my fort for some reason. So we've actually caught a bunch of people and grabbed them when they were doing their handoffs. It's really obnoxious. He doesn't have it. He's already done his handoff. So, question, who's on the map? Thank you so much. This man, do you have it? Lo, look, look who has Zeth Edith. It's like I found you. The same freaking human idiot. This guy, we've caught him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your service, sir. Holy course, crap. Thank you. educational no. DF content. Thank you for your contribution. Holy crap. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus, that's chunky. Um uh so we have we've had a comedic side thing going on. It's like he's trying to steal the infinity gems, but all the gems are your artifacts. We know who the big bad is. This isn't the big bad. There's someone above this dude. It's like a necromancer is doing it because every time there's a handoff and it's like someone told me to steal this and they give it to a middleman. It's this same undead dude. 
It's either him or another undead dude. We've caught them like five times and they just wander off and then they come back with another name and they're like, oh, oh, oh you caught me again, buddy. It's always an undead dude. Thank you so much, so much Kionian, for following. Um, th this visitor is ready to leave. Is he, though? Is he? All right. I just interrogated someone. Red Octobear. Cancel that interrogation. We got to go interrogate the undead dude because I want to know what is going on with this. We already know the other guy did it, so we're going to schedule that. We are going to make so sure much. that he is scheduled for this other one as well because I said so. We're going to schedule. Actually, no, no, no. Schedule him for the one that he's in trouble for. We'll work from there. Cancel. Now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If it wasn't for you meddling dwarves. Yes, we caught this idiot. Uh, again. Before I lock the door. I'm going to lock the. I'm going to keep the door locked this time. I don't care if the goblins happen to raid us at the same time like they did before. The goblins are in on this, by the way. The goblins, if I lock the door to make sure the guy can't get out, suddenly a, a wave of goblins will start assaulting us. Every time. Um, so dead men, dead graphics. Where are you? Dead graphics is inside. So what that tells me is that I'm going to... Lock this damn door. There you go. That one dude is not getting out. Sorry. No get out for you. Dead graphics. Please do your job. And interrogate. Yes. I love dead graphics. He's the first guard that we've had that's actually done his job immediately. Oh, oh, he caught him. I didn't even have to lock the door. I didn't even have to lock the door. That dude was running out. He was like a security guard. That dude was out. He's like, excuse me, sir. I'm going to need to check your receipt. Looks like you got a pretty big gym there. And I don't think I saw you purchase it. You walked right past the front gate. Caught his ass. Now it's... Um, the undead, the, the chick having the mood, we, we we freed her, so we don't have the FPS drop right now. We're good on that. All right, hold on. Where is... Where Where's our little asset protection dude? There he is. All right, asset protection. Because here's the thing. We're going to interrogate him, then immediately we're going to have to probably order him to get arrested or something. All right. He's done. Thank you, not so six old beans dead men forty four. Thank you all for following the channel. Lost prevention specialist. Hell yeah, he did. Um, Merble. De okay, intelligence. What did he say this time? Apparently, yeah. See, look, it's it's just different people. They're just fucking undead human things. Officer dead. Gra oh, hold on, real quick. Interrogation report. Winter two seventy one. Officer dead graphics. The first reporting. Met with subject to appeal to subject's belief in harmony and subject naively complied. Subject revealed that Melbu Delwing is in fact an assumed identity. Subject's true name is Mech Endbeast. Subject has used Nod Flute Sieged as an alias in the past, and they've also been known as Adel Helmmaster as an alias. Subject revealed that in the mid-spring of the year 262, the subject plotted to infiltrate the Page of Raptors in order to steal the treasures and prepare a coup under the influence of... We got a fucking name this time! It's not an unknown man! We know who fucking did it! In the midwinter of the year 270, subject as the human, the peddler, Adel Helmmaster of the Mighty Die, corrupted Kikros Tome Shower in order to have an agent in Volcanians. Subject met with Kikros Tome Shower and made flattering remarks. The plan worked. Subject revealed that in the midwinter of the year 270, Kikros Tome Shower plotted to steal the brand of systems under the influence of the subject. Now, question. Did we get the artifact from him or... Yeah, he's still holding it. We never got the artifact from him. You have to get the artifact from him. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. You have to get the artifact from him. He's holding it. I can't believe you're like, ah, did you do it? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Apparently that's it. <laughs> we're, we're not going to do anything else. Get him. Get the... Come on, please go back. Yes, lock him up so I can get the artifact from him. All right, now. I haven't done this in a minute. I got to remember how to... Dump his items. 
Because he's still got that artifact, right? All right, I can unlock the door now at least. If if he gets freed before I've gotten that artifact off of him, we're just going to kill his ass. Captain Walmart. <laughs> Captain Walmart. <laughs> Captain Walmart, save the day. Welcome, Captain Walmart. No, I do not approve of you being a temple complex. Are you good? Shit, man. What's the default keyboard? Keep It used to be period. It still is period. It's period. Yes. Asset recovery. Oh, well, I just wanted to point out that they can't go insane until they reach a workshop. Wait, really? I didn't know that. No, because they go insane when they're standing in your... Uh, they go insane when they're standing in your tavern if they don't ever get a workshop. Though I suppose that still counts as them going somewhere. Okay, they're headed now. Convict them. Um, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What if he doesn't have them on him? Strip him. Yet you, your hammer can get it back manually. I only know of stripping people when they're in a cage. Like when you have Goblinite. Though to be fair, that was before the Steam edition. So I'm trying to remember how you do that. How do you do that when they're in prison? That I don't remember. Is this me? Toggling him for dump status? I unlocked the doors, right? Yes. Okay. Well, we caught this idiot for now. Um, how long is he in jail for? Will it tell me? Also, does does he show up in this list? He's not one of our dwarves. Oh, and profession's off for some reason. Uh. Oh, here he is. 224 days in prison. Holy shit. Good thing he's undead because he ain't getting out for a minute. I got plenty of time to figure this out. Can I interrogate him for other things? Can I be like, did you do this? Implicates Negath who? Hold on. Actors, organizations. And this new one. Is this a completely different boss? He has a boss then. Why is everyone trying to do a coup? I thought old Neocol was the boss. Now there's a new boss? Oh man, old Neocol was a fantastic opponent. Now it's not him. We don't know who this one was. Or this one or this one. These things need to start getting organized. Manually recovered it. Um, it's on the wiki. They can definitely go insane without reaching. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. According to wiki, it doesn't run while they're out getting something, working on their construction, or on their way to claim a workshop. Only during the time spent idling without either without either the required workshop or required item. So if they were so yeah, if they're not moving towards it, if they're just idling. But I'm guessing what happened was we have the workshop. They just couldn't get there, so they weren't idling. Like, if you don't have the workshop, they go to the tavern. That's spent idling. So if you have it, that's not idling. So they just sit there destroying your frames. It's good to know. Um, that means that while any of those things are going on, Timber for Madness isn't counting down. So the workstation has to exist, and they have to be on their way. And technically, our person was on the way. That's why we kept losing the frames. Because they identified it, and they kept trying to, where is the way to it? But if you don't have it, then what they'll do is they'll go to a tavern, and because they're just chilling in the tavern, that's an idling time. All right, hold on. Use the I hotkey. That's unlock. No. I? Yeah, dump. That 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 is the thing I had already done. Yep. From units other. That's okay. That's what I was trying to, I was trying to find his character sheet, but yes, okay, that's the character sheet. And then I would say dump. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So you can yeah, okay, okay, we're good. I was just used to clicking on the thing to click to the character sheet, but yeah, I forgot. You go the other way to get the character sheet in the UI now. If you isolate them, they can still go mad. The plot thickens. Dump the built cage. Oh wait, oh hold on. 
Has that person started their mood yet? Are they still getting shit? Holy crap, this is going to be a big mood. All right, who's dumping this man? Um, Do I need a pit to be dumping in? I didn't think about this before, but hold on. What if I do this? I'm going to smooth. I'm going to engrave this room because he needs an engraved room and he's been whining a little bit. One, two, what if instead of engraving, I cancel these two squares? And by these two, I mean those two. Go back to engraving this one. And then I channel down and hopefully it's not an aquifer here. Then that could be the dump and we happen to dump their stuff in his office. Sounds good to me. There's no dump option in there? What do you mean there's no dump option in there? You didn't see it? Hold on. Others, click on him. Items, you see the item. What you have to do is you have to click the magnifying glass to look at the item and then in here, oh, you're right. There's no dump option in here. That's a lock option, not a dump option. Hmm, that is weird. But if I've done, if I've ordered dump on him, then it should be fine. Yes? Unlock. Dump. You're right. That wasn't a dump option. That was a lock option. Now it looks like it's it's been ordered. I'm going to create a weird... I want to create a weird little thing here. I'm going to erase these two squares from your office to create my own two squares of a dump. Did that work? Why can't I draw a garbage dump there? Cancel. Oh, it was still on delete. Stop that. Put that in. Click accept. Now it's a garbage dump. Now his stuff should be able to get dumped. Put item on display. And he grabs Zest of these back. We're good. It didn't show dump because it was a, uh, it's an artifact. You can't dump an artifact, I don't think. But I can strip him of all of his other crap. This is mine now. Okay, you want a temple complex and a high priest? I'll get you a temple complex and a high priest, okay? Just stop asking, please. You're killing me. Has begun a mysterious construction. Good. Resume this. Resume. Lock her in. Someone lock her in now. We're nearly done. Lock her in before she finishes. I hear, I hear her tinking away in there. Good. She's locked forever. She has now been, she has now upgraded for my one by one cell. A little bit of an upgrade. And now she is two three by three rooms with a one wide hallway. But she's no longer trapped in her hospital cell. So this is an upgrade. If I could have faith that she would stay in there, like if I built the wall there, then I would I would like build other things for her so she could have her room there. Like I gotta at some point get her to go down to her room. Then we'll be fine. You can same leveled up. I know. I've been having on again, off again issues with dumping all day today. Doing a multi-level dump is just slightly easier. Wait, what? Name something in the game. I wish to name the Jet Disc Platform, the Disc of Conspiracies. The Jet Disc Platform. Do you mean the floor? I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. That, that, that was supposed to be more for like animals. <laughs> Actually, question. Can you change? Yeah, you can change animal names and stuff. That's supposed to be for something you can change the name on. I don't think I can change the name of an entire floor. Well played. There's no dump, need a dump zone, but I put it next to the cage. The jump is forbidden. Why are we doing this? What is this case face? I will answer your question. I have no qualms answering your question. I just need to know what this is. Is this peach wood? You tell me what this is, and I will tell you why I'm, in fact, doing it. Uh, aren't you going to have to dump mats there now? I can just get rid of the dump. 
That's just supposed to be there temporarily. I wasn't going to keep that there. Hold on. I've now lost the prison. Here we go. This was just because I wanted to free the stuff up. Uh, we can now click this, delete that, go back to this man's office and repaint it larger. But now if I need to, I have a quick business dump thing that I can just have right here. No problems. Because now I believe this man is naked. All he has left is capybara blood on his left ear. Um, and no one can ever steal that. Why can no one ever steal that artifact? Oh, that gem that they keep trying to grab? Maybe a statue there? I want a statue of the glorious Holsky. Okay. Hold on. I got to track down what your name actually is, Holsky. It, the, 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 your, your nickname doesn't transfer into statue names. Your name is... Lorba... Uh, uh, what? L I'll just go with that. Lorbam Seamind. Lorbam... Seamind. Yep, okay. Lorbam Seamind. Go to your statue. Add new task. Statue. Hold on, where am I on this? Right. Also, there, there's usually a thing, by the way. I need you to choose where the statue goes. But if you're leaving it blank, I'm going to assume that I can put it wherever I want. Lorbam Sea Mind. Just a statue of Lorbam Sea Mind. We're going to let that go through. Like I said, the big thing is if I could actually get her out and into her own room, we'd be fine. Oscar 505. I'll get to you in a second. I'm sorry. The Duchess of Bald Canyons has created Samam Tithal, a bosite figurine of Sazir Pointed Tool. She offers it to the Page of Raptors, but no one can ever get it because she's in prison. If we go under objects and artifacts, we will find that what she has made, Samam Tithal, Courage Played, a bosite figurine of Sazir Pointed Tool worth 2,000 dwarf bucks. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. The item is a massively designed image of Sazir Pointed Tool, the dwarf and a goose in both sight by Sazir. Sazir Pointed Tool is embracing the goose. It is encircled with bands of rectangular bowsite cabochons. The object menaces with spikes of bowsite and smoky quartz. On the item is an image of dwarves in bowsight. The dwarves are traveling. Dark relates to the foundation of bald canyons by the page of raptors of the boulder of praising in the early spring of the year 251. On the item is an image of Logem Manor Yon, the dwarf and dwarves in cave spider silk. Logem Manor Yon is surrounded by the dwarves. The work relates to the ascension of the dwarf Logem Manor Yon to the position of Queen of the Boulder Praising in the early autumn of the year 252. On the item is an image of men, in t of men of twilight in steel. Okay. You can, you can just sit in there now and be crazy. Uh... Oh, the Arn effect. That was a regular kooky dwarf. That just... Yeah, no, this right... Why am I walling her in? Because as soon as that goes full white, she's going to be aware of Mongoose and just start ripping shit throughout this room. <laughs> like, I'd love to get that artifact out of there. That'd be nice. Maybe if she looks at the artifact all day, she can stay happy. But, yeah, no, that's not... We're not... No. <laughs> that's a big old no. Also, Deadman44, you got dwarf number six. You were the one who got dwarfed. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are a spinner for now. Deadman 44. Deadman 44. Nope, sorry. Deadman 44, the first. And is it men or man? Dead men. Dead underscore men. I got your name wrong. Dead men 44, the first. The spinner. The dwarf. The short, sturdy creature fond of <laughs> drink and industry. Voice chimp, you got dwarf number seven. I've got you. Don't worry. Where were we? One, two, three, four, five, one, seven. Trapper, you're reading a book. You trap little things and you read books. That's your day. Voiced chimp. If I spell your name right, it might work. Voice chimp the first. The zeroth. The first. The trapper. The dwarf. The short, sturdy creature fond of drink and industry. 
Goose hug. She's a mongoose. I made an artifact with a picture of a goose. Look, I don't know. She's crazy. Who are my daughter's relations? Pandasaurus Rex. Pandasaurus Rex. Uh, do, 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 do. Hold on. Pandasaurus Rex. Pandasaurus Rex. Your husband is Blue Water 4875 and your deity is Threathrus Conosol. Unfortunately, in the current version of Dwarf Fortress, I can't easily click on that description, so I don't know what that is a god of. What I can do real quick is try to make a temporary temple to that god and see what information I can gain out of this. Meeting area, drag that, accept, create, temple. Who do we say? Something Conosol? Threathrum Con... Threathrus the Brass Mountain. That's probably it. Threathrus the Brass Mountain. A god of metal, minerals, and jewels who most often takes the form of I don't know right now. If anyone knows how to find the details, like the physical details of dwarves, feel free to, of, of gods, feel free to tell me. Because you can click on most any creature and see the little thing, but the creature's not there, then you don't get the button, and gods aren't there. So you used to be able to get like, a, oh, this god most often takes the form of a rotting whale, and this dwarf most often takes the form of a a swan or something. And I have no clue how to get to that description screen in the new UI. Drives me bonkers. My dwarf's description by Death Star 175. Everyone's suddenly interested in their dwarfs. Death Star 175? You're a child. <laughs> Death Star 175, the young child, has a great sense of empathy, a deep well of patience, and a great memory. But they have bad intuition, poor creativity, and quite poor focus. They are crippled by crippling shyness that their, their clothes run off their body in the year 270. Death Star 175 likes granite, lay pewter, wood opal, giant tapir tooth, giant wild boar bone, the color brown, gems, cavies for their adorable call, and the words of the wondrous tresses. When possible, they prefer to consume bumblebee mead, and they absolutely detest bark scorpions. I didn't know you could make bumblebee mead. I thought they had to be, they had to be honeybees. Isn't that right? Like... You can't make bumblebee mead in this game. She likes impossible things. Also, you're a child. You should not have a preferred alcoholic drink. Your preferred drink is whatever your parents give you. That sounds bad. Try to steal that next time. She's a mongoose. She made an artifact, a picture of goose. She's a moon goose. Just rolls it. A moon goose. How many images can you fit on one amiibo? Amiibo is a three-dimensional object, so... The images would be dependent upon how small are you making them. I suppose it would also depend upon the amiibo, unless you're talking about like memory or something. Um, because I do have digital communication, but I think that's just an NFC field, isn't it? Uh, if you're talking about actually cramming a thing onto a 3D surface, it would depend on the amiibo's 3D surface divided by the amount of surface area that your picture would be taken up. That'd be how many pictures. Moon Goose. Uh, what did I miss next? In the center of the jet disc platform, a jet stat. Oh, you're mean. Choose a god that best represents the values of this fortress. He is laughing. Okay. It's going to take a little bit. Hold on. I want to make sure the other statue's out of the way first. I have had issues way back when before where the one statue caused an issue with another statue. Holski. Holski requested this statue. Holski, where are you? Where's your dwarf? Do you have a dwarf? I think you have a dwarf. Holski. Holski, your room is there. It's not great, but it's yours, and you like it. Furniture. Statue. What happened to the statue? Is it being transported right now? Damn it. Whatever. We'll come back to that one. If it's being transported, that could take a minute because it's a statue and thus heavy. We're going to add a new task to make a new statue. I'm going to say a rock statue, and then I'm going to put it on pause because I just remembered I have to figure out what god we're supposed to be going with. Uh, meeting area, create a meeting area, accept, assign to a temple. I would say, before I even go looking, I would say what we're looking for is pure industry. We're looking for the goofiest god, like, that makes no sense. Not, not like a comedic god. But we're making a flying castle. You know, we're, we're, we need to look for a god that defies nature. Even if that nature is the laws of physics. So rumors, fame, no. Poetry, crafts, creation, rebirth, no. Revenge, don't like it. 
Everyone in this base prays to a calm. And you have luck in gambling. So maybe, but I feel like that might be a bit too going with the flow. The sun and fire, no. Death, suicide, no. Mountains, no. Wealth, no. Fortresses, we might do him. Flying castles, your best fortune. Yeah, Arbon, the helm of defending. Arbon, the helm of defending. That's what we're going with. Delete you. Back over to where we are making statues. This statue will be imaged off of our bomb and this is where I have problems what do you mean I can't find our bomb that was the god you said I'll say fortresses do any of you say about a god of fortresses Why do they got to make this hard for me? Because this is just going off the name, I think, not their actual description. Okay. Let's try this again. His last name is the one I probably should have paid attention to. The last names don't change between the two versions. What is this? Delete that. I don't remember what that area was. Uh, try this again. Meeting area. Create. Accept. Uh, not a hospital. I'm sorry. Did I say remove current location? Did I say a hospital? I just made a new hospital. The house of wire. Great. That's going to throw me off later. Not another new hospital. Fuck. Stop doing that. Remove current location. Not hospital. Damn it. Temple. Our bomb, the helm of defending. Our bond, the helm of defending. Our bond. Maybe that was my issue. I spelled it wrong. Details. Image. Historical. Our bond. The helm of defending. If I spell it right, it works. Yeah, I, I spelled it wrong. No, Wolfer2222. Health description... So the problem was, other than this screen right here, what I was talking about was the description of gods. So what you're talking about works if the creature is on your map. But what I used to do in the old version of Dwarf Fortress is it would be like, this dwarf prays to these three gods. And I would say, you pray to these three, and I could read this description, which is, our bond most often takes the form of a female dwarf and is associated with fortresses. Right now, short of this screen right here, you can't click on deity. You can't click on the thing of someone who doesn't exist on your current maps. You can't click on a deity and have it tell you their basic description. That was what I was asking for. I guess this will work, but this is way too many steps just to get a description of a god if I need it. Yeah, it used to be a lot easier. This will just have to do. And a center to jet, a jet statue. Okay, here's the thing. I got to specify stone. I think I have jet, but not much. Actually, do I not have jet right now? <gasps> we don't even have any jet. We got to cancel this entire statue. I don't even have jet. We haven't found jet in a minute. You've just asked like the rarest stone known to man. <laughs> I'm fairly, I'm starting to suspect at this point that I would, I'm going to find adamantine before I find any more jet. You know how much area I've dug out trying to find another jet glob? I am all jetted out other than... No, that's anhydrite. I thought maybe I would have a chance with that, but nope, no jet. We, this this is a jet-free zone. Zastiver! Holy shit, everyone's coming in being so fucking... Thank you all. I, I, I appreciate it, everyone. You guys are so... You guys are so generous. Um... I've... <laughs> You guys have now made me forget what I was doing. Uh, we have some jet kind of showing somewhere. It, it wasn't going to be enough for a full mine, but if I'm looking for a stone at jet, it might. That's lignite. That's bituminous coal. Where have I seen jet? There's like a small amount of jet still lying around, like the very tip of something. Hmm. We're never going to find this jet. Mine all that. We got so much stone laying around. 
Where? It's got to be down here at this point, right? The jet? Now, here's my thought. I have mined all the way through this. So down here, I can do the same. Because we're do a jet around here. There it is. I knew there was a little bit of jet that I had mined. Or had not yet mined. Hopefully... Is one the highest or lowest? Very high. Yep. Hopefully, we, we get lucky and we get the jet from this. Um, yes, God's protecting the creep. She's laughing. Man, a structure of all nobles other than the bookkeeper is there actually useful. There are no, no, I would argue that the, yeah, one, I wouldn't consider the bookkeeper noble, though she is on the screen. Two, if you're going with everything on the screen as a bookkeeper, then I have to argue with you and say the chief medical dwarf, the broker, and the manager are also very useful. And our current uh, captain of the guard has got to be, what the hell is going on? Our current captain of the guard has got to be like the most helpful dwarf I've ever had. So we had one stone and that didn't give us jet. There, Our hopes and dreams have been dashed. We are doomed to an etern a jet-free eternity. May uh, may it not haunt our dreams every night as, as we continue that there's no jet here. Don't worry, I only need thousands of it anyways. <laughs> uh, what the heck? There's so much shit going on. Uh, Zastifer gave out five community gift subs and a binary algorithm doubled down and gave out ten. Holy crap, you guys are so generous. It's part of it is he's digging a hole under the fort. Yes, so this over here, for all of you who aren't completely aware, these weird areas we're digging over here, this is nothing. As Even though it looks like this is my entire base because this is where everything keeps happening, this is... This is not supposed to be my base. Yeah, Asuka 505 turned into a wear mongoose again. Is she destroying her base? Is she destroying her little room? She doesn't look like she is. Um, what we are doing is we're trying to free up stones to build this castle that is flying in the air, and we are removing the ground from below it. So this is what we are dealing with. It's two hard connection points. It's because we purposely wanted there to be a water moat around our castle that's flying in the air. So we we built into the middle of a river to have our moat and then built it back out. These are our two hard connection points. Though admittedly, we only really need the one for the water to be coming in. Later on, we're gonna have mist generation and stuff. This is just there to take the water out right now. And we have a soft connection point via two drawbridges. Maybe a slightly easier way to get a God description would be to set an engraving and specify the image for the God. Same as, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, but yeah. Sub bombs of bits everywhere. I want to see the hype train for this, man. Are we doing a hype train? Oh, shit. We are on, like, a thing towards a hype train. Uh, why are you so into blood? Blood is good. You need blood to live. Armok is the god of blood. How did you get such a nice circle made? So, oh. Hype moi. <laughs> hype moi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I, I want to redo that one just because... The voice is a little low on it, but I got a voice from Devolver Digital uh, two years ago. Premium purchase. I, I love it. Just when they, were, when they were making fun of all the microtransactions and gaming during uh, E3 two years ago. Premium purchase. Thank you, Orange TJ. <laughs> Remove the supports from your floating castle. Castles do not float. You'll just get a cave-in, surely. Well, I mean... It's always going to have the one hard connection, but that's needed for water. For the most part, this is defying gravity. Like, it's it's a flying castle. If you see a massive castle that weighs thousands of tons in the air and it's connected via, like, one little river inlet, that's a flying castle. It's just currently docked. <laughs> um, Suppy, how did you get such a nice circle made? So... Couple things. One, I tend to do a lot of my building in this game around circles. It, chat on in different bases will give me memes to be working around. Like, like not an actual meme, like the idea of like what is the theme, the like three themes to mix together. Going off the Metal Gear Solid idea of what a meme is. Um, because usually what I just end up doing is going off a of circle. So they'll either have some restriction of do only circles or use more circles or do triangles, things like that. Or, you know, like, okay, do this sort of castle, a bot and melee castle I've done before, things like that. Uh, and when I was in the military, I worked a lot with radars, 
radio waves, calculations, gravity, things like that, circle errors, probability. So I've done a lot of work with circles, which leads to me really liking circles. So for the most part, I can actually eyeball circles in square games really well. That being said, I do have to admit in this case, I cheated mm, somewhat. I, I went to where a program was for how to do a circle in Minecraft using squares. And then I used that to give me this right here to this right here. And with that, I did the rest of the circle. Cause this circle's so big, it's not all in one screen. There's just no easy way for me to eyeball this and or to calculate it on my head. It was just not gonna happen. Premium purchase. Thank you so much. Um, but luckily the big thing to know when doing circles in a square game is that you only need to know one eighth of the circle and the rest of it is easy because circles have a ton of mirroring in it. They have a ton of uh, lines of symmetry. A circle can be cut in half, it's two half circles. You're good, cut that in half, two quarter circles. Makes perfect sense, right? So at that point, everything's just rotating. Once you've done a quarter, you've done a circle. The only thing to know in a square game is you gotta split it into eighths. So from there to there, is one eighth of the circle and then you mirror it and that's your other quarter and then you just duplicate those two mirrors again you duplicate them you duplicate them so really all you ever need to do if you can't do the math is find a program to assist you but you only need to pay attention from the middle point to midpoint down one of the corners and then reflect how it did that pattern and then rotate that entire pattern 90 degrees keep keeping track of the mirroring all that good jazz and you'll be good yeah, radial symmetry. It's annoying to designate, though. It is and it isn't. I mean, if you go back, you'll notice in my video, I did take a long time to actually designate this. The trick is to not try to think of it square by square, but to think of it in patterns. So this was like an eight. So then I did like, that's an eight. And you can, you can go opposite of it and be like, that's an eight. Premium purchase. Thank you for the bits in spirit. In spirit level again. Level five this time. Level five. Oh shit! Are we hitting level five? How did you? I thought we were at like level one. How the hell did that get jumped? Level four complete. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Welcome in everyone. Um. Oh, see, that, that's probably my audio levels aren't quite all balanced together. Uh. Do's XOR? Is that from you doing XOR from Super Mario RPG? Thank you for following. But you'll notice as you get closer, the only annoying parts are right here where things are just ones. This is just, it's a five, a four, three threes, or no, four threes, a two, three, three twos, three, two twos, or sorry, three twos, and then it's mirrored. Like the size of a line will get smaller, but the pattern of the lines will get long, will get longer. As long as you just remember it as a series of patterns, it's, it's easier to do. It's easier to do on the ground. Doing it in the air is a pain, but if you're just designating circles up in, up in the ground, it's a lot easier. Uh, do, do, do. Hold on. Pandasaurus Rex, thank you for the sub. Okay, we're not exporting every, anything. I thought they had asked for something new. I tried to get the jet from earlier, but it didn't happen. Also, hold on. I did complete a bunch of the other requests. I want to mark them out of my way real quick. Devil's Dandruff, I think I got you in the military. Grogrin, did I get you in the military? Hold on. Uh, Devil's Dandruff, did I get you in? Yes. Okay, Grogrin wanted to be in and Captain Walmart wanted to be in. All right, hold on real quick, everyone. Somehow, I was keeping up, but somehow I missed some of these dwarves. Where is Grogrin? Grogrin, you have a dwarf, right? Captain Walmart, Captain Walmart, you're not dwarfed, are you? I don't think I dwarfed you. I'm sorry I missed your initial request, Captain. Hopefully you're still here, but I can't put you in the military unless you've redeemed a dwarf down below. I use a script to help keep track of whether or not you are alive. So I can't just give you a dwarf and you do the script because in the script later, we'll try to give you a dwarf and you already have a dwarf. It just it just doesn't work well. Um, there is Grogrin. You're currently a farmer, Grogrin. You're gonna quit being, you're a, you're a farmer, but you're a hauler? All right, well, that's an upgrade. Um, Grogrin, you are no longer a hauler. You are in the military. Where is Grogrin? I should have let, hold on. Shit. 
I screwed that up. I should have left the hauler on. It would have been easier to track down Grogren. Joe Core got dwarf number two. Give me a sec. I'll get you in. Who am I looking for? Am I looking for Grogren? Yeah, Grogren. Where did you go, Grogren? I will. You know what? I'll, I'll sign that job later. I will track you down because this is just easier. Let me... Hold on. I have, to, I have to do the second part of making him in the military. There is a bug in the game right now where if your dwarf kills a, notice, a notable person and it creates an update in the, the legends log and stuff, that it deletes their name. So everyone in the military, I am setting their job title to enlisted plus their name or officer plus their name. Enlisted. What are you legendary in? Your name is blinking, right? Does that mean you're, le you're enlisted? Grogren. You are legendary in nothing. I thought your name was blinking. I must be crazy. That way, if his name resets, his job title doesn't. And it also helps in combat logs to keep track of who everyone is. That's a tip for you. If you're getting confused in combat logs, it just says their jobs. Name, give them a job name that involves their name, and you can tell every time who's doing something. Captain Walmart needs to be wants to be in the military, but like I said, I don't think I have him dwarfed. I'm working on your statue. The Holsky Dwarf, I'm working on it. Dwarves Relations, I believe I told you, Panda. Description I did. Statue. I'm going to refund the naming the disc. There we go. Now I'm caught up. Uh, to do, to do. Yeah, thank you. Jeez, level five hype train. Fucking fan. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Uh, Nostradamus333 followed. I'm sorry I missed that. Thank you so much for following. And did I get an answer on XOR? Do, do we know if uh, XOR... Is that from Super Mario RPG? Okay, I got a DF mod idea. Fix the archer so instead of being pointless, they shoot out minecarts full of lead bars instead of arrows. So we can finally kill cave slayers. Well, there is an archer that shoots out minecarts full of lead bars. It's called a uh, catapult or a ballista. It hits about the same and it'll do. Now you just need to have tons of ballista dwarves and you'll be good to go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So that instead of being uh, welcome to the mountain home, Joe Court, yes, you got you got dwarf number two. I'm like, I'm trying to. Uh, you're a trapper, Joe Court. It's you, mustache. Now, how do I spell your name? It's just J. -O. Okay, J O. Joker the first like Joker right Joker Joker core Archers aren't useless mine took down a rock that my malleus couldn't reach and then finished off with a one-shot headshot through the eye of an elf trying to No Mac and me I think what he's going with is the idea that particularly at melee level combat the mil the archer dwarves just tend to run and start swinging their crossbows like they're bludgeoning weapons it, it, it can be a bit of an issue I really need to alphabetize that list. Yeah, there, there are still a couple things they really need to work on on the UI. You know, things... When you're troubleshooting a game versus actively, like, trying to play it through, like, if you're programming it, there's no way to not be troubleshooting it. So something's going to take your attention and minor things are just going to keep slipping by. It's going to get fixed at some point. I have no fear of that. Yo, put the statue... Okay, did I make your, your Holsky statue? In a tavern or entrance or something. Okay. Um, build furniture. Yeah, but yes, in the in the future, Holsky, uh, the way this works is just in case, because if you weren't here, I would have completely for forgotten. You put it in the description. I believe when it says request the statue, it actually says in there to put in both. And that way, it's easier for me to remember because I got a list over here. Um, just got a migrant wave. Went from 26 to 64. 16 is that more children. Oh, that hurts. Uh, you received a level four hype train. Yes, hell, let's fucking go. It was epic. It was 20 Z levers up. They shot its wing and crippled it. Fell 20 levels. Oh, 20 Z level fall. That's got to hurt. The bludgeoning damage alone. All right. I still got to get that jet. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. Wait, no, because all I've got is jet blocks now. I don't have jet. We should have jet. The game is being very mean and not giving me the jet. All right, here's what I can do. We, I'm going to come up one. I'm going to see if I can find jet up here. 
I think this is the layer. I think over here is where I now need to start investigating for the presence of Jet. We've gone over here, but Jet has been over here previously. So I am going to do a little bit of reconnoitering and see what I can find. Because this is where we found Jet previously, right? We found Jet here. We found Jet there. We found Jet over here and over here. This is also Aqua first. So I'm going to try over here first. Also, there's Lignite. We usually find Jet somewhere around the Lignite too. So we'll see if we find a Jet over here. Hopefully, we can find another Jet Ball. Yo, we need to finish that floor. I still need like 1,500 Jet Stone. Wait, nope, that was that was Jim. I saw I saw the purple. I got excited and I was wrong. That's some Hobbit shit. Doesn't need to be Jet for mine. Um, well, I guess you have to find a way to. Yeah, I need Jet anyways. Like this is just on the way. I already had 10 children, so 26 of my 64 are kids. Oh, you can prevent that, by the way. Um, it's not going to fix your issue right now, but if you go to settings and game, you have the population cap, but more importantly, you have the baby cap. There are two numbers. One is as a percentage. One is at a strict number. And I believe at any one point in time, it'll choose the smaller number. So if you have a, if it's set to 10 and 10, then you can either only have 10 babies or 10%, whichever is smaller, I believe. So if you have 110 dwarves, it would choose 10 if they were both said 100 or if they both said 10. I believe that's how that one works. All right, we're at the edge and I'm seeing no jet. Game, game, game. Where is my jet game? Why have you abandoned me to the Lords of failure and no jet Dorf Dicker, do you think you'll find jet channeling under the castle knowing my luck yes <laughs> knowing my luck the jet is over here torturing me and it's just all below this as a matter of fact as part of that we, let's do this we know we have to be going through this anyways let's do a 7x7 seven seven. I know I have to be going through this anyways I don't want to go down because of even more aquifer, but you know what? Let's actually scout. Let's see just what nonsense bullshit we're digging into. And 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 because I've been worried about getting the square down, but I don't actually know what I'm digging into below. That was very nearly in the middle, but it wasn't. Ah, whatever. Good enough. But you do bring up a good point. My luck is very bad, and there's going to be jet down here right below me somehow. So let's mine down in a big inverted pyramid and see if we bump in the jet. I will say we're bumping into limestone. We've had a bunch of limestones in the area where we bumped into jet. Okay, where's the middle? This is the middle. I missed it by that much. So let's do a seven by seven over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then do that as well. That way we have a big rectangular slice into the ground below us. Make sure we're not just missing jet by that much. Next layer, we'll bring it in further. We'll bring it in further. We'll bring it in further. It'll be slightly more narrow, but we'll see if hopefully we bump in the jet. But I do like how I've just made I've just realized this. Literally the layer, the layer below where I quit. The layer below where I was like, shit, we're running into so much aquifer, I should go mine somewhere else. The layer below where I quit had no aquifer. None of this is wet. None of this is wet. We had like, I, there's jet right here. Oh my God. Are you shitting me? There's just jet in my hole. I'm staring at jet. I'm literally staring at Jet this entire time. I smoothed it over and crap, and, and it's on both sides. There's Jet on both sides. We already have... <laughs> what do you mean we already have the Jet? What do you mean? What do you mean? What... No. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do... No. What the fuck do you mean we already have the Jet? No. Hopefully we get the we get the jet out of this. I'm I'm annoyed right now. I I I I am I am not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little miffed right now that 
I've been digging to hell and back looking for jet, and it's just sitting here. Got mud on your jet. <laughs> Uh, it must all be. Do you think you'll find jet chilling under the castle? Yeah, Lee Kale, thank you. Thank you for the, the idea. <laughs> and, and, and making a perfect rock pots and other stone crafts for trades. A mod that counted the size of drawn out squares would be awesome. Um, patch or for a flying castle. What? Yeah, like we just need that back, kind of. The game lives to torture you and get the flooding you have it now. We definitely take that too. Try doing the auto dig on it. Um, I don't well, first of all, I don't want to just dig it because all of this, all of this still needs to go down. So if I dig at some point when I channel it, I risk a cave in. So I'm not going to auto dig on the jet because I've I've got to get rid of the floor above it now while it's safe. But yeah, no, we got a bunch of jet, which means. I believe we're not going to be able to see that we can use it yet because they're hauling it. A uh, jet would be here, which would be this one. Grab you. All right. Statue. I forgot the name of the god. <laughs> what was the name of the god I've been trying to make? God. Uh, temple. Your name is Arbon. Arbon is his name. Make rock statue. Detail. Stone. Jet. Detail. Image. Historical figure. Arbon. Choose a god that best represents. He is laughing. So now here's the question. Binary algorithm, assuming you're still here. I can just have a statue to Arbon, in which case the game will randomly choose something that he did in life or in legend, and it'll, it'll be a more detailed statue. Or I can have one of him laughing as you directly request it, but it won't like be about Arbon. It'll literally show him laughing, but it won't have like anything he did. Whereas if I say, make a statue about Arbon, it'll be like, Arbon is striking down his foe and laughing at their misery and like a bunch of weird descriptions that you can't get in otherwise. But I can't guarantee he'll be laughing. I'm not sure if you were, if you were still here. Let's just RNG it then. Okay, yeah. If I related the historical figure and do Arbon. Am I spelling it right? Okay. Which one of these was the right one? The helmet defending. Yeah. So they're just going to do a statue to Arbon. I don't, I, like I said, I can't guarantee he'll be doing anything, but the statues that you just make of people are more detailed than ones you can make yourself. Whenever I do, uh, Whenever I do people's tombs, I just have it do a statue dedicated to them. So, like, I didn't put any of this in, but you'll notice how detailed it is. For example, uh, who is Oodle Paper Dip? Who is this supposed to be on? Admiral Wiley Monob something or other. And they'll be like, this is a sandstone statue of Oodle Paper Dip. The item is an image of Oodle Paper Dip, the dwarf, and the Book of Seasons, and the sun, and the Lapis Lazuli Bound Codex, and sandstone by Stukos Vumakol. Ubal Paper Dip is raising the Book of Seasons and the Sun. Dork relates to the creation of the Book of Seasons and the Sun in Searing Letter by the Dwarf. Ubal Paper Dip in the late spring. So, like, it actually gives you a lot of the things that they're doing. Some of them are, like, more and less. It relates to the creation. This is the thing I'm talking about. It relates to the creation of. So you can actually get their story. You can't do that if you're just making one. We struck a lot. Am I under attack? Why am I fighting a goblin dancer? Was she stealing something? I, I don't... Okay. Uh... Oh, because she's doing things. Okay, well, you know what? Convict, she did it. Go to this one. Convict, she did it. Go to this one. Implicates, convict, doesn't exist. Go to this one. Confessed, convict him. He's already in jail. What's he going to do? Go to this one. Oh, wait, hold on. I I interviewed him about it, and he actually confessed to that one, too. Remember, I, I interviewed him for a bunch of these. Convict. Red Octobear, you did it. So I got to convict you to get you out of this. I am Sapota. I'm convicting you. 
Interrogate. We don't have one for that. That's that's old Neocol. We can't clear him out yet. That's just an ongoing case. This is the vampire. We got rid of him. That's the issue. Is I got rid of this one, so I can't close that. Confessed. That's the dude I actually let go. This is the same one. I wish I had remembered to convict him before I let him go. I was going to schedule an interview on that one. That'll clear up a lot of my crimes. Do you put up statues of forgotten beasts? Uh, it can be requested. Try doing the auto dig on it. We'll target all the jet around there too. If you do the auto dig, it, like I said, it might, but the problem is you can't auto channel. At least I don't think you can. Yeah, it's just auto dig when you do that. And I need to be channeling down. Um, so I can't really test that out. The problem is, is I think auto dig only works on ore and gems. Ore and, oh, it says ore. Because this isn't an ore or a gem. Like, it's not magnetite ore. So I don't think auto dig will work on jet. And it's not a gem either. It's just stone. Yeah, it, it, it's not a question of economic. It's, is it specifically an ore or a gem? This just counts as a stone. Auto dig is looking for something that is not of the type like stone. It might be technically wrong, but it's looking for something that classifies as a gem or an ore. Thank you so much. Draco bringer, please do not bring the dragons. We're doing pretty good and I would like to not die, but thank you for following me. A hall of victories with statues of all the epic monsters you've defeated. I mean, yes, maybe I like the idea, but I would need to set up a hall of victories for that. I do like the idea though. I might have to like write that down. I don't think I, I, I can't implement that. Like the problem is like where I am right now. I tend to every time do a project that requires a shit ton of time to get on going. Like what kind of idiot would do two layers of a 102 radius circle in this game? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so a lot of time ends up getting spent to just making the damn circle and getting that going. Yeah. Uh-oh. Snowy Imp just died. I'm guessing of old age. Oh, God. I'm guessing that uh, they got into a fight because it was punishment for their crimes. But that didn't involve Snowy Imp. He just died of old age. All right. Uh, Snowy Imp. Let me kill off Snowy Imp, everyone. Give me a sec. Formal Blizzard says they want to be in the military. Oh, I bet you do. Dwarf kill at Snowy Imp. Did it go through? All right. They're dead. They are dead now. They have been found dead. Formal says coach put me in i've been waiting all day all night let me up in there formal blizzard you were a traitor i'm just gonna say enlisted eh, maybe your whole name will fit enlisted formal blizzard all right i'm gonna we're we're, we're full up on three squads now holy crap um I hope I can get that stealing shit set aside. Thank you so much. Noyork? No York? Noyork? No Yorks? Thank you for following. Uh, do 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 do. Because we have steel and we have we have so much fuel. I just need to get them to put it in where it goes. All right. This steel did not get done up. I thought I ordered a steel floor. Or did that already get picked up? Hold on, I've been, I've been, I've been doing something to filter out steel out of their bins. I think I might be at the end of it right now. Floor four. How much steel do you think I have? Five. That's really good. That's really good. That means I'm done screwing with this crap. There you go. What I've been doing is is I've been forbidding all the steel up in here and then letting them build a floor, deconstruct the floor so that they can put it back in the stockpile, 
that doesn't allow bins. Ignore the bin that's in there because the game hates me. And then they can put that into the cart and get that where it needs to be stockpiled correctly. So I'm trying to sort out the metals. So you can f see visually, if you just look over there, like, okay, I have steel and coal and copper and iron and pig iron and bronze. I'm trying, I've been trying to sort it out and it's been such a pain. I was doing the dumping thing for coal, but I, getting it to redo it again for steel just for some reason wasn't working. So building and deconstructing seem to be working a lot easier. So we have a lot, even though it says we have five, we have a lot of steel. I've just been banning what we've already sorted. There's an elf monster slayer staying. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a random, there's two human corpses. One's the old one I locked up and one's a new one. I guess I'm just going to have to, you know, interrogate a bunch of dead people. Which is the one we already have. I'm going to say Mamuz is the new one. Let's say Mamuz is the new one. We're going to interrogate him. And then you know what? We're going to interrogate that elf. I don't trust him. There you go. Interrogate that elf while we're here. It was Mamuz, wasn't it? Mamuz. Yes. Okay, cool. I don't know why they keep sending undead people to do crimes. Can I be a crossbowman who has a modicum of sense? No, not yet. Sorry. <laughs> not right now. You can be in the melee military and you can be training 24 seven so that you can actually kill your enemies and not have a fear of dying. Some would say that that's a pretty good exchange. Some would say. Now everyone's training because we have a full squad. We have ways of making corpses talk. I still don't know how he did that. It doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. How the fuck? All right, come here. I'm dead. You're not allowed to talk to me. I have dead rights. No, no, you don't. Not today. You're going to come over here and you're going to, you're going to talk. Yeah, we got a bunch of kick-ass jet. We're going to need to wait for people to haul them, which is a slight pain, but oh well. I can't believe that this, there's no aquifer here. There's just none. Literally the layer after I quit is free. I thought I did something on this layer. I smoothed it. I did. I smoothed a bit of it, and I guess I just assumed that there was an aquifer there, so I smoothed it early. I preventatively smoothed it when it didn't need to be. I can't believe this entire time I thought I, I still had more. Oh my god, it's it's fighting time. An ambush, and you're starting with a giant war leopard. Okay, well, I'm sure everyone who just volunteered to be in the military is glad to hear that. Uh, that's the only enemy I see, so that's what you're being told to go kill. A giant war leopard. That's what we're starting with. Okay. Well, luckily, the military all trains here, so they're all charging out the front door in like five, three, one. There they are. Oh, we are at war with the elves, chat. Oh, no. Hopefully, everyone's gotten their training in. Duck, dip, dodge, dive, and dodge. It's 141. What the fuck? Why? You freaking traitorous bastards. You traitorous bastards. We're going to go down swinging. Military so alert. Everyone into the side base because I don't have a lever set up yet to pull the drawbridge. Everyone get inside. Oh, there's more. There was another noise. There was another noise. Oh, no. War rhinos. Why did you bring the water donkeys? Why did you bring water donkeys? That was an unnecessary thing. I cannot begin to tell you guys. Um, Hold on. I got to take pictures. Normally, I write down your names in case you get kills. But I think at this point, uh, this is just going to be taking pictures so that afterwards... We can do the, uh, we can do the in memoriam because I don't think you're going to live. 
All right, hold on. I took that picture. I'm waiting for this thing to save for some reason. There we go. Hey, take a picture of squad two. Oh, we lost someone in squad six. Who's below Dragoman? Are they already dead? Or do they die earlier and I never replace them? Were we down a guy the whole time and I not notice? Hold on, save on that. And this is squad one. I don't know if he already died. And I was just too late to take the pick. Well, I mean, at some point, I think they do. Like, I've actually had, I've had sieges just kind of leave. But the question of the bridge thing is that you can do it carefully. Like, so by the way, this is another reason to have a double bridge. If you have a long bridge and a short bridge, right? The short bridge, particularly if you like drop it, undrop it, will be like, hey, come here. And then they'll get on this bridge. And when this bridge is up, it's a wall. And then you'll raise this bridge and slam them into that wall at full speed. And then they'll fall in your moat and die. So this is a fantastic little early defense setup to thin out a siege if you do it right. Sometimes they're going to sneak by, which is why you still want your military behind everything. But it gets done. All right. Uh, why are the elves now fighting us? Uh, chat, normally I give you guys like a, a like a rundown of the combat log so we can see what all is going on. And look, I'm going to tell you the truth. There's so much going on here. I think the best thing I can do is maybe occasionally do like a, a KD sort of a thing. But like the game won't even give me a count of how many others there are. You, it used to be it would give you a count up here. Um... I'm just going to have to, we're just going to have to do this off of like a, uh, you know, maybe what this says or something. That one says 135. There's a few more behind. I will say that it, it started with like 140 something, didn't it? We're already down to 135. So we're getting kills. And you'll notice at the top, some of these were not, were unselected previously. So don't take the 135 for granted. That's like slightly up from what it's supposed to be. So we're already getting kills. My big worry is we're going to get tired or the war animals are going to get to us. But everyone's running out still. We don't even have everyone out yet. Um, well, some dwarves just didn't understand to go the fucking side. So they're just getting destroyed. And uh, someone just killed the base. Who is this? True freak just killed us all. He decided to throw his cups in the doorway for no reason. Do I have anything in here to build with? Kind of. I'm going to tear down these two things. No, 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 no. There's even more. Good. That needs to be torn down now. I need to build. Where are you going? Okay. This man just loves dying. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Toggle whether they can source materials from outside the burrow. How about you can't go outside the burrow? It's what is the point of a burrow if they can just go outside of it? Oh yeah, they're sieging. Or actually, no, this is an ambush. Ambush. This is not a siege. Two hundred creatures and all these things. Not a siege. By the way, uh, so far, no one's really died yet. So a lot of dwarves are fighting out in this, and none of them have really died. <laughs> Orange TJ and Cargon the Barbarian, you want to be in the military. Uh, not to sound mean, but it's a little late. Followed, followed. Thank you so much for following. Um, the three squads are kind of filled up. And if I throw you out now, you're untrained and don't have gear. Like, I'm not going to put you in because that's just a request to suicide. My military requests aren't, hey, you can defend. I don't run militias. I run standing armies. You don't have other jobs. So throwing you out right now is just... It's not going to do any good. Like, I would rather you stay alive right now. And then if we survive, put you in the military so you can be trained. So I'm not going to throw you in the military right now. I'm not going to refund your points yet. If We're going to have gaps at the end of this. But I'm just letting you know you're not joining this fight. Also, we're all about to die anyways. No, we have no war dogs. Uh, Peregrine heavy bow gun collapsed. We're gonna need to do like a side load legends to see how many people they've killed. 
Do, do. So Peregrine is dead. Hold on, let me let me create a dead list. Actually, no. This is why I did that. This is why I took the pictures was so I could see who the dead list was. <sighs> did they uninstall the thing yet? Oh, some of the military hasn't gone out yet. Why were you down there? Why were you not? This is completely out of the way. There's nothing down here. Oh, did you decide to go get a drink first? Did you got? Did you got to get yourself a little sucky? Were you thirsty? Were you feeling a bit, a bit thirsty while your brethren died outside? By the way, what do we say the number is down to now? That's saying 70. Now we, we have seen some more, but in that same space, it used to say 150. Like, I will say that if we die, we gave them a fight. Like, look at the bodies everywhere. <laughs> We just keep finding more ambushes, though. Uh, the Spanish Inquisition has passed. Ambush. Look at all the dead bodies. All right, hold on. The question is, where are these? Yeah, they're still at the edges of the map. They, like, all their troops haven't moved in yet. The problem is I don't want them to think that they're no longer fighting. I don't know if that will cause a, not a glitch, but an issue. So I got to do this square style, which is not great. I will say this. I'd rather do it from a list, but... All right, this has added some more to our targets. See, but we have guys up here too. This is this is my big issue. I want to add more up here. But I think you can only square once? It's weird. All right, are you are there more? Okay, now that I've done it, can I can I click square? <gasps> I found a way to square more than once. And then you click this for some reason and you click and then you click this again. That's it's okay. Whatever. Dumb way to work around the UI problems, but I'll do it. I just, I just confirmed on 63. All right. I did figure out how to multi square though. I'm fine with this like multi lane drifting. You know, once you figured it out, you're good to go. You're rounding them corners. You're slaughtering the elves. You're hoping no one gets tuckered out. There's another ambush. Dude, how many ambushes? What are you guys doing? Move? Kill various usually means you fucking move. Why are they just standing here? They're not moving ahead. Jesus. We're, we had to well, legends mode this afterwards to just see how many we fought this day. All right, that's nine. That's 13. There's a scared guy down here. That's 15. I don't know what you're doing. Did we win? Hold on. Did, did we kill them? I mean, we lost a couple and that sucks, but... We've lost two. Confirm. They had 140 before we got multiple ambushes. Now they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. They had 140. That was five extra reinforcements ago and they're down to 36. Jesus Christ. Joe Cor, you followed in the middle there. Thank you so much. Monads, thank you so much for following. I'm sorry I missed it during all the excitement. No need to um I'm okay with suicide room but however you want to play it. No, that's my point though is that's just that's just not the way I play. 
Like, um, are they attacking? You anger them? No, Arsiv's been at war with them for a minute. I just thought it was kind of funny and didn't do anything about it. Um, I think maybe we our civ's been losing if they can just pull out 140 plus out of nowhere and it be an ambush, not a siege, but we're kicking their ass. Our elves with decent armor? Dude, they have war they have dire war hippos and dire war tigers. That's a war giant lion. In D D terms, giant means dire. Do you know how big this thing is? This thing is bigger than your house. <laughs> This is this is this is the siege. This is the Lord of the Rings siege with the giant elephants and shit like that. And we're that just counts as one. <laughs> Look at this. He's terrified. He's terrified. Yeah, they are. They're gonna be afraid. They're gonna be tired though. Oh, someone just died. True freak has been found dead. Like I said, some of them are probably giving into their wounds. You have to remember too. Just a side thing. I want you to look at some of these guys. Some of them have steel. Some of them do not have steel. <laughs> Real quick. Uh, details. Bronze. <laughs> Bronze helmed. Random, random doohickey. Like, they're, they don't have iron, iron, copper battle axe. This is off of their skill alone. I, I, I don't have adamantine. I don't have... I have the ability to make steel, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> they're, they're literally just, like, badassing this. They're, they're not... They're not overly equipped compared to the elves. Like, this isn't an artifact. He trained so long with this blade, he gave it a name. That's it. Most of these are like copper weapons and iron weapons they've been training with. Squad A in the top and the upper part of Squad B have some steel, but not a lot. Squad A is the only equipped squad. And they're, they're slaughtering everything. Hold on. I want to grab, if I can, what's more recent? The bottom one? Like war rhino, right? A war rhino. This is how the war... Th th there's so many creatures. I couldn't do this for all of them. But for example, this is how each of these fights are going. The war rhino gets stabbed in the right rear foot with a um, one of their named weapons. This opens an artery, pulls the leg, and then another one comes from a different direction, hits him in the lower body, tearing the muscle. Then the first one counterattacks, tearing his right lung through. They both lose their weapons on on. They both lose their weapons in the guy. They pull them back out. Then they go for the foot, the the right rear foot, the left front leg, the lower body, the upper body, the right rear foot. They literally are like fucking flanking each of the enemies and just dro yanking their legs out from under them and dropping them on the ground and then just stabbing into their heads and shit as they die. Like the first attack was to drop this idiot. <laughs> like first of all, orange. If, if, if you're new to this, by the way, if you're new to this sort of thing, purple means like utility things that could be bad or good. The weapon got stuck in the wound, so they have to spend an action to pull the weapon out. Gray is informational things. The war rhino is having trouble breathing. The blue teal shit is what your guys are doing and like orange shit's what the enemy is doing. That's right, he didn't get an attack. We just slaughtered him. Nowhere in this combat log was this war rhino doing anything. They, they just ran up on him. And this is after they've killed 160 plus people. They, just, they, they didn't give it a chance to fight. That's how you win. See, this one got the fight. He misses. He jumped away. This is, this is a dire war cougar. And then he got those two attacks in and then wasn't allowed to fight ever again. That's how you win. You just, why give the enemy a turn? Duh, that's dumb. So, so far we've lost three. That is kind of sad. What do we have remaining? Oh my God, there's so little left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're down to 12 bad guys. Thank you so much. I think if you give them a station command, you don't have to give so many targets. So the problem with station command seismic is that a station command is not an immediate thing. They won't leave the area. And if they stay there too long, and there's, 
Van Actual One and Kravik Thirty One. Thank you for following and Aim High Eight. Thank you so much, everyone, for following the channel. If you give them a station command and say the enemy is waiting, some of your dwarves will leave to go get food. Like they won't consume the food that like that's in their backpack or wherever. They'll just be like, ah, I'm kind of tired. Goodbye. Whereas if they're awake and they're given kill command, kill command, kill command, that's what they're going to go do. It takes a lot more micro, but you you run less of a risk of not having everyone there. So I'll do, I would, if I didn't have my dwarves constantly training, I would give them a station command to get them all together so they don't attack one at a time. But other than that, no. Once once you're in combat, you just I just always do mass attack commands. Stations are for stationing your troops before assaulting. They're not like a decent idea to do a defensive position. That would be more patrol or guard, things like that. Like, I know that's kind of how it's supposed to be, but that's not the way you should use it. There are downsides to station. I would not suggest doing that all the time. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, no, so far it looks like we've won. I don't know combat got this large scale. I wonder, like I said, Holsky, the crazy thing is that was not a siege. The Technically, there's a special state called a siege where that's when you really get the large numbers and you get a tag up top that says siege. Like, yo, you in deep shit time. Like, they'll start trying to break down your doors and shit and come get you. This doesn't qualify as a siege they happened to probably have like the maximum amount of people for a sneak attack um or an ambush and then they did that like 12 times but it's not a siege don't don't let anyone you know don't let anyone tell you differently the elves didn't lose a siege here they tried to do an ambush and the ambush failed there just happened to be eight times as many units as would be normally allowed for an ambush. It's not their fault. You can't call the Geneva Conventions on them for not following siege rules because they're elves and they definitely try to break the rules like the little shits they are. <laughs> no hand or foot gear. Going to have some handicaps after this. If they got hurt, like I said, we saw the combat log. Most of the time, uh, they're not getting attacks in. Do squad of 30 trained dwarves is joke for you. I don't know what that means, Deadman44. Can you can you reword the question? Do squad of 30 trained dwarves is joke for you? No? That's why I do this. I like like I said, I don't I, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question, Deadman. What is the giant war, war rhino doing? Giving in to the pain. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thank you for following. To the pain. Those elves are monsters sending these creatures to be slaughtered. Don't forget, some of these elves, like, they're not sending them to be slaughtered. A bunch of these elves were riding on them like they were mounts. Like, this wasn't just a wave of animals for no reason. They had elves on a bunch of these, like, with spears of their own being like, Get them! Get them, Sir Kitty! D distract them with your paws while I kill them! And we're just, like, destroying the mounts under them. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the dwarves that died probably didn't die to an elf on a mounted creature because that can lead to some weird, crazy shit where they get distracted either by the, mo the guy on top and then the creature below grabs them with their mouth on their neck and shakes or they do a parry against the guy on the bottom and then like the guy on top gets in a lucky blow. It's, that's where things kind of get iffy. But no, don't, don't get it confused. A lot of these were also mounted. Like that cat we saw down below, the giant war lion down on the ground. Yeah, this is a mounted lion. The lion has the elf on him. He's he's mounted. And the guy on the mount has been, whoa, what is going on graphically there? The guy on the mount is messed up. And uh, the, 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 the dire giant, the war trained dire lion is uh, experiencing mortal fear and not understanding what's going on. Look at all the dead. Holy crap. Okay, we're not done with this fight yet, though. We are not done. We we still have kills we have to do. Namely, there's one squad that never went forward for some reason. There, there, there is a squad in the back of, like, these bird things. So far, we got two. Four. We know they got more than four. All right. 
Why do I not? Where are these idiots? Yeah, see, they got a bunch of sparrows on the map still. I can't order them easily. All right, I'm going to ignore the sparrows for now. What do we have other than sparrows? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's also these two. I forgot these two. So that's the kill command for all the non-birds. So yeah, we, 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 we fought them to, to the end. We, we've, we've killed these creatures. That was a lot of kills. There's going to be some kill reports that are updated now. <laughs> it was an ambush though. Jesus Christ, so many fighting. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it say somebody is fighting? Who is somebody? Who Who is somebody? Why did it say somebody? By the way, uh, this is one of the dead dwarves, right? True freak? What killed him? He got shot in the ear. Yeah, he t while, while he was fighting someone else, he got shot in the head. Oh, wait, no, that got, that got deflected. What killed him? Nothing killed him. He just... He just died. The, the enemy, the enemy did two legit attacks. One hit him in the ear and cut the ear off. And then the next one hit him in the head, but his, his helm deflected it. And, but it hit him so hard, I guess this is normally isn't a lethal statement. And then it's just, he's dead. So yeah, like whatever killed them was just like random. Either they were distracted or it was just random nonsense. No, no one like got beaten down. Mr. Tarvin. Engrave a slap or broke his neck. But yeah, but no, that's not a neck break. Like, you'll see that line a lot, and it's not a broken neck. Like, it isn't normally. It might have been in this case, in which case they need to have more in the combat report for if it's flat out broken neck. Hold on, we gotta go, we gotta go hunt down the uh, the coward elf. Or did you, oh, did you jump off a cliff and kill him, Formal? How did you get down here? Okay, it says they're all dead. Uh, did Formal just jump off a cliff and kill him? Uh, hold on, though. We ain't done yet as much as I would love to be done. And until these three are gone, we got to order a kill on them. I just couldn't easily do this via square. Two. Three. You guys have got one last order to go. We got some birds to kill. One way or another. If they're war trained, they should run in for combat. They shouldn't fly around and hide. And they're not necessarily war trained. Well, one of them already died. Is he like trying to go down for the kill? How did that happen? Oh, he might not have died. He might just run the fuck away. And uh, yeah, we ha we've survived. <laughs> there, we were interviewing people before that happened, but we got assaulted by like 160 and we lost three dwarves. Meanwhile, um, we have lost a bunch of names. This is why I took the picture. I got to, before people get dwarfed, I got to make sure these dwarves are nicknamed. But none of them are even apparently that important. We just killed a shit ton of people. I will read for free everyone's kill log who is alive. I will do that for free because I'm assuming that these are big numbers and everyone wants to see them. <laughs> I'm not going to try to make every single one of you do that many channel points. We all just sit here and being like, do you care how many you killed? No, this is a massive victory. Everyone's kills get to be known. First, though, before I do that, some dwarves did lose their names. I got to fix this before we go ahead because we're going to have an issue otherwise. The one that starts with Bai Wei Yi under Azarkon was Dragoman. Pum Upenny is Dragoman. Actually, I could just look at their names because their titles because, you know, they were named correctly. Some of these might not have been, though. Dragoman the first, I believe. All right, Dragoman has been named. Below Dragon was empty and then Dandy Barfinkel. 
Dandy Barfinko. Mana Bandit. Here's Mana Bandit. Dude, he had a really long name. I think his I think he's killed so many people. His name is like Mana Bandit the the Slayer of Elves or something. Thank you so much. Thank you for following. Hopefully, this has put you in a great mood to take on your week. If somebody comes up to you, be like, I saw the siege. I saw the siege of Bald Canyons. That's what it says up there if you look. I saw the siege of Bald, Bald Canyons. I fear nothing. Dandy Bar Finkel the first, I believe. All right, he's in. Squad two. Mr. Man TM. This one had Peregr the Sizzler. Kib Gulnam. Yeah, see, it just says Axe Lord. Not all of them. I I didn't think to do this to all of them at the same time. This one was the Sizzlero. Sorry. The Sizz the Sizzlero. S Sizzlero. The first. And this is Officer. Nope, you didn't do it right. What are you doing? This thing goes weird sometimes. The Sizzlero, the first, do the right one. Officer Sizzlero. All right. Named, 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 named. That's all good. Squad two's names are in. Squad three. Squad three lost the most dwarves. Squad three is the one that lost two. That's because he didn't have much training. The Spanish Inquisition and True Freak. All right. I will kill them off and then we'll start doing the numbers. Horrible, casually badass. It looks like his helmet took so much force, almost took his head off. He bled out his neck and grave a slab, broke his neck. Usually, his infection did not see it out right. That's a fast infection. One last order chase some birds. Just one swan. Yeah, I, I figured everyone's already redeeming who have I killed. I'm going to refund those points. You don't have to do that. If you capture Dale's cage traps, can you interrogate them? I never thought to try. I usually just stripped them over the gear and then violated the Geneva Conventions about prisoners of war. <laughs> the Pickles, 8508. Thank you so much for following. Praise be the fruits of industry for they lay low the foolish and primitive. It was not a siege. It was an ambush. Just a, yeah, it's just a multi-stage ambush. Why would you think it's a siege? Idiots. Learn your strategies. <laughs> All right. Uh, the three that died were, if I remember correctly, True Freak, Dwarf Kill, True... Freak. Yeah! Hold on, Vanek. I'm trying to do the opposite here. True Freak. This is the one that was probably going to be complicated for me. Uh, TH3 underscore Spanish underscore, I believe, Inquisition. All right. That one it didn't like. It liked the other one, but that one it didn't like. There we go. The Spanish Inquisition is dead, and we lost Peregrine Heavy Bowgun. There we go. Those are the three that we had die. Someone just got dwarfed. Hold on. Like I said, quickly, I want a statue of the glorious Holsky Dwarf. I believe I installed that somewhere for you. I'm going to mark that as complete. The jet statue's coming. Captain Walmart, I'm refunding your points. I never heard back from you. You never got dwarfed. Who have I killed? Refunded. I want to be in the military. I want to be in the military. I want to be in the military. I'll get you guys in. Who have I killed? Refunded. 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 I'll be reading your things. No problem. Refunded. Refunded. Okay. And then lastly, about to sneeze. Someone got dwarfed. <laughs> Vanek 201. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bone Doctor. Vanek. Hold on. What was it? 201. The first. The Bone <gasps> Doctor. Uh, catching up. How about some dwarf just dropped junk one of those doors about three times a scene? It would be a good idea to just make another set of doors. It probably would. I don't know why they're doing it there, like in that one critical square. 
Casey Filthy getting a second dwarf. All right, I got I got to I got to read the things though. Um what did you get? 6. 1 2 3 4 5 6. The Mason. Welcome back Casey Filthy. Casey underscore Filthy. The second. The Mason who is sleeping, living his best life. Uh we're going to cancel that burrow now. I'm going to combat safe. We're going to throw in a save right now because I've, I've, I've seen the game, not this version of the game, the old version of the game. I've seen the game crash at their combat, reload, redo the combat, and go completely differently. We're going to make sure that that combat's locked in. I am not going to risk the game crashing and we lose all that. That was like, that was a fantastic fucking fight. 30 versus at least 170. Hatch covers over the downward stairs. Those shouldn't get blocked. Your mom calls me the bone doctor. Because they're getting spooked, clearly. They get scared and drops off the moment they see a hostile. Well, tell them to stop. We did survive. We, we, we more than survived. We lost three dwarves. And not to, you know, downplay. You know, not to be like, ah, it's just those two. Two of the dwarves were recent trainees in squad three. So we lost one dwarf who was trained and two, like, dwarves in training for the military. So I think we did pretty damn good. Now, we are going to go down by dwarf. We're going to go down by dwarf and figure out minor. I believe they should all be together because I called them officers and enlisted, but like it's clearly changing the order, which is weird. I don't know why it does that. Wish I could sort by squad one. All right, by way. You. Oh. Who got dwarfed? All right, I'm, I'm going to get you in. True Freak, this is your second. You have returned to us, True Freak. What'd you get, three? I think it says three. True Freak, you're going to take care of the people who are injured. True Freak, the second. All right. I, I got I, I to gotta read these guys. All right. Dwarf two, Kwan Yin. One, two... Q O N Y I N, the first, the leather worker, and Miso Samurai Dwarf 3. All right, any of the rest of you getting dwarfed? One, two, three. I only ask because I'd rather you all get dwarfed together than keep stopping halfway through. In this particular case, I got a lot of dwarves to read their combat logs on. So if you're going to get dwarfed, get dwarfed now. Miso Samurai, you're an armor. Pickles, 8508. One, two, you're a ranger who's attending a meeting. Pickles, 8508. The first, you're a ranger. What is happening? Okay. Um, Invader Zib, you got dwarf number one. Now, one of you, we let a dwarf go earlier, so one of you I might have to kill after the fact because you might not have had a dwarf. Invader Zib. We had a vampire that I kicked out of the base and I never updated the number for him. Invader Zib the first. You're a baby. <laughs> I think that fits your name pretty well. You're not a tall one. And actually, it's lying to you. It's saying I don't have dwarves to give out when we have one, two, three, four, five dwarves. Okay. I will I will allow the five extra. I thought we were gonna be over. Somehow we were under. I don't know what happened. Migrants five. It now knows we have five extra dwarves. So those of you who just tried to dwarf, try again. Not so six and Jeebus Jeebus and Rock Jitsu. It, it, you can all just try or whoever it was that did it, try to dwarf again and it'll work this time. Not so six. You got a, you got one Jim Cutter. N O T S O six. The first, the Jim Cutter. All right, and who is the other gentleman? Who is, who is the other one that just wanted to get dwarfed? There, there was two of you. It, re, it refused. You're good. I fixed it. Click it again. Rock Jitsu, I think you said bard like you wanted to do a bard. It, did I put you in? I, I, I think it put you in, and I didn't notice that. Dwarf one for Rock Jitsu. Because I don't remember ty typing your name in. Jitsu the first. Then that means that the, the other dwarf is the other thing. So, the, at the Rock Jitsu, it was Jeebus Jabibus. Jeebus Jabibus. Do it again. You've got a slot now. The numbers never match up. Yeah. 
Jeebus Jabebus. I'm going to do one last. I'm going to do one more save. Name, save, four, whatever. And then we'll do this. Because that, that, that was a bunch of naming, too, and I don't want those to go wrong. This reminded me of taking stock counts, having to check all the aisles again. The numbers never match up. <laughs> how many cans of Skydios we got? We got 20. All right. Frank, how many cans of Skydios you, you think we got? Well, my numbers say 22. 22. You swear there's 20? You think there's 22? We got to figure out what the number is because the system says there's 63. <laughs> Even if we add your two numbers together, that ain't adding what this computer says. 69. All right. Bring this picture all the way over. The Kale Squad, Mr. Man Squad by Way E Squad. I'm going to use this to see the name so I can just do it easier. Now, which squad is first? By Way E Squad is first. So we'll do him over here. First up, Commander By Way Yi. How many kills do you have, By Way Yi? You have two notable kills and 19 other kills, including three elves. Two giant cougars and then four more elves. At their byway, ye is Hellfire Sky. We're, I think we're all expecting to see someone have like 60 or some shit. Just to see who who is like the Rambo of this fight. Uh Hellfire Skyrim, where are you? Hellfire Skyrim, your kills are 20 other kills, including five goblins, four more goblins. Oh, wait, that wouldn't have been this fight. Two elves, another elf, and a giant cougar. I don't think there were goblins in this fight, though you have been putting in a lot of kills. Nivek, you are next. Niv, where are you? Nivek694, you have gotten four kills, including two goblins, one giant lion, and one rhino. After Nivek is Azrakhan. Azrakhan, where are you? Officer Azrakhan. Uh, military kills. You've got three notable kills and seven other kills. Your three notable kills include a goblin, a dwarf, and a human. And your other kills is four goblins, two capybaras, and one elf. I think you got one elf in that fight. After Azrakhan is Dragomin. Dragomin. Oh, I got to sort it by name again. Name every time. Dragomin. Dragman, you have four notable kills and eight other kills. You killed a Cyclops. You killed a Goblin. You killed an Elf. Uh, you killed an Elf and two giant, le um, two giant Leopards. I will say a bunch of you haven't killed that many, leading me to believe someone does actually have a ton under their belt. It might have been the ones that died. I'm hoping that didn't happen. That would be awkward. Dandy Barfinkel, where are you? Dandy Barfinkel, military kills. You had you killed a the the you've killed an elf, uh, you've killed five elves, a giant leopard, two giant lions, another elf, and two more giant leopards. It's actually uh, six elves, two giant lions, and three dire leopards. That's not bad. After Danny Barfinkel is Mana Bandit. Mana Bandit actually lost his name, so and as a Danny Barfinkel, so he might have gotten someone in there. Mana Bandit, click on you. Military kills. Manda Bandit does have a couple of notable ones, including a named rhino called Throne Oak and Revere's the Rhino. And he also killed four elves, two dire lions, and a third dire lion. Mars Doge, you were in the combat from the beginning. You were like one of the first ones in combat. I, I thought you were going to die. <laughs> He's already doing his drills. And being first in combat gets you... A dire cougar, an elf, and a dire leopard. I guess he. I, I guess everyone else kept stealing his kills, huh? <laughs> After you is Zilu, 734. Zilu, 734. You killed. There are eight dead elves, two dire leopards, one dire lion, one rhino, another dire lion, and then two more rhinos. That's a lot of animal kills. Mr. Man TM, you killed... Where are we, Mr. Man? Mr. Man TM, you killed no one. You killed no one during that fight, Mr. Man. I'm sorry to tell you. 
Uh, you were there for moral support. Don't worry. I'm sure next time you'll get a kill. The Sizzlero, he lost his name during this. And he killed uh, Co Kovama Fieldland, the Coastal Lake, the Elf, and Anna Plan Tulip, the Dire Cougar. You also killed... You were from a different map, too. You were one of the ones from a different map. Uh, you've killed... A dire leopard, four elves, a dire lion, three dire cougars, three more elves, another dire leopard, and a dire cougar. You actually got a lot in there. Hold on. Leopard, two dire leopards, seven elves, a dire lion, and four dire cougars. And we're on Sizzlero. Okay. After Sizzlero, we have binary algorithm. Binary algorithm where I'm like I said, I'm waiting to see someone have like a ton of animals. There's 140. I mean, some of these are doing seven and eight, and there's 30 of them. So, really, what's the math there on that? Uh, military kills you killed a dire lion, a dire leopard, and an elf. Unfortunately, none of them were significant, but you did kill them. Next one up was Peregrine Heavy Bowgun. I uh, we don't know how many he killed, but he did a bit. <laughs> Art of stuttering, where are you, Art? Art has killed... Ooh, he's killed a lot of people. Art is a legend killer. He's killed a giantess and a mountain titan before and a bunch of name goblins. But right now, he killed three elves, a rhino, two dire cougars, two dire lions, and another rhino. In 9103... Oh, shit, blind. Hey, welcome. I'm sorry. You missed a massive fight, blind. Good night. Yeah, true freak. Have a good evening. Your dwarf went down, I believe, in that fight, but hey, we, we won. <laughs> yes, blind, we had a we had a massive 30 versus like 180 plus fight, and we lost three dwarves. Yeah. So right now I'm just because I have an option for people to redeem to see what their kill count is. I just saved everyone a time and hassle. I'm just going down everyone who was in the military and I'm reading out what they killed. Uh we're on N9103. How was how has you been? How was you been? How have you been blind? N9103. Someone shouted you out, right? Yes, yeah, someone shouted you out. Why didn't I hear your noise? I must have just been reading. I'm sorry. Uh, to do, to do. N, where are you? N9103. Drum original, thank you so much for following. Andy, N9103, you killed three goblins. Domine. Bot broke, looks like. It didn't do it. The horrible bot. Hold on. Because I, I like your little noises. Hold on. Where's the blind button? There we go. I feel like I would have heard that. I know I can get tunnel vision sometimes, but I know I would have heard that. Domine. Military. Domine, you have killed a dire lion, seven elves, two dire lepers, and a dire cougar. This was on Domine. You actually got a lot of, lot of elves in. Holy crap. Um, EK Gladiator. Is next EK Gladiator you killed? Da -na -na -na. Nothing. You you hey like like I said you might not have gotten the kill but it doesn't mean you weren't in the fight. Could have been flanking, getting all that good jazz, knocking people down. You have to remember too, a lot of these we're on the bottom half of Squad B, which means we're out of steel. These are the people that fought with copper and stuff, so you know they survived. <laughs> like really, that that's the big thing. Uh, popcorn Hoff Men, there you go Military, ooh, you got a lot in here You killed three elves, a dire leopard Two more elves, another dire leopard Two rhinos, a dire cougar And two dire lions Popcorn Hoffman got that many kills With A steel spear I'm actually surprised we have a steel spear that low. We have been making a lot of steel spears for our noble. So I guess anyone wanting a steel, anyone wanting a spear would have gotten a steel one. That was Popcorn Hoffman. Uh, Piss included is the last one in squad B. And then we get to squad C who had the most losses, unfortunately. But squad C was fully finalized like four minutes or like five days before that fight happened. So they really didn't have a lot of, you know, training so they only lost two. That's pretty good. But Piss included didn't get any kills during that. He's killed a lot of goblins, but we weren't fighting goblins just now. And then lastly, we have Squad C. <clears throat> Taking the last few days, he's beginning back on the swing of things. Nice. 
Bot misspelled his name. Is that what it is? Where? Whatever. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I don't know why the bot did that, but I'll take a look at it. Oh. It did blind R-I-R-L. Good job, bot. <laughs> While well, the L's fell like flies, I'm learning about pottery, a flying display. Blind is why I got interested. The stream vest is how I found several cool people to play. I'm glad they got extra. Yes. Yes, no, this has been fantastic. Um, Hold on. Lee, Lee Kale, the second? Lee Kale, where are you? Lee Kale, military kills. Lee Kale has killed four elves, a dire lion, one rhino, a dire leopard. The Zindir. Yeah, the Zindir. I don't know why. I, like, I said the name out loud and, and I just froze. Like, what, what does that even mean? The Zindir killed nothing. The Zindir has previously killed a buzzard. Next up is Holski. Holski, I think, was a. Was, no, he wasn't a late entrance. No activity. Hold on. Are you guys still under orders? Is he injured? Oh, he might die right now, actually, if no one takes care of him. Hold on. Is this off? That's off. All right. Someone will come out to take care of him, hopefully. Uh, military kills. Holski has killed a dire leopard, four elves, and a rhino, and might become our next loss. Mr. Tarvin. Mr. There you are. Mr. Tarvin actually survived for once. You got no kills, but you survived. True freak. Uh, were you the one that died and I just brought you back? Yeah, this is the new true freak. That's why. Uh, the Spanish Inquisition also died. Hazen 44. And now we're definitely onto the dwarves who really didn't have any training. So, I mean, hey, if you got one, that's good enough. Hazen 44 didn't get any kills, but hey, he got experience. Devil's Dandruff. Devil's Dandruff got no kills. Grogrin. Where are you, Grogrin? Grogrin, you have gotten. Grogrin killed a dire lion, a dire cougar, a rhinoceros, and an elf. I guess uh, no training doesn't matter to him. And then the last one to join the squad who looked like he decided to jump off the cliff for no damn reason. Formal Blizzard. Where are you? Formal Blizzard did not get that kill. It looked like he jumped off to do it, but I guess he was just down there to make sure he was finished off. That is everyone. Everyone has been accounted for. They've gotten their kills. In a little pain in my rib. Task failed successfully. No. I'm just glad to participate in battle. Claiborne. What about Cla Yes. Hello, Claiborne. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. Okay. Everyone is in. It is now midnight. I have gone late. This was a fantastic send off of Stream Vester, but. I have now done two of these long ones back to back. And as, as I mentioned earlier, my, my pillow is failing me. My back is starting to kill me. I got to get a better uh, lumbar support thing because this pillow kept moving the entire stream and killing me. We made good progress. That was a fantastic way to have ended this stream on, though. We made good progress. We killed those animals. We killed, you know, the animals being the elves, not the creatures they came in on because, you know, screw the elves. Oh, there's just a bunch of ambushes. Bullshit. We really expanded this. We discovered right near the end that we have the jet. Not still. We still need a lot more jet, but at least we have found some more jet. So it is, in fact, possible for jet to be in the middle of the map. If I dig this down, we'll probably be fine. And the fact of the matter is that we were apparently lower than aquifer the whole time anyways. Like, at least for this area, if we've already gone through the aquifer, we appear to be good. So we might as well keep ordering that. I'm going to do a save and return the title menu on this. And we are going to see who all is online and doing things. Give me a bit. Load this up. Uh, category. There we go. Cleo 8 is on right now. Uh, I believe I, I believe I've... 
raided him before. I don't see why not. I'm going to open him up real quick just to make or him, them up real quick. Because last time I raided, was it you blind? I think, or yeah, it, it is. It's the teacher. Um, I think I raided blind right as he left. <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy. All right. Uh, bring this back to chat real quick. They are on. The little credits didn't go. I'm sorry. They're supposed to. There we go. Is Holsky Dwarf rescued yet? Oh, you're going to have to remind me next time. There's no reason why they shouldn't be, but they might end up dying at the beginning of the next stream. There's no reason for them to not be. Are you going to make ballistas? I'd like to be a siege dwarf. I'm not against the idea, but I would need to modify some things to do it. But I don't see why I wouldn't or I couldn't. We would probably have them located in the cardinal direction, like just looking north. Um, cardinal direction. Let me rephrase this. My brain is going. We would probably have the ballistas located on the hard points that I can't get rid of for us being connected to the terrain, i.e. the north and the south where we have the river connections. If we were to do it, that's probably where I'm going to have them, which means for most fights, at least right now, they wouldn't be doing any good, but in the future, we could have it installed. I don't see why not. It would be pretty humorous to just lay ballista bolts all the way down those lines. I saw it after and felt dumb. Yeah, yeah, that one was kind of awkward. Um, shit, I'm missing the thing, but everyone who followed all the new subscribers, you guys threw me to a, a four, I believe. A, uh, the hype train of four. You guys like came together, really showed your support and your love. Like from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You guys are fucking fantastic. Um, I'm going to be uploading this. Everything's going up. I don't think I have really any back backlog to be dealing with. So for those of you on the YouTube archive, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.